Peace, peace, peace. Turn up one time for the one time. Tapping in, tapping in. It's the legendary Big Chief Top Cat. Hey, we ain't gonna be long. We're gonna be strong, though. Um, came through, chop it up with y'all real quick. How y'all feeling out there? Shout out to everybody pulled up in the building. Make sure we uh, take this time to jump on that like button, share the video out. Right? Um, who in the building? DJ Sim on the track, Creekside, The Question, Lolita, Papa Shorty in the building, Kill 314, though, The Question. Paul McGlory, I see you still, Jackson. He say Longview, Texas. Okay, you East Texas niggas need to bring y'all ass down here for Galveston then. See, y'all niggas fucking it up. Girly girl, lot there on the Southwest. We gonna need to see you on the 17th. Uh, uh, Steel coming out of Longview. Nigga, I know where Longview at. Uh, yeah, gonna come on down here. Uh, he out there in Longview. Um, what else they got out there? Um, God damn, I done had a blank that fast. But yeah, nigga, I know where Longview at. Uh, he out there way going toward Marshall. Uh, you got Longview. You got, uh, what's that, Jackson, Jacksonville. What's that motherfucker out there? Yeah, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm a little, I'm like Pharaoh. I'm high. I'm t- I'm high than a motherfucker right now. Nah, but uh, yeah, we're going to need to see all these Texas niggas out there, man. I'm born here in the door. Yanni, Renee, the Marco in the building. Girl, they say we're gonna need more information. All right, we're gonna have a meeting soon. So make sure you're at the meeting then and we'll, we'll chop it up. But it's simple. You in Houston already, so it's gonna be kind of simple for you. We'll just have to register on BCU. And um, basically, those that register, you're gonna get put inside a. Um, what they call them joints? The um, uh, it's like a group. It's like a group chat, and we'll discuss everything back there. Cause we try to stay confidential and private. You know what I mean? Um, uh, for for different reasons. You know what I mean? But yeah, we we keep it private. And um, so once you register, you'll be, you know, you you get added to the group once it's open, and then plus we'll have like um meetings or whatever. But we discuss exactly what's what's going on. So y'all be looking out for that. Shout out to the homie Papa Shorty in the super chat. Telegram, there you go, Kelly. I'm on my um Pharaoh shit today. But I did brush my hair and put on some deodorant though. So hey, jump on the like button, and share the video. Why right? would the like sit in here? Hey, let's get the likes all the way up, fam. She said you sleepy. Nah, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Um, man, y'all know what's crazy. Y'all remember the other day when um, Nene was in here talking about it. I seen Pharaoh at Target. Why she sending me a picture? She got a picture of Pharaoh. Pharaoh in there dressed like a middle aged white man. He was at Target like he had got that whole outfit from Target. Yeah, that nigga had on the uh, yeah, that nigga had on black shoes with white socks. Oh, uh, yeah, that nigga's in there just like a middle aged white man. You know, they they just shop at like Kmart, Target. You know, they shop there. Hmm, look at these shorts. You know, yeah, they be in there picking up shit out of there. Um, yes. Oh, uh, I said it's fucked up. See, that's why I wear my mask when I'm at. Yeah, I still wear my mask like it's 2020. Y'all if y'all, y'all if it catch me slipping. This man in there shopping, you know, he got a little crate and motherfuckers in there snapping pit. They they just snapped the whole picture of this man in there. Is this fair, bro? You know, goddamn well, ain't nobody, don't nobody look like that nigga, man. And y'all nigga be trying to say Pharaoh and Digits to America. Nigga ain't no group of people nowhere in America, nigga. Or oh, you can find a group of people who look like Pharaoh, nigga. Yeah, I wear my mask. I've been that bitch suited up, nigga. I'm hiding behind a tent. Yeah, I'm hiding behind a tent on you niggas. 
Boy, they'll snap a picture of a nigga ass. I remember we was on Clubhouse one time, and um, and they was in there going off on um, I think that polite shit had happened around that time. And you know, um, uh, Pharaoh had his little episode going on with his his uh reality show, the laws at his house, and he got a house full of hoes, house full of naked niggas. It looked like it's hot in there. I'm guessing that's why everybody naked. I know if the air blowing all day, nigga, ain't everybody ain't walking around this whole nigga naked. All the boys just like Nature Boy group. Yeah, all the men just like Nature Boy group. All the men in that whole topless, uh, free balling, no socks on. Yeah, like they, like these niggas in, uh, living off the land. Nigga laid up in the house, smell like nuts in that motherfucker. Same little short, them old pissy. Now you know them old on three day, three four days. Them old pissy. Yeah, nigga, a few drops and dropped out. You keep on wearing them old nigga. You just sitting in them. You just sweated in them, nigga. Then worked out and sat on the couch. Yeah, that's fuck. Nigga, that worked out and went in there and sat right down on the couch. Oh. Um, yeah, I, I I be wearing my face mask. I said, boy, these niggas, man. But yeah, they was in there and they was going off on Pharaoh. They was going off on Tariq Nasheed. They was going off on Polite. I mean, anybody, 19 Keys, uh, anybody you could think of. And you know what I told them niggas? I say, I feel like y'all will do me like that. Because I couldn't imagine, like, damn, y'all done went through a whole list and y'all don't like nobody, but y'all ain't never met one of these people. Y'all ain't never met these people before, man. Y'all don't know what these people got going on. And that just tripped me out that, that the, how hard they was going and how much of a opinion them people had about these people, bro. Whether right or wrong. You know, brother, they actually was right or wrong, but I didn't feel like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, nigga, you don't be knowing these people, man, and motherfuckers be coming out with these. That, that was just crazy to me, but I think that day is when I realized, you know, I'm like, damn, well, who y'all like then? Man, you can hear rat piss on cotton. So if y'all don't like nobody, or if y'all don't like all of the people, like, say, motherfuckers have some type of credibility or platform or something, Damn, y'all some hating ass niggas. Cause don't nobody even know you nobody ass niggas. Oh, this the nigga this, the nigga that, the nigga this. I said, oh, you niggas will do me like that. Yeah, I don't trust you niggas. 12 old girl, I don't trust you niggas now. Y'all ain't got nothing good to say about nobody. Damn. No, nah, for real. So check it out, man. We're going to get into it, man. We ain't going to be long. We're going to be strong, though. Uh, last night, Pharaoh went in there, got outboxed by Jabari. Niggas keep running around. They be saying Jabari's name, and they be thinking life a game. And most of these niggas ain't got no no bars. I'm telling you, man. Ain't no, no, hey, listen to me, bro. Look at all of the debates. Add them all up. We can go back to the uh, uh, El Shabazz and, and Tazoria. We can go back to 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 any of these debates, bro, that, that didn't happen in the past, bro. Ain't nobody came out shining. Ain't nobody brought forth no information that nobody knew already. We ain't seen nothing spectacular out of none of these guys on the field. None. Not even the ones they call top. The top ones, man, the, the, the ticket sales are down. The people, you know, that shit ain't moving niggas no more. Hold on one second. All right, y'all, I'm going to play this. Give me two seconds. All right, fair use, fair use, goddamn.
because now you're taking a debate with Pharaoh, but before you wasn't taking a debate. So you must be broke. <laughs> they say I'm broke every event. Every time I do a new event, don't do it because he's probably running out of money. Let's just make sure he has no more. There's this obsession with making sure I have no more monetary success. There's this when he said I Walton University. Hey y'all get the likes up, share the video up. Right. I don't want to deal with that negativity. Look, I block these people out of my world. I don't want to hear no negativity. Don't send me their neck. When I hear him saying that, I'm like, damn, that sounds like me. When I when I was overwhelmed and frustrated with negativity, that was the icing on the cake. I'm like, Pharaoh, let's get it. So now you see polite, like, let's get it in. It wasn't that the brother wasn't qualified to have the debate prior. It's just the fact it wasn't the right time. And even now. This debate makes sense because of metrics more so than it, than it is experience. Because if it was a matter of experience, I still wouldn't debate the brother because he hasn't had those forums yet to do the debating, that experience. So he's coming in on the first time with, with one of these big forums. And for me, I'm like, I was always like, man, I could never give that to somebody just coming in. But at the same rate, he's a younger brother. I got to share the stage because everything else based on analytics is working for the brother with the section of him not doing a major debate. So this is how polite thinks. I hope I ain't say nothing that uh, sounds condescending to you, my brother. I'm just expressing things from how it comes in my mind. These are the things I think about. I'm sorry, people. It ain't enough that he can say something smart and I need to debate him. I think about a whole bunch of other things. I got to weigh in on a whole bunch of other options to make sure it makes sense because the effort that I put forth towards study the time I put in towards reading, I don't get paid while I'm reading. I'm not getting paid to buy the books. I'm not getting paid to do the travel. So I'd be damned if everything coming from me, the people, the studying, the trips, the travel, the on the round, I, come on, the security, the chairs. Yo, that's not fair. I'm just asking the other party to be able to hold their weight if they want to have a debate. Point blank period. And young Pharaoh is growing. He got everything going good for him. He's a, a worthy opponent. <laughs> He's the man in metaphysics. <laughs> <laughs> He's the man in metaphysics. And I'm just, I'm just like, yo, I, I, I can't take him for granted. You know, I, I know it's going to be a slugfest because I'm not dealing with a pushover. So let's get it. That's right. You know, I mean, shit, you know, that's those is like, those is, I don't take nothing as condescending. Those is great reasons. You know, they're your reasons. My, my thing is we here now, baby, you know. The public, you know, they you can explain yourself to them. You ain't got no, we ain't got to explain shit. Set it up. Set it up. So with that being said, you know, I fully accept the challenge. You know, I want, my, I want my terms to be met. You know, we doing this public. So y'all, so for everybody to see, for everybody to see, we ain't, this ain't no motherfucking, we ain't, we ain't puppeteering. We want y'all to, we about to get it on. But we gonna, y'all know how I do. I'm, I'm the public man. Motherfucker. If I get pulled over, I'm live. Family, I'm pulled over. I'll stay in the public. So that being said, I keep y'all updated. So that being said, you know, we're going to set this up right in front of y'all so that y'all can see, you know, the route and the course that it's taking. And we're going to do this right. Because the main thing is, and the main focus is, like he said, we got to, we got to, you know, despite our differences, we got to work together to mutually do this thing right. That's just like even with me and Tommy Sodermeyer. Me and Tommy Sodermeyer in this change, hella words. We probably ain't even done yet. But at some point in time, we had to do that thing right to set that, the beta. Then once we get there, we clash. So, you know, since we he pulling his weight, I'm pulling my weight. You know, it's going to be a lot of work, you know, coming from both of us to make sure that this thing can even happen successfully, maturely, and uh, intellectually, and uh, safely for the people. So, you know, that's the that's the primary means of us doing this public. So y'all know that, you know, we we going we gonna to crack each other head. We're going to go running back to linebacker. But we, wanna, we want y'all to know we want y'all in with us and working with us so that we can make this shit happen the way it's supposed to happen between the two debaters. So, you know, that's the main, that's the main issue here. You know, no nonsense, no bullshit, because I'm not, I don't have it in me no more. We live in a day and time where people can say shit to you. And if you say some shit back, you'll be charged with a crime. And I don't have time to be dealing with shit like that. So I'm done. I got too much positive frequency I'm in. 
Like he said, he's doing his his own thing. I couldn't tell you what that man is doing. Man couldn't tell you what I'm doing. We in two different worlds. But for us to be stepping out of what we already got going on to go head to head, whether it's long overdue or not, is going to take a lot of positive frequency. And for me to come out of what I'm doing, speaking on my own behalf, there will be zero tolerance for fuckery at all. I got too much. I don't even, like he said, he he ain't going to stop my success. I'm not going to stop his success. We don't, we, we don't have to motherfucking do this. So this is really, it's like sparring. It's fun. So we're going to keep it that way without without no bloodshed. We ain't getting personal. We just going to crack the information. So I'm a no, I'm zero fuckery. So that's my main, you know, and he already knows this. I'm putting this on the record again, public record. For Young Pharrell to engage in this event, it must be zero fucker. I'm not doing no shit that's going. I'm not arguing, motherfucker. I'm not cursing nobody out on YouTube. We ain't talking about no fights. We ain't talking about none of that. Any problems I had, we didn't went our separate ways. I don't deal with no niggas in the conscious community. I stay on my lane. I be on my channel. That's the way I want to keep it. I will come off my channel to tear your ass up, and then I will go back on my channel. But in the meantime, between time, Zero fucking. Outside of that, you know, let's get it on. Let's work. Let's get to working, working this out, setting it up, and uh, you know, making it happen. Let's, let's get it, man. And, you, uh, I, I see you in the building, ain't? Yeah. What's up? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're gonna we're gonna have Minister Inky also ask us some questions too when he gets time. Uh, I we got the sister here moderating as well. You know, um. Before we get that in, let me just give y'all a quick commercial break so you understand what's going on here. If y'all ain't, there we go. This is IamBrotherPolite.com. You click services and you can get that new class we're doing. If you missed the last class, don't worry about it. When you purchase the course, you will get the previous course and then some. So the new class we're dealing with is Sovereign Workshop, Adverse Possession, Credit Repair, and Foreclosure relief okay uh we got another installment coming this sunday march 12th uh this sunday you got another installment coming in the first class uh was last sunday so you got another one this sunday 5 p.m pacific standard time 8 p.m eastern time uh we showing you how to conduct credit repair on your own adverse possession legally okay without the fanatical stuff and then also foreclosure relief this is for you to do it yourself Okay, so of course we got the different books and the DVDs and all that other stuff. Download the app, Brother Polite. All you got to do is go to your app store. Doesn't matter if you have an Apple product or a Samsung smartphone. Doesn't matter. Just go to your app store and look for Brother Polite. You can download the app and get access to all the other stuff. Of course, follow us on Instagram, Brother underscore P-O-L-I-J-S-T. On Instagram. Brother underscore P-O-L-I-J-S-T. Everything else is, in fact, very easy to access. Facebook.com forward slash Brother Polite. YouTube, I am Brother Polite. <clears throat> you good to go. We're back. Just had to give them a quick commercial. To let them know that, that we got to give them the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> got to pay the bills. <clears throat> All right. So now, let's think. Let's get this right. You say you will accept the debate. And I just want to express the terms, my brother Farrell, because this is the public contract. Then we can start, we can start begging. <laughs> I'm just want for the record to know that you're going to come in and you're going to deal with these things as bullet points on a round-to-round -round basis or inside of a round. I need you to discuss, and I just need you to correct me if I'm wrong about anything you postulate. I need you to discuss the Anunnaki and their involvement. Mm -hmm. In man's creation, in the bureau, as it relates to it being planet X and outside the planet, and the entities that exist on it, and the history behind the bureau, so forth and so on. I would like to debate that those things are inaccurate. I would like to debate that the Anunnaki stories, the <clears throat> Nibiru stories, the planet X stories, I would like to debate that that stuff is inaccurate. Will you be willing to come to the debate and say, nope, this Anunnaki and the burial stuff, I've been talking, I have not had a change of heart, and I'm gonna break down the history of the Anunnaki and the burial and man being created. 
Is that safe to say? Do I have to word it differently? I want to make sure we have a public record of what we will be discussing. The creation of man. Now, I'm going to lock my yes in. Before I do, I must let you know. <laughs> I know I, I listen to everything you say. No doubt. Beings on the planet. I have never busted Malachi's New York move and gave people a name or a face of a being. No problem. So I want to let that be known. I'm down. Now, yes, I do. Oh, I'm going to defend my motherfucking uh, information I put out. But I wanted to be clear. I've never busted. I've never said Johnny runs the ship. Johnny seven feet, and he looks like this. That's so why we're doing this now. That's why we're doing this now for the record. So now, for two, now for two. Go ahead, brother. I would like to also put it out there that I would like for you to. I would like to know: Do you have a under a correct understanding and a perception in which I speak on extraterrestrials, such as when I break down the science of the Anunnaki? Because I have. Publicly already stated when I thrashed, uh, I'm not even gonna bring their name, I don't even want to mention them. Right. I made a video going out of another brother, and I broke down how their organization's doctrine was foolishy because of the context in which they were speaking in regards to the story of the Anunnaki. So I'm because I don't know if you watch my shit or not. I have to I have to say before I because I don't want to come in there and I prove my point and your defense is way the fuck off the line. So I want to, I want us to be sure. Do you understand the context in which I teach on extraterrestrials, such as when I name or give net conceptualized names to a race of beings such as the Anunnaki? Are we, are we eye to eye on that? Uh, my brother, I will tell you this, because I don't want. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this. I don't want to play no games. So what I'm gonna do is ask you: Is this what you mean? And if you say this ain't what I mean. I may ask you, is this what you mean? And you may say, this is not what I mean. And then I may ask you, can you tell me what you mean if you don't mind? And if Come you on. don't mind, then you tell us. And then I can then decide if it's worthy of debate. That's what I want to do for the record, for the people, so they can hear both of us live so we can get this debate on. I just, right. I just don't want the confusion. So this is what we got to do with each other. We got to understand each other. Uh, we got to ask each other a little bit more, get a little more insight from each other. Hey, family, let's get the likes up. Let's get the likes up. Let's get over 100 likes in the building. Shout out to everybody in the building. If we cover this stuff right now live before the people, that's then right. We record and we can also play up there and say, look, he just said that. So let's not play crazy. Uh, I'm not telling you don't play crazy. I'm saying that hypothetically, we can do that for the people and say, hey, we had this conversation not too long ago. So what I would say is this. Do you identify Nibiru as Planet X or a planet-sized ship that is outside or in the outer firmaments? I identify Planet Nibiru as a celestial body, a planet, that is 3.44 times exactly the size of planet Earth. Let's just say approximately four times the planet Earth. I'm I'm cool. Hold on. I'm telling you right, I'm telling you right now. All right, so you're good on that, right? <laughs> but it's going to end it up. And I say that's for the debate. But okay. yes, I identify with Planet X and Planet Nibiru in, in terms to the label to be in conjunction. So I'm telling you now, for the record, yes, I have taught and have identified on the subject matter being Planet X and Planet Nibiru. I will so defend... Two things, correct? Planet X and Planet Nibiru? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's getting, it's getting, it's getting, it's gonna get hot, baby. It's gonna get hot. It's gonna get hot. All right, so we definitely got Nibiru on deck. You can say whatever else you want to say about it. I'm sure we got reference points for Planet X and all that other stuff. But um, I'm, I'm so, and we can probably re revisit it. I want to get through, and then we probably could revisit because I know you might want to ask me something about evolution or whatever. I don't know. So, because we, we had those mild discussions. Uh, Anunnaki, <clears throat> did they play a role in creating man? And are they a race of beings that don't exist, that didn't come from this planet? That's what I need to know. In order for me to go against it, I just need to know if you got them labeled as a, a superior race of beings that don't exist outside of this planet that help grow us or whatever way you want to uh, 
you can make it clear to me so we can be able to write this thing out the right way when we put it in contract form. All right, now I'm gonna give you my teaching on the on the Anunnaki so that you can fully understand that. No doubt. Now, people teach that Inky Enlil Anunnaki, all of that. I don't teach. I don't jack that at all because first of all, we understand that black women was here first. So if we dealing with a race of beings, we want to conceptualize to be as who people term the Anunnaki. Then, if anything, it would have been a female race of of, of organisms first. Mm -hmm. Hands down. So when we're talking about did the Anunnaki come to Earth and manufacture man? If so, we have to put it in its proper perspective that that race would have predominantly and, and had to been on a, on a scale of genetic material, been lead, the leading organism would have had to been a female. So with that being said, when we say did the Anunnaki come here? And where it is, I'm coming from. I don't teach the Indian in Lil story. I don't teach the new Wapic doctrine. I have already went in there and poked holes all through that. So when we speak about, even when we speak about the Anunnaki, if you hear uh, the government speak about it or certain people speak about it, they attach the label to different beings. So with that being said, this is why I say I don't do the Malachi New York shit. I don't put a face and a name on it. I'm, okay. going, I'm going to the science and I'm tweaking it to its proper perspective and taking the fallacies out. So what I will defend is okay. is when we talk about the Anunnaki, do I know the specific name? Because I didn't make the word up. I'm dealing with the word that was here before I was born. Anunnaki. Caucasians made that shit up. So that being said, what I will defend is, has there been an extra, uh, extraterrestrial race that has played an influence within the genetic influence and in manufacturing of African people's DNA? Yes. And if we want to, we can call them motherfuckers blues clues for this debate. All I care. But we can go with the Anunnaki for this one. So with that being said, I want to just clear up my stance. I don't want you to think I'm coming in here with the new Wapic Enlil Inky shit. I'm not coming in there with that. I'm coming in here with genetic facts. Uh, what you gonna call it? I'm gonna I'm save it. But I'm coming in there with that scientific heat predicated upon the interaction between who we are today and potentially who we could have been yesterday or tomorrow in a form or in a conceptualized uh. In, in a conceptualized substance known as extraterrestrials, a.k.a. here we'll call them the Anunnaki. So once we get this understood, yes, I will defend that. I don't want nobody thinking I'm coming in here, here with another motherfucker. I don't do that. But now I'm saying it would be safe to surmise that you'd be willing to stand on Anunnaki if you're standing on Nibiru because both terms stemming from the same culture. So I wanted to know, would you defend Anunnaki? Your perspective, that I don't mind. Would you defend Anunnaki like you defend Nibiru since both terminologies or phraseologies come from the same culture? Now, when you asking me that question, I want to be sure. Are you asking me, am I going to merge the two? Because I'm going to tell you right now. I, I, think, want... I think Anunnaki is to Nibiru as the sun is to the day. Yeah, I, but I, would, I can't I talk would... about Nibiru without talking about Anunnaki because these concepts were learned from the same culture. Unless you're just grafting things from culture to culture and mixing it up and making your own version, then I, I would accept that if that's what you say, that's the end goal. But Anunnaki correspond with Nibiru. But not, but not, but not, but not technically, because this is what I'm telling you. I'm not, I'm not, I don't do the new body doctrine. I'm not telling you this, this person is doing it. When we're speaking about playing Nibiru, we're dealing with CIA classified files. I'm not here to give okay. you what another nigga wrote. So this is what I'm telling you. I'm not coming in this debate to say the Anunnaki is going to do this and this that. This is not a biblical or some shit that somebody or a new. Now I'm not. I don't want no new Wapians getting mad at me. But I'm not coming in here with Malachi. I'm coming in here with CIA files and government documents about astrological research done on a large celestial body. All right, known as Nibiru, Planet X, whatever many names CIA agents have called it, and its effect that it's supposed to have on a magnetosphere of this planet. Now, whether that has to do with another nigga's doctrine and belief of race of aliens that live on there, that's all. That's for their organization to now, argue. Now, here's, here's what I'm saying. Nibiru, the CIA, if that's who we're going to accredit to the information you, ha you have that's probably most contemporary or most recent. They would have to have got that terminology from the same culture that birthed the terminology Anunnaki. And two... You use the term Anunnaki in your discourses 
So I want to know, will you be willing to use the terminology Anunnaki for the debate since you already use it in your discourses? Or do you want to remove yourself from using the word Anunnaki? And I understand you have your own presentation when you break down the word Anunnaki. I totally understand that. <clears throat> as long as it's understood that I'm dealing with the word in regards to the in regards to non-filter organizations understanding, I will use the word. I have no problem with that. Like I said, we can call it motherfucking blues clues. Just like if I say, if I say, if I say a reptilian, I didn't make the word up. I'm using the word to concept to conceptualize a form of thought that everybody identifies with this alleged being at. So I just want I just want it to be known. So, I'll deal with the word to guide people's minds in the direction I'm taking them with the information. I, 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 will, I will not hold on, let me get because we're doing with right. the public record now. Go ahead. I will not, yeah, we ain't doing that. I will not <laughs> take responsibility for another nigga's doctrine. That's not what we about to do. It. I, I'm down with that. Okay. I'm using the words that conceptually people that conceptually resonate with people because they got familiarity with it. No, that people right, that people already understand. If you have a if we say the Anunnaki, we're talking about a, 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 a large race of extraterrestrials. But anything that the Nuwapians is doing with that word, I have no worry about that. I'm not worried okay, about that. Right, now we got that. As long as I don't, I do not want to be associated with no now, not, my not, thing is, none of that. My thing is, uh, once we use the terminology, we we found it or held in constraint to certain ideas, precepts, or principles. Uh, if I say African American, there ain't no way in hell we talking Caucasians. So once I say Anunnaki, I, I have to be held to a constraint to someone else's culture and their disposition. I'm not talking about the white man. I'm talking about the very group of people geographically placed in Iraq, old Babylon, or ancient Sumer, people that gave birth to those terminologies and taught the world about the planets and the different shapes and what colors those planets are in and everything. I'm talking about those people, those entities. I'm not talking about even the CIA, but I understand that ideas from the ancient cultures use the terminologies and the phraseologies and you're dealing with it on a level what this is what they're calling it and that's where that's at. I understand that. Perfectly. But now I will argue this with you now. I understand this that. My point. Because if, man, we gotta go, and we gonna get, you know, this is, we gonna get to the detail. So if it comes down to me, if it gonna come down to me saying motherfucking melanated extraterrestrials, we the fuck out of night. We all go as that. Far, I, if I I, have to. And that's and that's my point. If okay. you can't not the whole time, why won't you use it during the debate? So I've said, I've said, I've said you gotta watch my channel. I've said melanated extraterrestrials. I'm sure and you have, right. but you also right. say Anunnaki. Right. And I've made it American. American I can't just say African American is a misnomer for a whole bunch of other races. I know that right. corresponds with a specific group of people tied into a, a specific culture and, and historicity as it relates to their corpus. Now yeah. let me prove my point. Now let me prove. Now let me prove my point. Now let me prove my point. I've Go said ahead. I've said Anunnaki, but I've also said that mm. these languages that we're using are fictitiously created languages by the Caucasian. Okay, which what all of them is bull. What, Hold what, on, language, what, what language is fictitious? Hold on. Let me do okay. my point. Let me do my thing now. You can do the thing now. I mean, you got tell me which language is fictitious. Okay. I'm with you. Oh, we're gonna go there. We're gonna go there, but listen. We got add that to the I've already stated, right? That the Rosetta Stone, okay, was a slab used to propagate the alleged ancient inventory of languages that we use today, right? Whether we're dealing with Hebrew, Arabic, all of that. So even when we're dealing with Semitic, okay, languages or Anunnaki, we understand that these words truly and naturally don't have an African origin. But yet, people still use them. Just like I'm on here talking to you in the English language, but yet I'm not a motherfucking Englishman. So I want to drive my point home. When I say Anunnaki, I'm fully conscious that this is not of African origin. If you was to ask me, okay. hold on, so, so if you was to ask me, show me an Anunnaki in Africa. Nigga, I couldn't do it because the word is not of African origin. But people's minds understand the direction I'm going when I use the word. And on my channel, when I do my thing, as well as I already stated, I bust down somebody that's with the new IPA group. We ain't going to say their name. And I already dispelled the misteachings within their organization. I use the term Anunnaki. I have an entire video on my channel I made probably a year and a half ago titled Anunnaki. But we understand that this word was created by the Europeans. I can't show you a European source 
in an African foundation when the source is not created by Africa. So that's why I'm saying before we go there, before I lock myself into some shit, okay, publicly, we want to we want to get to the detail, the understanding, the perception. So like I said, if it comes down to we got to get rid of the word and we got to just say melanated extraterrestrial beings, we can get that raw with the shit. But wait I don't a minute, wait a minute. Let, let, let me let me just let me just weigh in real quick. Because when we opened up, y'all both agreed that y'all would stand on anything y'all teach. But hold so, on, hold on. Let me hold on before you jump in. Let me let you know. Ain't nobody not standing on what they teach, but you got to understand who I'm talking to. I'm talking to Brother Polite. See, yes, this, ain't you, this ain't no motherfucking slouch. Okay, if we, we in this debate, we go into the etymology of words. We going all in. So when we True, say, but we don't yeah, want you to start yeah, setting up a situation where it looks like you might be backpedaling, buck dancing, or running away from anything. Or I don't your want to audience, do your so, audience is going to be there at the debate. So when it, you say so when you it, use so the word Anunnaki, wait a minute. When you say when you use the word Anunnaki, your audience understands what you mean. So no, 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 I didn't say that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Inky, hold on, Paul. Let me pause you for a second. Let me pause. Let me pause you because now I gotta get into my point now. Because now we want to be mature. Let's be. Let's keep it mature, Ink. All right. It's a green screen behind you. Green screen behind you. Don't have to be animated. Now, with that being said, I just did a whole entire lecture called "The Meta Nature Has Not Been Deciphered," but yet my name is still Pharaoh. So you have people who will say, if the meta nature is not been deciphered, why well, your name still Pharaoh? I didn't make the fucking word up, but I know mentally, all right, what I conceptualize of Pharaoh to be predicated what I was taught for the last 23 years of physical existence. So that being said, we're not dealing in this. I know who I'm debating, okay? I know who I'm sore fighting with. I'm not, this is Bruce Lee versus Bruce Lee. Pause, 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 pause. But when we set these terms, we gonna get these bitches down to the decimal, okay, of what we talking about. I'm not gonna lock myself into some shit that I understand, that I have an overstanding of, and I know he has an overstanding of, but somebody may only have an understanding. So if you ask- well, Why don't you give us oh, all the overstanding- oh, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna tell you right now what polite setup question was, cause I'm not stupid. He asked me, yeah, that's why he laughing. He asked me, are you going to defend the Anunnaki? <laughs> the African terminology, knowing that the alleged Sumerian civilization is way the fuck over here. So not only that, knowing that the entire language is fictitious. So now you're not going to ask me to lock myself into proving the motherfucking etymological and genealogical source that was created, predicated upon the imaginarily the imaginary terms of a Caucasian. So. What you have to understand is we coming behind people polite's age who was once his teacher, okay, and other people in the community using term using terminology and information that I had no, I wasn't in a room when they made the goddamn just like Yaku. I didn't make the fucking word up, but people understand when we go into the science of Yaku, Dr. York is going to give you some big head motherfucker. I'm not giving you that. I'm giving you the substance of if Yaku existed, what Yaku would have been. Which if niggas want to challenge that at the debate, we can do that too. So let's that's do it. let's do it. Let's do it on record. Let's, let's do it. Did is it possible that Yaku could have this could have existed? You I don't wanna, wanna do is it possible? Never mind. You want to add to that? <laughs> I don't want to do that. Is it possible? Right. Wanna, Why don't you stand on something? Okay. Did he Hold exist on. or not? Hold on, Inky. We stand it, bro. Calm down. Tell you ain't even proud of it. Bro, calm down. Listen. So we can we can we can fit we can finesse that in there. But my point is, hold on, we not doing what Inky is on here. You slick, you slick. No, you slick, nigga. I know why. No, 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 no. You slick. I know why you here. I know. I know why you here. See, y'all not gonna do that to me. That's not what we do. So that being said, polite. We gonna. Let's listen to the brother. Thank you. We gonna clear the smoke, and I would like for people who have nothing to do with the debate or no intellect in regards to the subject that I'm talking about. To please chill, Inky. When we need some medicine, we will call you. Now, with that being said, with that being I'll, said, I'll, I'll give you some time, Inky, if he's if he's ready for some time for you. Let us get through this uh, debate. Then get the system on her moderation. Set up our times, our arrangements. When we going to do weigh ins? All right, so let's keep it raw. Let's keep it raw. Let's keep it raw. No, no wordplay. No, because I don't. We're not doing that. 
No, I, I just want to find out what we debate like, and understand if it's worth like, debating. I don't, I'm not, I don't even want to be associated with no Luwapi and shit. I don't want to be none of that. So I'm not going to do that to you. I'm not interested in that. Okay, so this is what I'm going to put on the table. I got a I lot of love for those brothers, and I don't intend to degrade no, them right. or incorporate right. them into anything. That's not my goal. I just want to know, are we going to have a debate about the Anunnaki and the Biru? <clears throat> and I just need to make sure I understand it was worthwhile debating because I just if I if I use the terminology Anunnaki, I'm not no one's gonna let me get away with using it the way I want to use it and the way my followers understand me when I use it versus no no, no listen, if, listen, 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 listen if I say if I say the meta nature has never been deciphered right yes and we know that okay so we let's say as of right now I'm gonna say we know that right so if I say Sekhmet you know which Egyptian deity I'm referring to, even though the word is not real. So you couldn't ask me, you couldn't ask me because it's what people have been taught. But yeah, come on, Inky, bro, be, be an adult, bro. Come on, no, this is what we're trying to escape. Now, with that being said, <laughs> you, know, you, know, you made me laugh, bro. Now listen, you know that people for, before I came out of the womb, has been being taught that this specific female deity in, in Egypt is, her, her name is Sekhmet. So if I come tell you, nigga, that's a lie, right? You still have the understanding mentally. When I say segment, your mind, your, your mind knows where to travel. So that being said, you are not going to finesse me into defending a word that has the, the, the Caucasians manifested equivalent as segment in regards to his meaning. It's a made up word predicated upon a made up ass language. So that being said, so Farrell, so, you think the white hold, 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 hold on, let me, let me break this down. So we are teaching within the medium of which people understand. Period. So if I say Ra, people know the sun, but we know that the goddamn Egyptians never called the sun Ra. But I didn't make the lie up. I'm weaving through the motherfucking lie that the Europeans put. So if we so say, Anunnaki, hold on, hold on, let me prove my. I want to prove my point. If we say Anunnaki, I didn't make the goddamn word up. So you can't. I know who I'm talking to, okay? You're not gonna ask me to defend some shit I didn't create. We teaching with we teaching through the maze. And I deal with etymology, I deal with all of that shit to understand what it is, what the question is you ask me. So without without you know mother spectators in the, in the hangouts googling and keegling, I will let you know from intellect to intellect, I will stand on the premise of melanated extraterrestrials playing a role in the genetic influence of African people. All bullshit aside. And I will prove that wholeheartedly. But if you're asking me to stand on the Anunnaki teaching and the substance of what you try to do, I'm telling you I'm already hip to the question you asked me. That's like asking me to stand on the origin of the meta nature. This shit ain't been deciphered. How the fuck I'm going to show you the origins of some shit that's made up? If the language is made up, I can't show you it in an African sort. I can't show you where African people said Anunnaki. The goddamn word is created by the Caucasian. But I can show you in substance, void of any Caucasian influence, melanated extraterrestrials playing a role in the genetic upgrading as well as engineering of not just African people, all other alleged humanoid entities on this planet. And that's hands down. So that being said, this is a debate, baby. And I'm no fool. And we're going to be going to etymologies, like I and I keep using that word because that's one of the prime sources that we're going to use to break down the origins of ship, of terms we even say. So I'm not going to lock myself in to some shit I know is not African founded. Yeah. But I will defend my argument. If it means we got to tweak some of the sayings, cool. So if we was arguing, if I was arguing, you know, Egyptian culture, if it means I, I couldn't say Sekhmet because it wasn't deciphered, fuck it, I'll just show you the statue. So that being said, I will argue my argument in its complete substance, period. And I will use scientific facts in all black and white documented research, uh, I mean, research documentation in, in black and white to prove my point, period. I will bring out any government officials I, I need to bring out, any government classified files I need to bring out, and I will prove my point, period. Okay, so this, this is what I'm saying. And I, I don't want to be redundant. We can we can pick this up another time and we can keep picking on other ideas to get a range for what we're going to do. If if I don't know what you're talking about at all, 
and you use a terminology such as Anunnaki, and then I go to research it, I'm likely to find the information that most immediately corresponds with the people that that terminology has its inception in. So I understand the people that follow you and the people that listen to you. What about the people who don't know what you're talking about and hear it from you for the first time, and you are saying to yourself, hey, I know what people are thinking when I say it, but I know this shit is made up and it's from a fake language, and you got this in your head, but I, I'm turning around, something's on with young Farrell talking about the Anunnaki. What is that, what is that person supposed to do if they didn't catch the lecture where you, you say, hey, I know this shit is bullshit. I know this ain't African. I know that, you know, that's why I'm like, hey, I don't, I don't know, I'll say this. They would already know because I would have already I would have already stated that before I said it. Like I said, I've already done a whole oh, let me show you this. I'm one of those people that heard you say Anunnaki and didn't pick up that information. And I'm not the only person that heard you say Anunnaki and didn't now pick let, up. Now let me prove my all right, now let me help you out here. Oh, I'm, you, not, I'm not when finished. You me, when you heard me say I let you I let you do your thing. I'm not finished. I'm gonna I'm gonna close out. I'm gonna get it right back to you. I'm gonna close out. I won't make it long. <clears throat> so my, my thing is, I don't know when to take what you're saying literally based on philology and when I should take what you're saying as a form of rhetoric. I don't know when. And if, and if, you, if this is going to be very convenient for you to argue that you don't make up the words that you use, that's going to be so convenient for you, I won't be able to do nothing with you. Because you'll be able to say at one point, this word does correspond with this group of people. And in another instance, I didn't make up the word. The language is fake. And I'm just using it because I know what people's conceptions are when I use the word. I don't know how to debate you under those pretenses. So that's why I'm trying to find out when is the word relevant to the culture versus when the word is relevant to the rhetoric. All right. That's what I'm to find out. All right. All right, I understand. Now, now hold that question because I want you to know when you, every like you said, I, everybody grows. I didn't hire body start going into languages and things of that nature until I stepped into a certain foe or a certain intellectual enemy. So, if you, when you say you heard me say Anunnaki, I'll pull a goddamn video up right now. That motherfucker is from a year and a half ago. This is 2017, Pharaoh. My mind has grown and expounded in mm -hmm. so many lanes of information. If you watch any video I've done within the last, let's say, six month minimum, I clearly break down and, and fractionalize what it is I'm saying, the etymology of what I'm saying, and as well as ex you haven't even heard me say I don't knock you. In, the, in any of my latest videos, I might have spoken on extraterrestrial. And when you did, I was actually refuting the original foundation of the teaching. So this is why I was asking you, you know, are you familiar with the perception in which I teach upon extraterrestrials? Because I have already grown and expanded in my understanding and knowledge of the origins of the sub of the origins in regards to the subject I talk about. So with that being said, when you say, um, you know, <clears throat> what point is you supposed to argue? We, I'm gonna give it to you flat out wrong. I don't agree with the original teaching of the I do not. Hey, y'all, let's get the likes up. Let's get the likes up. Get the likes up, everybody. When you're talking about people that came after and did what they wanted with the word. I don't agree with the motherfucker that created the terminology. I don't agree with the people who came after and used the word to pump their own doctrine. I don't agree with nobody. I don't agree with the... I don't... Listen, I don't agree with the linguistic scholars who allegedly created the word, and I don't agree with the Nuwapians or any other organization who teaches that two men, Inky or three men, Inky and Lil and I knew, came down here and genetically manufactured a race of people when the, when their chromosomes when their chromosome structure would have had to been of an <laughs> organism who would have been the predecessor of them. So I don't agree with the organization who uses the term, and I don't agree with the Caucasian organization who even created the term. So, so here, what here, I've here, done here. is here's where I'm confused. If you're if you're willing to debate on the Anunnaki, and you yourself say the the whole terminology mm -hmm. is fallacious, 
then what exactly would you be debating about? Would you be debating about your meaning that you're filling in the word Anunnaki with? Because from what I'm hearing, you don't agree with it. And if you do debate using the word Anunnaki, you will have to debate using it based on the definition you accredit to the word. Am I wrong for saying that? To a certain extent, you're not wrong. But I, but when you, <laughs> when you ask me to stand on my teaching of the Anunnaki, I'm taking it as you telling me you don't believe in extraterrestrials. The teaching must be, let's use everybody's favorite word, said it. Okay, okay. Who said they don't believe in extraterrestrials? To my extent, that's what I'm taking the debate. It must be Ooh. pseudo. I need to get off a spaceship and will I stand on the tensions of the Anunnaki. So with me telling you I'm willing to defend anything I'm talking about, we know what I'm talking about. We talking about the alien shit, okay? The extraterrestrial shit. You am don't I know what you're talking about. Am I willing to defend the teachings that extraterrestrials have come down to this planet and interacted with not only African people, they have caused the manifestation of all other... 90% of signs of aging are caused by the sun. Dis and I'm telling you and anybody who sees this video, yes, the fuck I am. I will defend that shit to the grave with proof. Now, if we got to throw the etymological sources and we got to throw the trick words out the window, fuck all that. Yes, we can throw it out the window. But I, young Pharaoh, stand on this publicly. The European race is not a humanoid race. Evolution theory is a lie. White people did not come from black people. They were genetically engineered and manufactured by extraterrestrials. The United States government today is ran by extraterrestrials. And black people were genetically upgraded by extraterrestrials. And the black woman is the original extraterrestrial. I stand on that. I'll defend that. Anybody want to come see me about that? Let's go. And I also stand on the fact that planet Nibiru is a giant celestial body which upgrades the frequency of this planet Earth every 3,600 years. And I'll bring the facts to back, back up. So that is what I teach. Any, any trick now, words? Now, here, now here's the problem. You're using conceptions that come from the cultures that use those words, but you don't want to use the words nor agree with the people of those cultures. So what it makes me feel like now... No, 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 no. Let's not go there. Because I hear what you said. I didn't no, say... No, finish, brother, I don't, okay. no, no, I don't agree with... I don't agree with... Because when you say conceptions that come from the cultures, nobody's ever said that. Nobody's... I've never heard... Okay, we say Anunnaki, right? The original story by the Anunnaki is Inky and Lil Anu. I've never, hold on, I've never in my life heard a Nuwapian check themselves and say, damn, if the XY chromosome is an XX chromosome minus 2.8% of its own genetic mass, then that means the, the, the man would have had to came from the woman. So how did, how did three extraterrestrial men come down here and manufacture a race of women? I've never heard them say that. So when I say I've already went in there and checked and tweaked the Nuwapian teachings or any other organization who used that teaching, that's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying with me is, I've already exposed any organization <laughs> I went into. I've already exposed the truth within the lie. I went into Egyptology, found out Medinetu was bullshit. Went into well, Doctor. This Malachi, is what I. What I found will, out. This is what I would now debate. I'm willing to debate that you are making up the parts of the stories that's most befitting to your approximations. And it's the most uh, positive word I can use, uh, as opposed <laughs> as opposed to accrediting the original cultures for even giving rise to the thesis in the first place. Because a lot of what you're saying comes from the original cultures and you're saying you're tweaking it and then you're, you're undermining those original cultures saying, I don't agree with the original people who came up with these terminologies, nor do I agree with the other people that came after those terminologies that incorporated, but you're the one doing all the tweaking and making everything correct. It's the very thing white folks do to us when we create hip hop then next thing you know, it's going to look like they did it. We create rock and roll. Then they don't agree with it. Then they create it. So I'm saying, what is the difference between what you're doing? Because you're talking about doing all the correcting, but you have a point of reference from where you're getting the information from. So your corrections is coming from the people that's making the assertions that came and was grafted out of the original peoples. So why can't we just stand on what the original people said? But, but now, let me, hold on real let quick. Because when you're talking about 3,600 years, and you're talking about Nibiru, then you're going to want to, uh, in those stories, you have ants, 
You have SARS. You have epochs. You have the possession, the possession of the equinox. You have so many different time periods that they associate with Nibiru that when you start talking at 3,600 years and you're likely to wind up talking about 25,920 years, you're likely to start talking about a whole bunch of different time frames, 2,160 years, or land one degree per uh, 70 years with the sun. You're going to wind up saying a whole bunch of things that ancient cultures already laid down that I'm very familiar with. And you didn't tweak nothing when you present that to us. It's already been presented by our ancestors. Now, okay, now, hold on, hold on. Now let me let me jump in there. So are you telling me that our ancestors said that they, that they came from three men? Uh, I'm saying that you probably misread those. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Hold, on, brother, hold on. I'm going to explain something to you. The story you telling me about Anu, Inky, and Lil, you're not bringing in Atun and Lilith into the equation, which were the women that were part of those scenarios where one child is a half son and the other child is full breed, and how they had to mate with a draconian princess to establish kind of like a genetic contract in order for them to give, uh, to nullify any war that may take place amongst the Anunnaki and the reptilians. I read those stories, bro. So I don't know why you're telling this story. I ain't never heard that story you're talking about, and you accredited it to them. I ain't never heard no three men, as you keep saying, with sound of race. Okay, hold okay, on, on, on. So you've never heard, and I understand fully overstand everything <laughs> you just said. So you mean to tell me you've never heard the New Wapians or Malachi Z. York say that? Definitely not the New because I came out of that school, so I understand what they teach. And they ain't never teach that story that way. And I studied the tab, and I see what the tab is. And I yes. can compare and contrast with Dr. York taught versus what's in the tablets. And neither one of those two stories, uh, yes, they they're, I mean, his name is Inky, and I'm pretty sure he could have said, why don't we just put this in the debate? That on, Dr. Pharaoh on, is on yeah. record saying hold that on, Dr. York on, said on, that we all came from hold three on, men. Hold <laughs> on, so how, listen, so how, how the New Wapians, how the New Wapians, and I'm gonna bring your brother's name up just for this point. If the brother hear his name, I don't want him to think it's no negative negativity on his Come on, we no. talk. That come, on, come on. How the New Wapians don't teach this doctrine? Because if they don't, they fooled me. Because me and Prince Short damn sure got into it over this specific over well, one. Tell you this. And Prince that's the solo, and that's the son of Malachi Z. York. That, that means so, absolutely nothing to me. Prince York either was making a mistake or you're misrepresenting his views. One of the two. So well, what I'm telling you is, my, my point is this. Prince York has nothing to do with my point. My point is, you are accrediting this story to the Sumerians, not the Nuwapians. <clears throat> the Sumerians, I'm talking about the people who are responsible for the terminologies, the phraseologies that we're using. I'm not talking about the people who came way after called we Prince York. Wanna, if we want to go there, the Sumerians is not responsible for the terminologies or the frame or the phraseologies that we're using. The Caucasians are. Because every language on the motherfucking planet today, okay, every ancient language is predicated to have been manifested out of that goddamn Rosetta Stone. That is a motherfucking lie. So even when we say who's telling, who's telling, you, these, who's telling you these things? We can do it. Listen, the meta nature has not been deciphered. It's still up for the it's still up for the meta nature has never been deciphered. Would you want to argue that point that every language was supposed to have come out of the Rosetta Stone? So and that's I, why. So listen, is the Rosetta Stone not the foundation? Okay, I'm listening for, for religious texts and ancient languages. Is it not? Is it no, not? not. So, so is it not? So ancient languages yeah. are not said to have come from the hieroglyphics. Uh, maybe, maybe from scholars of today. I certainly don't agree with that. I'm willing to debate that. So, so are, now, are you willing to debate here that? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Because every no, is, hold on, every dagger I throw, every every point. Let's say point. We ain't gonna leave, I ain't gonna start again. Every point I throw is either I don't know where my, I don't know where where that comes from, or maybe not of scholars to the scholars of today. If what you want me to do? You want me to lie to you? You ask me. No, listen, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just telling you, I'm telling I don't know where the hell you're hearing this crazy information from, but I'm going to tell you, anyone that deals with any study of philology will tell you in a heartbeat that the metal nature is not the basis for where all the other languages come from because there's languages that pre-exist the metal nature. No, we're speaking. Listen, we're speaking. We're speaking. So hold on. Hold on. on. No, no, no. We're speaking on Samaria. How is, so listen. It's I was only speaking on Samaria because he was using Samarian terminology. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Listen. It's one of those chances where we're talking about, listen. Hold on, hold on. All the languages hold like hold three hold times. Hold and now you get hold ready to change it and say that you're not talking about all the languages. Can we can we can we speak about Sumeria as an ancient language, Inky? God damn, bro. But you say all the languages. Wait, so this I is you I having it however you want to have it. And you know this is why we're trying to get a good understanding of what you do you know? Okay, now watch this. Watch this. Since you want to, since you want to jump in my shit, what's the what's the what's the oldest ancient language? Pause. Hold on. What's the what, what's what's the oldest ancient language, Inky? Pharaoh. Listen. No, no, you no, gotta no, remember. Listen. Hold on. Oh, 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 you got everything to say. Answer my question, Pharaoh. Answer Pharaoh's question. Listen. What is the oldest ancient language, Inky? Pharaoh. This is what no, I'm trying to explain. No, 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 Pharaoh. Nothing. No, 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 no. What I'm trying to do is tell you that you're no, dealing no, with your senior. Tell you you not take you yourself off the hot seat because I'm you're unwilling to stand on any one point. Oh, oh, oh. Listen, Let's listen. just get one person to talk real quick. Listen, listen, because you I don't even know why you're here right now, truthfully. So that being said, either you're going to answer the question or let me work this out with polite. Because when we're speaking about ancient languages, what people got to understand is they have an incorrect time calculation and actually how old Egypt is. So... Yeah. So, so with that being said, who is oh, hold on, hold on, for like, hold on, for like, hold on for like, let me, let me, let me prove my point to you. Okay. So with that being said, we still got to work that out. We still got to delegate that out because I'm not saying I'm right or polite right at this point in time. I'm talking to you. If it comes out that Egypt is actually thousands of years older than we thought and that it's ancient sacred text hasn't been deciphered. Then any information allegedly gathered from that has to be thrown in the garbage. So that being said, we're talking about the oldest ancient language. Motherfucker, that doesn't even come from the source that you believe it does, because the source that you believe it does is actually thousands of years older than you think it is. So that wait, being said, wait. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on, Inky. So that being said, let me talk to the fuck I came over here to talk to. I didn't come over here to talk to you, bro. So if you keep, if you keep stagnated energy, I'm going to ask him to clip you off and let me do what I do. Now, polite, please, if you can get your frame of thought back, come I'm, back to whatever, whatever you was just, whatever you was saying, because I didn't forgot, because I didn't have to talk to this nigga. I'm with it. Somehow we wind up into the language conversation and if all the ancient languages springboarded from the metal nature and you ask me, is that not the case? And I said, well, I certainly don't agree with that. You then went on to assert and I'm going to paraphrase. Well, you see, whenever I ask these questions, then all of a sudden people start saying this, that, and the other. I'm paraphrasing what you said. Then I went on to say, who are these other people you're talking about? This is the first time I've had this conversation with you. That's where I was going into that conversation with. So for me, as you're talking to me, the person you're going to be debating, I wouldn't take the standpoint that all the ancient languages springboarded from the Medunetia. Because if I came to that conclusion... Then I may wind up saying things like you're saying that the metal nature hasn't been decoded. But because I know languages that pre-existed the metal nature, that's why I can say, and those languages still being spoken today, and those languages haven't influenced the metal nature. And also knowing that Champollion was taught the metal nature by a Coptic, which means an Egyptian form of Christianity. That's where he learned it from, this Frenchman. I got I got the diaries of the damn Rosetta Stone guy, Champollion. This is damn diary. I'm on that too. Oh, uh, I got his diary right here. So for all of us wanting to give credit to the white man for decoding the language, read his damn diary and realize a black man is the one that taught him how to read and decipher the damn Rosetta Stone because he realized the language was similar to the language he speaks. So... I mean, if you still want to have the debate, my brother, we can set up a weigh-in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. We can do it next weekend if you want to do it. But what I'm telling you, brother, everybody else has their gifts and their talents in this community. I certainly don't take a debate that I know I'm going to lose. What I'm telling you is there's no way in hell you're going to prove you've been deciphered when the guy that helped the guy that got accredited for the deciphering helped him decipher it because the language was similar to the language he already spoke, which was Coptic. Now all we got to do is an ethnological... I'm going to crush you on it. Hold on. An ethnological... Hold on. An ethnological, linguistic comparative of the Bantu languages that exist over there in Africa in and around 
Egypt. We will even see that the same dialect has traveled from Kemet all the way to Ghana. As many people have the last name Amen. And no, that is not the only base for the answer. So let's not be ignorant. Oh, we found the word Amen over there. No, mm -hmm. must we learn that in essence what philology is to people's eschatological and other theological corpuses, once we indulge in ethnological uh, perusals of cultures, and once we indulge in linguistic comparatives, I will always have to ask you, what languages have you compared the metonature with for you to say that it was never deciphered? When you say a language was never deciphered that people are using, you are saying that no languages can come close to that language, and that language is unique and indifferent from everything on planet Earth. That assertion in itself is insane, because when you study language, you can see a paper trail of influence in what's called a dialect continuum. It's called a dialect continuum. You will always see where the languages undergo harmonious morphological cults. This is when they may take vowels out and replace them with a consonant or keep the vowels in and replace one of the consonants. All right, now. This is how Let's... philological perusals take place. This is what harmonious morphological cults are. This is why we suggest that people do an ethnological, linguistic, comparative study, particularly in this case, of Bantu languages stemming from West Africa going east, and in some instances, East going West after the influence has already taken place. Now, again, when you say the metal nature has not been deciphered, you are saying that there is no other language on planet Earth that can come remotely close to that language. And those people are isolated from the rest of the world, which we know is not true when we talk about ancient Egypt. You're saying those people in ancient Egypt, as much cultural diffusion took place, that they still wind up after thousands of years to have a language separate and different from everybody else on planet Earth. It now, is me, can, I, can I jump in now? Now, yes, I jump in. now listen, now let me put let me put my premises I'm now. Ready for the way in. I oh, hold on. Listen, I'm ready. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question now. Let me ask you a question. Okay, now let me hold on, hold on, because I got the sniper on you. You don't even know. You ran it's outside. You ran outside with your shotgun. And it's I got the I got the sniper. Now listen to this. Because you done ran into this right here. You know what I mean? You threw the hook. I slip. Now here comes the Tyson right. Here we go. So the meta nature has been deciphered. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, now let me kill you. Bang. Here we go. So according to the leg, to, according to the alleged successful decipherment <clears throat> of the meta nature comes the story of Khufu, right? Not only Khufu, but his son Kafri. <clears throat> now, according to the alleged decipher text. Khufu and his son Kafri built today what is known as the Pyramid and the Sphinx. Now, why is this important? Because the Pyramid and the Sphinx is a minimum of 20,000 years older than them motherfuckers. So if the Meta Nature was successfully deciphered, why does the alleged translated stories not match the age of the structures that they was allegedly deciphered on? Now, hold on. Well, I'm not done. Hold on. I'm not done now. I'm going to answer your question. I'm not done now. Hold on. I'm not done. So if it was deciphered, that's like if I spray paint on my motherfucking wall, okay, and somebody comes say, man, this shit say zero. Motherfucker, if, this, if I did the spray paint last week and this house is 50 years old, how the fuck did you successfully translate the alleged story of the builder of the house when the spray paint on the house is 50 years newer than the goddamn foundation? So when we say the meta nature has been deciphered, that's cute. But why the fuck don't the stories match the age of the temples of the people who allegedly wrote them? Let me ask you a question. In scholarship, the problem you're having is called an anachronism. An anachronism is when you misappropriate dates with times to either suit an agenda or just by mere error in itself and other people adopt the error and propagate the misinformation. You are not having a problem with the language, you're having a problem with an anachronism, which is a misappropriation of data with time. Uh, this so you're telling me it's a lie. Wait, 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 story wait, true. Wait, stop, 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 real quick. Stop. Let me ask you a question. When someone becomes popular, do people name their children after that same popular person? 
I, I mean, they might. So I don't know. I mean, okay, let's do it like this. Is there only one Muhammad on planet Earth right now? No. Is there only one Michael? Or is Michael a very popular word? I mean, I would have to say yes. I mean, I don't know. Okay, well, guess what? Khufu did big things. And so did Kafri. Is it possible that 20,000 years later, someone could have named someone after the pioneers of the community? That would be possible if the fucking story didn't say that they the ones who built it. Because I'm going to hit you with this gas. What you were saying would be true if they didn't fictitiously present mummified remains. They, 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 they grab, hold on, let you go, let me go, let me go, I'm hot right now. I'm hot right now. The motherfucking Pharaoh about to jump off this goddamn motherfucking, this, 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 this board behind. So that being said, that would be true what you're saying if they didn't fictitiously try to present physical evidence in the form of mummified remains. They didn't say that these people were named after their predecessors. They said, here's a goddamn dead body of a person who built this motherfucking structure and this person built this structure during the during this specific dynasty. So now when we do the comparison to the age of the structure and the person that built it, we find out that the structure is damn near 20,000 older, 20, years older than this dead motherfucker right here that we said built it. So with that being said, when we say the Medinetia has been deciphered, either that motherfucker is a complete lie, okay? made the fuck up or somebody accidentally have created fictitious stories which are 20,000 years off the mark in regards to the alleged manufacturing and creation of the buildings that they're supposed to be about creating. So I have a hard time believing that a nigga accidentally found a mummy and said that this mummy created this pyramid and this sphinx during the 4th century uh, during during the fourth dynasty, I believe, if not correct me, but with that being said, during a specific time frame in BCE, so about four thousand years ago from today, and then when we do the geological research on the structure, we find out this structure is damn near sixteen thousand to twenty thousand years older than the motherfucker who allegedly created it. So when we say the Medinetia has been deciphered. Did they decipher a motherfucking lie? Do you decipher a lie? Did you did did you accidentally right. find out a lie? Yeah. Now, let's see if we can decipher the lies you're putting forth. Hold on real quick. Hold on real fast. Hold on real fast. So here we pull up the harbor of Khufu on the Red Sea coast at Wajid El Jarf, Egypt, NEA. The harbor of Khufu on the Red Sea coast at Wajid El Jarf, Egypt. And here we see, after a decade of investigation of the Red Sea coast at Ayn Sukhna, Suez area in the southern Sinai Peninsula in the northern part of the eastern desert, Wadi Arabia, uh, Araba, a joint team university, Paris, Sorbonne, and the French Institute in Cairo discovered a new harbor complex from the old kingdom of Wadi Al Jarf in 2008. The site is located on the west. Hey, uh, hey, come on, y'all. Let's get the likes over 200. Let's get the likes over 200. Shout out to everybody in the building. Uh, we got some meals coming up after this. Let me tell y'all something. Um, <laughs> <coughs> Young Pharaoh made $1.4 million in 2020, he say. Young Pharaoh had the number one educational app on iTunes in 2020. I want y'all to listen to me, family. Do you know people didn't pay this man a million dollars for some bullshit ass information? They're not the only one. Look at all these other communities. None of this shit, all of this shit here was some bullshit. All that shit, Dr. B and them, all that shit, the Panary and all that shit, all these niggas been teaching, man, has been some bullshit. This nigga made a million dollars off of bullshit. And the signs been on the wall that this nigga never had nothing. Jabari watched this tape and seen that the nigga, he could not stay on this point. And I'm going to tell you something. When you ask a nigga a question and they take you somewhere other than answering it direct, that mean that nigga don't have that information. And bro, it's 98% of the people in the game right now are the same way. They do not like you asking questions. 
I don't give a fuck what group, what school of thought you coming from, bro. None of these niggas, all of these niggas are scared to ask questions. And we have watched all of them change their premise on what they originally started teaching. And people be paying these niggas money. These niggas having pay-per-views. Now watch this here. This is real important. Because these niggas be having pay-per-views. They charge to get in. To watch this information that is supposed to be prolific. But I'm going to show you something. When it's time for them to have a debate, they cannot even use those slides that they charge the people to come in and watch. Listen to me, bro. These niggas pay charging for motherfuckers to come into pay per views. But then when it's a challenge out there, we ain't nigga every all of you niggas out here doing pay per views. Why we ain't never seen your pay per view slides, niggas, up against nobody? Now we I got plenty tape. Go on, go through the scroll through the archives just in within the two weeks and see out nigga out the shit I pull up. It's the bars that I drop, nigga, and pay and behind the scenes in my pay per view. I can use them bitches, them bitches. Always, I don't give a fuck if it was 2017, if it was 2000. I will always be able to use that information because it is correct, nigga. If you're saying Andy Walkie, you're gonna stand on that. You can't come change the meaning, nigga. And we've watched 98 percent of the niggas in the game right now. Uh, uh, come out here with the original message that they taught, that they were paid for, that they told, that they told the people with secret hidden knowledge and that they discovered, and we watched them niggas backtrack away from it. What Pharaoh said, oh, uh, that was me in two, two, 2017. I'm different now. Nah, but we ain't heard no public apology. See, these niggas have been misinforming the people. This is the weakest, I mean, by far the weakest of scholars or niggas that come with information error that has ever that is has ever been this shit has been all pseudo this nigga made a million dollars off some information he can't even use in the debate because the information is wrong and when i'm telling you all of these niggas out here having uh uh debates right now they can't even bring their powerpoints to the goddamn to a goddamn debate you can't even use your lecture or uh, that you paid motherfuckers to come watch. We can't even see you in a debate with it. None of these niggas. We have yet. We just seen all type of niggas have pay per view. We ain't never seen them use that information in front of somebody where it could be contested. These niggas trash, man. Western coast of the Gulf of Suez, about 20 kilometers south of the modern town. Zafarana. It is situated approximately 100 kilometers south of Ains. Are there times when you would love to have another? Brother uh, Killer Yank say, polite and uh, Sparrow got wisdom, but are uh, misguided. Well, if the wisdom was so strong, family, they would still be, a lot of that shit that they teach would still be prevalent today, but it's not. That shit that they teach today, ain't nobody, ain't nobody teaching that shit now. That message ain't being passed on. Niggas paid a million dollars for wrong information and countless other motherfuckers. And none of these niggas, listen, if you notice, the same shit that he's telling Polite is the same shit that he tried to say last night to Jabari. This shit is fucking crazy. Niggas aren't updating their information. These niggas are wrong, and they are still stuck in that position. And this is why I say I will box circles around any one of these weak-ass niggas, because most of these niggas don't know how to uh, study, right? And they damn so don't know how to uh, 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 reach the people. You niggas are so wrong, man. And nobody's using genealogy. It's all doctors, it's all the white boys, all the experts, all the scientists. And then we look up today, and motherfuckers have wasted their time, their energy, what they put in the niggas, their resources, their money, they believe in their breath, showing up, giving niggas their views, and then only for a nigga to come back a couple years later to start saying something different than what he, he got you out here thinking and never apologize. And 98% of the niggas in the game is guilty of that. I don't give a fuck who you are, what your name is. 98% of the niggas in the game is guilty of that. 50 to 1700 BC. Probably brought into the operation during the reign of King Sneferu. 
That's Fourth Dynasty, brother. And particularly used by expeditions under King Khufu. You see the dates there. 2580 to 2550 BCE. The site of Wadi El Jaraf was apparently occupied exclusively at very beginning of the Fourth Dynasty in order to reach by boat the Sinai Peninsula, the main mining area operated by the ancient Egyptians. It is situated exactly opposite the contemporary coastal fortress, which was which has recently been identified on the western coast of the Sinai at El Marka, C. Mumford, 2006, on the other side of the Gulf of Suez, in an area where the stretch of the sea does not exceed 50 kilometers in width. From this point of <clears throat> uh, disembarkation, the royal expeditions which had departed from the Wadi El Jaraf Harbor reached the copper of turquoise mines in the southwestern part of the peninsula, particularly the Wajid Marka region attested by the official inscriptions of Sneferu and Khufu found in the area, C. Gardner, Pete Cerny, 1952, North Degrees 5 to 7, PL 2 to 4. The port facilities of Wajah El Jarf are quite extensive and multipolar. They cover an area. God damn, nigga, you gonna read the whole book? Bro, these niggas that y'all are talking about the best, these niggas don't even know how to shorten their punches up. Shorten your punches up, bro. You done read so much, nigga. You are talking to people that are coming here for information. You done read a whole book to them. If the point or the bar that you was trying to go to, we've missed it. We don't know if you got there, if you passed the motherfucker up. Did you run the red light? Did you stop at the stop sign? Nigga, we don't know where the fuck. And these are these are the niggas that they talking about are the best. Bro, I will walk through these niggas, man. What the fuck is you doing, polite? Niggas only know what they know. That's what I know. I know that they only know what they know. And all that other shit, they capping like they know. Area of CA six kilometers, 3.7 miles from west to east from the first foothills of the mountains of eastern desert, southern Gebel Galala. To the shore. Um, uh, Melissa, I say. I got 5,000 for a debate with you and to to Hootie. Uh, I'm going to tell Rob. Who is that? T go get him. Oh, uh, Miller to side. Go get him. Can you go get him right now and tell him come over here real quick? Miller side. Can you please go get whoever that brother is that you just named? Can you please go get him and tell him uh, come over here and um bring some headgear and some hand wraps and shit and, and let's go a few rounds? I'll show you today. I don't even know that person, but I'll show you today how I get down. And nigga, I would never lose to a nigga named Tahuti Amatev Ra. Ever. I would never lose to a nigga named Tahuti Amatev Ra. Please go get him. And I match, I throw five up on my own self. I got five bands on my own self. So go get that nigga and tell him. I said, come here right quick and, 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 and watch this. Don't get everybody in the projects. Tell them come outside and meet us at the basketball court and watch this. I will shine on any nigga named I'm Who Tip or any of that other fake shit. Or of the Red Sea, it is possible to observe from west to east the following components. Inland and in the immediate proximity of an essential water spring. Okay, it says there's a vast complex of storage galleries carved in the limestone hills, a warehouse system that is comparable to those that have recently been discovered in the two other Egyptian port sites presently known, Ayn Sukhna, 10 galleries, and Mirsa Gavasa. There are 30 galleries here, 19 of them being arranged around small rocky promontory, while 10 others are carved on one side of the small wadi with a northern orientation. In case it was possible to recognize the entrances to the remains of the complex and massive closed system that access to local production, cause containers and cooking or serving where it's C. Marit forthcoming. However, the repository of types is dominated by the overwhelming presence of thousands of large globalist storage jars found in all parts. Bro, Polite can't fuck with me, man. Polite, a bad motherfucker. But I'm telling you, bro, this can't, this can't beat me. This, this, this you gonna have to be on a different level, bro. These niggas don't even know how to shorten their punches up, bro. They don't even know how to turn the punch over, bro. 
this can this I will walk through this, bro. You you take it too long to get to one point. By the time you did that, bro, I'm 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 beating through a hundred punches around. That's one. I know you niggas can't keep up. I, I guarantee you, it ain't a scholar out there. They can lock us in there and and don't put no time clock on. And and nigga, we just go to somebody run out of information. Ain't nobody out there that they can put me in there with. Nigga, we can lock in, nigga, and we can go until nigga you ain't got no more. And Big Ram say he got five racks on it, and it matches. So there's ten. If any one of you niggas out there serious, how much y'all want to get in the ring? So Shrugs got five racks on it too. That's twenty. We got twenty thousand dollars up right now. I wish anyone wanted. You can go pick any scholar you want. I don't give a fuck if he got a debate league, homeboys, a group. I will. I will walk through any one of them niggas. And nigga, this is Indian business, nigga. We got twenty bands on it right now. We ain't even start talking to the other people and seeing what they got on it. Please go get any nigga named Amu Till. To the site and also at Al Marco Fortress on the opposite shore of the Gulf of Suez, as well as in some of the earliest occupation levels at Akinsuna. Now, I will give you the opportunity to screenshot the rest because the question is, Mr. Farrell, where the heck did you get the story from about Khufu and Khafre making these structures 20,000 years apart. What is your point of reference? Because when we go down... No, 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 don't say that. I didn't say they made them 20,000 years apart. Right. I said, what did you say? I said the alleged translation of the meta nature in regards to it being read off a of stele, that the stele allegedly once being deciphered, said that Khufu and Khafre built the Great Sphinx, I mean the Great Pyramid and the Sphinx. This alleged translation is incorrect. See... See, polite, let him go. Jabari, he used the same uh, combination on Jabari last night, but Jabari already watched this video. He went and watched tape on him. So he seen how Pharaoh couldn't stand on his positions, even with the Anunnaki. That's why Jabari first thing, what he went in, he made him stand on what he first, and he got him out of his bag on that. Because when you're dealing with pseudo niggas that don't really got no balls, they be fronting with y'all. And this was the difference. Jonathan Owens, he went over there and said, he going to young Pharaoh you. Pharaoh, y'all can call that charisma. I'm from the South. Nick, that charisma don't match with us down here. All right, that ain't our type of, you know what I'm saying? We don't know how to get jiggy with that. But what I say is this. He's all charisma and no bars. That's why I told him, what if you got both? Because I got bored. And if y'all call it up, me being me, charisma, then that's what it is. But that this nigga here, he couldn't stand on nothing. Then he threw this same one about Khufu building the pyramids in Khufu's son when it was uh, Shneferu. Listen, his chronology was out. Jabari seen this. This is what I'm saying, bro. These niggas ain't got nothing. It's been five years. The nigga ain't up six years. Five, six years, he ain't updated his information. Looking like Seti over there, still teaching shit from the 90s. You niggas will get punched down each and every last. Nigga, we got 20 uh, uh, open knowledge got a rack on it. We up to 21,000 right now, man. Do y'all got anybody out there who got something? We up to 21,000 right now, nigga. Papa Shorty got 500 on it. We we up to goddamn me uh, 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 20.6 right now. We up to 20,500. Uh, Correct. Because they could not have five, built nigga. it because the structure That's are at least 16 to 20,000 years older than them. And now this is how I put the knife in your chest. Because Egypt is allegedly a desert land. So what's, what's the name? Stella that you're talking about. That's uh, it. I'll, I'll give it to you, and I'm gonna get the book if I gotta get. Or if we want to, if you want to do the meta that should not been deciphered debate, we can say the rest of the. Debate. Look at him. See when niggas do this here, you see what uh, polite did. He was direct. What's the name of it? I get it to you late. I hate when niggas do that. Niggas that do that are not on the elite level. You are not on the elite level because you're bluffing. If you had some, or if you knew it, you would have said it, bro. Niggas always act like they got a pistol in the car. Man, don't make me go pop the trunk type of shit. Well, damn, nigga, we here. This, this is the if you're a killer, this is the time to be a killer. 
Fuck you gotta pop the trunk for my shit on me, nigga. And it's a Glock. So I ain't got no motherfucking safety on here. I'm ready. I got one in the head, nigga. Yeah, my shit cocked and loaded. And so you can you see niggas all the time say they ain't got no sources right now. Give them a little minute, they gotta go put something together and all of that. And that's why you man, I'm telling you, bro, the game is a lot of these niggas been capping, been having people following them, people been believing in these niggas, man. And I don't respect no nigga who ain't got no blood on his hand on the battlefield. That's where I'm coming from. That's why I don't be trying to hear none of that shit. These niggas be trying to new nigga me, but ain't none of you can put them together and they ain't got more phase than me. Nigga, I've been carrying this shit on my back. Why? Because I've been the only nigga out here fighting. Come on, bro. Nigga, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't none of these niggas I damn near that I ain't already put my hands on. But Pharaoh, you just bluffed and act like you had a pistol in the car, nigga. And, and that type of shit will, will not work on me. But Polite know what he's doing, so let's see if he's going to walk him down. So it's up to you. But I will say this. I just want to know where I, the hell I, will say say I, I will say this. We can prove that the pyramids, right, are older than the alleged stories and the alleged mummies in regards to who allegedly built them because it's been confirmed by over 250 actual geologists who actually went to the pyramids that they had to pump millions of gallons of water out of the basements of these, of these not just the pyramids of the Great Sphinx, but other surrounding temples, which today water damage can still be seen as present due to a river that no longer exists and dried up a minimum of 12,000 years ago. So with that being said, unless... Hold on, because there's no water over there today. It's desert. So unless Khufu and Kafri ass was on some boats building floating pyramids, okay, on water, then they could not have been ever responsible for the building of these structures. So with that being said, the meta nature could not have been deciphered. This was Pharaoh's argument last night, if y'all was if y'all remember. Shout out to uh uh gaming. Uh he said, I doubt, I doubt it uh, that if they got anyone in existence. I got one thousand dollars, which one of them for the double up. Hey, who you got that thousand on though? <laughs> who you got the thousand on though? G five gave in the building. What's up with it, Wildflower? Who you got the rack on though, fam? I, I think they want to know who you got the rack on, goddamn. Cause these niggas here are poo. And Pharaoh bluffing. It's the same argument he used last night. He couldn't use it last night. That's what I'm saying. These niggas. It's been five years and the brother ain't even updated his information. This shit is crazy. And my game is this. If I'm studying that hard on a particular topic, why would I change my stance on it? I ain't study all these hours and all these motherfucking weeks and months, nigga, for my shit to be wrong for me to only be able to use it today, but next year I can't use it. Then it never was right. I can go back to nigga the other day. We just pulled out some shit from 2020, watching my rookie year. And all of that shit, I'm still saying, I'm still saying today in more ways. We know the conversation up so much that now everybody's saying it. That's the shit that have an impact. That's the hits in the street. That's when you heavy in the street with a hit. This shit here, ain't no black woman is going. All that shit. These niggas don't even say that shit no more. None of that shit, bro. They had you go vegan, your dick stopped working. All of this type of shit. Oh, uh, oh, uh, we call y'all and them selling fake packs off of off of Amazon Prime, nigga getting herbs off Amazon. All of this fake ass country shit. All of these niggas, man. The whole time, Pharaoh made a million dollars off of misinformation. That is incredible. He should be in the Guinness World Record book. Because according to the Metis Nature, these two alleged African entities built these structures, but these oh. structures themselves. Through, due to geological evidence, have been proven to have been have built outside of their lifespan by thousands of years. So right. we're not jacking the meta at all. Farrell. And I'll grab the book. I'll grab the book. No problem, Farrell. Uh, I need you to understand something, my brother. And hey, there go uh, three more bands up there. We damn near twenty five thousand. We damn near twenty five thousand. If niggas really talking about getting punched down. But we ain't getting away no free money. You niggas gonna have to match that 25 bands. Go get your best nigga and let's see what and, and 
Tell that nigga, let's suit up. Because all of them in the game know me. And get and all the yeah, what I know. Don't know. And they all know that they can't fuck with me. Especially this shit these niggas got going on. We walking through that. What you're telling me is you have paleontology discrepancies, maybe. You have problems with anachronisms, maybe. I have comments. Oh, hold on. <laughs> but you're, you're not telling me linguistic issues. You're telling me a story doesn't match up with a date or time. What does that do to mean something hasn't been deciphered? You're only talking about the story because the shit been deciphered. No. If someone messes up on a date or a time, that doesn't mean the language hasn't been deciphered. That means someone messed up on a date and a time. I don't understand the logic of omitting the story, omitting the language the story comes from because the paleontology is inaccurate or there's an anachronism placed there, maybe to suit an agenda, which would tell us to study philology, which is when you see if the times and dates are in conformity with the language that's being transmitted or used as a medium to communicate with the people doing the studying. Now, let me, hold on, and, let me get you on the game. And, and no hold on, did you get on the Hold on, hold on. Hold on. In no instance does any scholar say omit the language because there's an inconsistency with a date, a time, or a person's name. No one says the language must not have been deciphered because the time doesn't match up with a date or the person's name doesn't match up with the time that they was accredited for a situation. Do you realize you're telling us to ignore the language of our ancestors because you disagree with a date, a time, or an incident that had took place? Or do you realize that's what you're saying? Let me All right, now let me say this here. Pharaoh, if you was a bad motherfucker like I am, we don't do theories. And let me tell you something. And in the court of law, let me catch your ass one time. My nigga, if you were saying, if you were going to stand here, so my next question for Pharaoh would have been, are you are you agreeing that the dates are off? Are you agreeing that there's a possibility that the dates doesn't add up with the with the uh, uh the, the dates of, of the language of the time period of these deities living to be able to have uh uh, uh, uh spoken or written his language or deciphered this language? Because see what he did was separated the two. Just because the time frame somebody messed up on the date don't mean that it wasn't deciphered. Now, nigga, if one thing wrong is all wrong. And Pharaoh, I don't know what you about to say next, but that'll be my premise. Hold on, nigga. So is this make believe? Is somebody lying? So what else they lying about? Ooh, I would have started walking to him because he polite did that spill, but he don't even know he opened himself up to get countered. And, and he didn't bring back bars on it. These aren't bars. This this is not an answer for me. Cause see, you talking to the people now. You trying to get them to paint the picture, and this that's the same thing. Pharaoh, I would have dropped bars on. Them. And so now we need dates, we need names, we need all of this type of shit, because both of y'all generalizing right now and polite. We can't accept that because in the court of law, check. We're gonna have no evidence, something primary. And if the shit y'all brought us is a primary, if the dates are out, then we have to throw it all out. You got, we got a mistrial. Nah, man, we can't all uh, convict nobody on theory. We can't convict nobody. If the date's wrong, nigga, then nigga, well, now we have to look into what else could possibly be wrong. Or why was why are the dates wrong? And if the dates are off, nigga, I better not find one thing in that bitch wrong, nigga. We're gonna have to throw it out. Answer that question. Do you realize that I also have tribal proof that there's an? You said I'm ignoring our, our tribal proof. My next question for I would have let him get it out because he want to get out right now, but I would have asked him, uh, "What year did you go to Egypt? What year did you go to Egypt, and what tribe you talk to?" We know Pharaoh ain't went to Egypt. So you talking about you got a primary from the tribe? How? When? Where? How? And you ain't been to Egypt. Ancestors' language. Do you realize that I have proof of an African tribe who were never displaced from Egypt for 65,000 years? And the head of that tribe has already confirmed 
the inconsistencies in the teachings of Egyptology and have confirmed that they are not of African root, for one. And then for two, don't we get in a Hebrew ass because we tell the Hebrews that it's not wow. no sense? Well, I'm not done. We tell the Hebrews, no disrespect to my Hebrew brothers, we get in the Hebrew ass all day because we tell them it's not no goddamn dates in that book in regards to the stories it tells. So we find inconsistencies in regards to the time frame of events that these actions could have taken place. The meta nature is not exempt. Comedic <laughs> niggas are not exempt from being exposed to the lies that they have told due to the inconsistencies or the absences or the miscalculations of the dates and times in regards to their stories that they allege to tell. If I tell a motherfucker, I went to the store yesterday at five o'clock and I write it in a book and God damn it, you watch the camera and the camera show I never went to the store. We cannot accredit some form of truth to the story because a European wrote it in a book predicated upon a language that he created. The, meta, the Rosetta Stone, if we want to keep it a buck, has never even been chemically tested. So you don't even know if that motherfucker is real. So what that the hell are you, hold on, hold on. Stop. Stop. Well, I'm not done. I'm not done. Hold on, polite. Let him get it off, bro. No, -uh. you gotta let him get it off. Cause I it was somewhere polite wanted to try to see if he could get inside and throw while he's throwing, but nah, you gotta you gotta let him get it off. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. You gotta let him get it off though. Let me prove my point. Even when we're dealing with the material that the Rosetta Stone is made out of. Egyptians were not building their mind. What type of material, bro? You niggas be generalizing, bro. Do y'all really, do y'all hear y'all say? You niggas do not know how to teach. You are having a conversation, bro. The material. Nigga, that shit won't fly with me. What type of material, brother? And then niggas get mad when you get to ask a question, but really I'm trying to teach your ass how to teach. Cause you out here trying to convince these people you know what you are talking about. But all this shit is a freestyle. You guessing like a motherfucker. Monumental structures out of that material. So out of you material. Right? See, and, and, and I'm going to tell you something about Polite. Polite, where he got a lot of them on because he throws sharp shots. What he asking, what type of material? Even if he don't know the answer to the motherfucker. But all that you niggas be generalizing, throwing these wide looping shots, and the nigga come right down the middle with a one or a two or a straight on your motherfucking ass, and and nigga you then knock your head back on the jab. What type of material? Cause you talking too much, and you let niggas talk cause they gonna get in trouble. Uh, so, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'll, listen, I'll go there. We can put up the debate. I'm asking you out of what material? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me listen. 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 All you gotta do is tell me. That we do on the meta net has not been deciphered debate. Oh man, bro, dude, stop enough with the pump faking. Do you know it's so many debaters out here today do the same thing that Pharaoh doing? Brother, if I ask you a question, you should have the answer. If you don't have the answer, you shouldn't have brought it up. Why do you niggas be talking to the people like y'all really know something, bro? When you really don't know nothing. It, man, I cannot express. I already said it. I gave my number 98%. 98 percent. 98% of the niggas out with a microphone do not know what they're talking about. And they get in a position like this here, they are generalizers. Just like Pharaoh sitting there having trouble. The man that asked you three times, what's the date? Why? Because you throw why nigga throw. And goddamn me, now he didn't he off his square. I'll show you in the debate. Just let me know. I can all this other shit. But we're supposed to be intellectually having a conversation, and you supposed to be that nigga. But what we find out is you niggas can't think that fast. You niggas need a note. That's why they can't. Ooh, they say that nigga don't need no notes. That nigga don't be there. And them hoes coming out the dome. Them hoes, you throw, he coming back. No notes, no Google, no, hold on, let me go check this here out, or none of that type of shit. Pharaoh, you, you another time you got you out here pump faking. Hey, I, I, asked, I asked you to confirm Saturday next week. Listen, that. It's confirmed. Hold on, hold on. Let me see my. Show I actually me. confirmed. Not this Saturday. Next right. Saturday. Let me go on my calendar. Let me go on. Let me check now, my. Why are you doing your calendar? Let me share something with everybody. Because I know y'all was like, "What the hell is all of that you reading, polite?" I just want you to get some reading material. Because what we tend to do is skim through information and share Brother it with. Brother, Brother, Brother. Hold on, real quick, brother. I have to read this part because this it wasn't finished. 
I read the first part so he could dig himself into a deeper hole because this is how I play chess. Now I'm going to read the second part so it can all make sense for people because I'm just asking him where is he getting the information from. He don't have to ask me that. I can show him, here's an example of where I'm getting information from, and then we can look up the people who's presenting the information. Hey, family, they saying get the likes up. They saying get the likes up. Hey, y'all, let's get the likes up. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the show, man. We're doing real, real big things over here. Best on YouTube. You're now rocking with the best on YouTube. We got $25,000 out the check, betting $25,000. And it's a lot of niggas that ain't even in here right now. So the pot can get bigger. I'm waiting on some nigga named Amino Tip. He, they supposed to been to go get him. He, they say he come from the other side of town or something. I told him I'm going to be standing out here waiting on him. Amino Tip, I wish I would. You lose ever lose to a pan African or more a Hebrew or any nigga named M a men hotel. Simple stuff. Now watch this. That's why I asked him what material are they using. Now he start backpedaling. He don't want to tell me what type of material. I told you I got the book. No, nigga, what book? What book and what material? And now you got caught in the situation where nigga, uh, this is the same thing the boy did to him last night, so he didn't even learn from this. You niggas can't be out here talking and think you can't. First off, you can't show up to a showdown, bro, and you ain't got nothing on you. Do you really think we finna go out here and just set it up and you ain't got to bring no notes or no nothing? Man, when niggas come out here, niggas ain't playing, bro. You think, all right, I can just go out there, talk, generalize my way through, and then I'll just be ready for the debate. No, this is the debate. I'm finna beat you up. And then if you ain't ready, I'm going to say, you know what, brother? I feel like this would be a waste of my time. You couldn't even get past this. But niggas continue to show up to these, these sit-downs. And ain't got no notes or no bars on them. And think you can leave and go to home and get a pistol. No, bitch, I'm strapped right now. I'm finna get down on you. Ain't no debate, nigga. I tricked your ass, nigga. Yeah, I tricked you. This is the debate. Welcome to the big league. Referee, what's the rule? Protect yourself at all times. Ain't nobody getting you out of this. You brought your ass in here. You ain't bring a pistol, nigga. That's you. We gangster over here. Yo, we bust that iron on this end, nigga. And we got plenty shots. And now he's sitting there. Look how he looking. Because now, now it's become a teaching moment. Since you nigga want to act shy, play scared, don't want to bring your sources out. Well, now since you don't want to know, I know it. And it's a teaching moment. And now it's going to make you look bad. Even if you had the book and knew the answer, Pharaoh. You niggas with that scary shit or keeping your gun in the car on the dresser, a nigga gonna blast your ass when you run into a real, real gangster with his information. Ain't no prisoners. Ain't no, hold on, man, let me make it to the fuck that. Nigga, you said you finna come in here and eat my lunch. Nigga, if I slip or miss a shot, you catch me, you can put me down. No, nigga, protect yourself at all times. I told you I got the book right over here. With the material you was talking about. Do you even know? Big what? Listen, B, which material? We talking about the stories? We talking about where am I getting oh, information? You're the one that's doing the talking. I don't... You, you saying that... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. you saying that there was... The materials they accredited for using to build these structures, they didn't even have at that time. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say, I didn't say they didn't have. I said the Egyptians did not use the material that they used to build their monumental structures out of the same material that was used to make that Rosetta Stone. That's what I said. Okay. And then I went on to ask... What is the material you're talking about? And then you start no, and I told you, And I told you I will answer that if we do a debate. I will oh, not. Damn, nigga, that ain't. How, how could that make a difference in the debate? The material of what they use. That don't, that's not going to change the, the debate, nigga. If that's, if that's one of your power blows, nigga, then you ain't hitting hard. No problem. No problem. Let me, right. let me, let me share this thing. Let me share this thing. Make it a teaching uh, moment. I don't go this back very to the niggas. I don't debate. Need to understand I don't debate why I do what I do. What do you say? That nigga say, this is what I do. What Clark say, I only debate my equals. Everybody else I teach. Don't, don't get in here with me, nigga. I'm going to make it a teaching moment. Let me find a flower or something, nigga. Hey, look at family. This is what we call a teaching moment. Been an uh, a nigga that, I pull up a source, nigga. I'm just going to kill you with the source. Let me teach you. What I read probably should have did something for you. But here we go on page 10, just so you know. The Harbor of Kufu on the Red Sea coast at Wadi El Jaf, Egypt. People can look it up themselves. N-E-A-77 over one, please. You can even download it. It's right over here. 
the, the most surprising is that this document in the section that has been best preserved does not report anything about the activity of this group on the site of Wadi El Jarf, where Merer obviously intervened at some point. Over a period of several months, it reports in form of a timetable with two columns per day, many operations related to the construction of the great Ahmed of Khufu at Giza and the work at the limestone quarries on the opposite bank of the Nile. On a regular basis, there are also descriptions concerning on the Nile and connected canals of stone blocks, which have been extracted from the northern and southern quarries of Tua, R3W, Rissi, and R-3W, M-H-T-J. Blocks were delivered within four days at the pyramid construction site called the Horizon of Khufu, Achet, Khufu, and were properly used for the external casing of the Great Pyramid made of fine limestone. Here we go. Mera's journal also mentions a regular passing by an important administrative center, Roche Khufu, which seems to have functioned as a logical stop point one day before his arrival at the construction site on the Giza Plateau. It is especially specified that this site is under the authority of a high-ranking official, Ankhav, half-brother of Khufu, who was his vizier and chief for all the works of the king? Um, Polite, I think you're reading a little too much, brother. Um, you should have went straight to the bar that we needed, bro. You niggas need to learn how to shorten y'all punches up, bro. I'm going to be through a whole combination on you niggas' ass and slipped up out of there for you niggas even throw. But, hey, they, let's get the likes over 200. Let's get the likes over 200, family. This diary, I'll say it again, this diary found in the same archaeological context as the administrative accounts dating to regnal year 27 highlights two major factors. It confirms that Ankhaf has effectively vizier and in, char in charge of some of the final steps of the construction of the Great Pyramid at Giza. And it verifies, keyword, it verifies that the pyramid was clearly at a final stage of the construction project at the very end of the Khufu's reign, the surprising presence of these documents on the Red Sea site. At, this is from a diary, people. This is from a diary. Okay, let's hold on. Do we need more? We get we can keep coming back off and on because it gets deeper and deeper. This information is coming from a diary. Do we that need to write more about this conspiracy about Khufu? And Cafe, I'm, I'm gonna tell you why we do. Because I'm using a diary. Let me okay. Let me. Let, I'll kill a diary too now. All right. Okay. Now I have. I have let been known. Diary. Let me see I have. Been, I have been known to put a lot of motherfuckers to sleep. Now let's go to the diary. To my point. <laughs> why are we not? Why are we not? Also breaking down. So we want to talk about sources. Why are we not breaking down that all Egyptology sources? That I put out to the public is owned by the Rothschilds. Now I'm finna make my point. Yeah, I'm finna make my point. Oh no, no. Yes. Yes. How the yes. hell is all oh, these oh, 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 And I got sources when I went to Dan. Let me break this down because I guess that is true. And I'll, I'll I'll expose that in the debate if we go there. Masonic society. <laughs> oh, hold on, owns, hold on, I'm not done. Owns <laughs> and created the Egyptology side. This is a fact. Now, outside of that, let me prove my point. Go ahead, brother. There is an entire organization of Caucasians. They call themselves Kometologists. And they are ex-Egyptologists, and they are now exposing that Egyptology has now been neglecting to omit factual documentation of anything involving Egypt exceeding 6,000 years because it does not fit the Masonic agenda of religion. So why... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. When we're talking about diaries, we still have to break down who wrote the diary? Oh, not done. I'm about to prove my point. Who wrote the diary? How was allegedly translated? Which will lead us right back to number one. The alleged person who wrote the diary, confirming the alleged story of the people who constructed the pyramid, still don't match the age of the goddamn pyramid. So I don't give a fuck if they say they found a diary. I don't give a fuck if they say they found a video footage. If they, I mean, I don't give a fuck if they say they found DNA evidence. If they don't have, the diary that just hold on, hold on, I'm not done. If they do not have video footage of Khufu and Kafri building that pyramid, 
then they cannot prove that the story that they allegedly successfully decipher omits the truth in regards to these mummified remains, the origin and creators of the this period. Period. Do we need videotape of your extraterrestrials, brother? Every time you bring that to the table, do we I need videotape? Do we need videotapes of astral projection? I can bring a witness. I can bring a witness, but we're not talking about. Nah, nigga, we need some videotape. We need that tape, man. This is why they couldn't fuck with polite though. But I get him because he ain't no historian. It's 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 it's. Extraterrestrials right now. We're talking about the men. Oh, we're not talking about. Can we talk about the extraterrestrials, please? I should have brought some salt on this motherfucker so I could have said. You live in a world. Can we talk about of a convenient truth where the world works for you if you choose to go back? The world has video footage. The world has video footage of extraterrestrials. And the world and the world has pyramids that still exist. That can be accommodated amongst a host of contemporary. Oh, means. I'm glad you said that. So we can prove. Hold on. So we can prove through the physiological, scientific testing of a structure is date and age. Correct. Physiological so, structure. Listen. 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 <laughs> Young Pharaoh. Oh, we 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We ain't hold on. We ain't Excuse me. Can I, can I speak? <laughs> All right. We can prove. Let's tweak it. We can prove through the physical <laughs> structure. We can prove through the physical structure. Right of the pyramids, do scientific testing in mm -hmm. day and age, and this has been done, and it has been proven that mm -hmm. the structures are older than the stories that have allegedly been deciphered in and, regards and to the people. The language doesn't exist, right? Hold on, this proves. <laughs> hold on, this proves that the decipherment is either a lie or it's incorrect. What does it mean, that, does it mean the on. language can't be deciphered, or it wasn't? It has not. Because it has not told the fucking truth yet. So if someone misleads, so why is your university called Aiden University? Because Aiden is supposedly deciphered from the metal netta. So why are you screaming Pharaoh? Why are you screaming Aiden Nation? If it hasn't been deciphered, then what the hell is your what do what do your name mean? And what do I mean, brother? People, that means the language wasn't deciphered. Or you've been lied to. Okay, then. So why don't you say black people been lied to? Why would you tell them one of their ancient I, I, I told them. I said, they been, I said you've been lied to in the meta nature has not been deciphered. Oh, well, I'm sorry, you said or. So it means either it hasn't been deciphered hey, no. or let, let me let me go because I, I know. Polite good at cutting the ring off. He good at cutting the ring off. And how he got by a lot of opponents is because they really didn't have no debt uh, behind their conversations. As Pharaoh do not want to stand still on one spot and, and fight, he keep he's on the go. He's not standing still. He's not standing on none of his points and fighting them off or none of that. He's saying shit and then he's moving. Like... What and, and, and I don't knock it because this was this this happened in the past, but to see him last night to not get better, these niggas ain't working. And one of the reasons why Polite was the top in that era is because he outworked there, all them niggas. He really was in his bag studying this shit. The reason why I'm running these niggas is because I'm really in my bag. The only difference between me and Polite is none of the shit that he taught back then can be taught today. No, how you like to do. Let me let me say this on a, everybody be quiet so I can get this on a, on the record. Except the economics and all of that type of talk. But for his information, his historic information, none of his books has ever been referenced in the debate or none of that type of shit. Like, and he never used none of his books. He never referenced none of his books in none of his debates. So that's, that let you know now, why should we buy the book if the information not even good enough for you to come out here and win a debate with it? That's my thing, bro. Is it true or not? If it's true, the truth don't move. The truth don't change, goddamn. You put it in the ground, that bitch gonna be there forever. That's what it, that's how it's supposed to be. But all these all these nigga talking points then went away. Now these niggas got new talking points. Then misled motherfuckers and they ain't said sorry or nothing. All of these niggas, man. That's all you have been lied to, African people. 
the meta network has not been deciphered. Pop your shit. Because, That's well, been confirmed. Listen. Tell us why it hasn't been deciphered again? Because dates don't match up with times? Or no, no. Because the alleged, the, the alleged stories produced by the alleged successful decipherment of the language do not match the construction of the buildings in regards to the time frame the stories are falsely propagating that they were built. That's why it's a goddamn lie. If somebody say, hey, I went into a temple and the temple says that Johnny and Johnny and Ray Ray built this statue 3,000 years ago. And then I test the statue and the statue 50,000 years. Oh, the motherfucker is lying to me. That's common damn sense. Dr. Ben, Dr. Ben, who is an accredited scholar in his black community, okay, has already said it hasn't been deciphered. Motherfucking, uh, the brother, Ashrock Quazy has already said it has not been deciphered. Then yeah, why Ashrock Quazy teach it? They, they teach the man in him and his wife. Uh, what's what's uh um damn what's uh mama name out of Chicago uh fuck what's her name? It'll come to me out of Chicago. They 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 connected with them. Europeans themselves, actual scientists, okay, say that they don't even. I think her name a Keddy, something like that. Um, it'll come to me. Speak it. Hey Pharaoh. Hold on, not done. They say that they don't even speak it. Okay, they say that it's illegal. I mean, it's not illegal. It's not common or, or, or a practice within the scientific community to even speak it because they have not deciphered it and cannot vernacularly express it. So my thing is, if Dr. Ben said it's not deciphered, since we want to have black references, if Azra Quazy said it's not deciphered, hold on, if Azra Quazy hold on, if Azra Quazy said it hasn't been deciphered, what and the then hell? Alleged, hold on, and then if the people himself, if the Egyptologists, if the Egyptology society themselves have admitted What's the, What's the name of the society you talking about? Woo! I told you, polite. He gonna come in and jab you, bro. All this generalizing, bro. I don't understand. I don't know how to follow that. My mind don't work like that. <laughs> you gotta take me to a place so I can. Sixteen hundred and nine. Okay, give me a, a area and okay, now we can start working. Give me something to work with. My mind don't work with a nigga just talking. So polite jabbed him. Where you at on it? He ready to step to him. Give me a date on it. And that's why I say I like to let niggas talk because a lot of these niggas ain't got no debt behind it. If you ask them a question, they probably can answer it one time. Ask them, and you, the further and further y'all go, you see the weekend weaker they break down because the shit that they seeing, they don't fully understand it or have the information to prove it themselves. Who you want me to? All right. What, what, what the hell is the name of the society? Can Everybody I have a, doesn't agree with this crazy shit. So can, I have a, can, I have, about? can I have a Google motherfucker moment? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I've been waiting. Can I have a Google situation? Go ahead. Can I have a Google motherfucker moment? That's right. Because I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at. I got to ask permission. Go ahead, brother. All right, now give me some time. I got to have a Google motherfucker moment. All right, why you do that? This is what I need you to do. That thing behind your head, it might be to your right. Because it looks like it's on your left on the camera. That thing is called a unk, correct? According to Egyptologists and Europeans, yes. Okay. How uh, is that the shape of the unk? <laughs> Watch this here. I'm gonna set him up. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. And you see when you take a nigga, you do a nigga like that. That's why I was saying, like even Jabari Strat's tactic last night. He don't he don't know how to set you. He didn't he don't have no nice setups. You know what I'm saying? Polite set him up and walk in there. See Pharaoh out Pharaoh, he a scary nigga. He's scared to get hit. I seen that last night. That's why niggas don't like questions or why you talking, they'll try to talk while you you talking or whatever. Slow the pace down. Hold on, brother. You gonna go and then I'm gonna go. They hate that because damn, they nervous about what you're asking them. And all of that shit is happening at the same time. It's affecting them, their thought process, where they can go. And yeah, and so um, let's see we gonna, how you going to do this one. Is that, I mean, because no one was there to videotape them before we seen them damn unks. So how did we know to even deal with the unk in the first place? Why you got that shit draped up there? Because according to you, we need videotapes to no. confirm information. No, 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 no. 
We oh, have five. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen. Let me answer my question because you tried it, but it ain't gonna no, work. See how right. short my questions are. And no, I was I, I, no, watch out. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna... Yeah, see, he said. You see how short? He trying to say how direct. I mean, I think you could have did a little. I was. You set it up with the jab, but I mean, I thought you could have threw something. I thought you was gonna throw something different, but it is what it is. I'll keep the answer short. You can't lie about a structure that you can't manipulate the physical form of. You can lie about a language. See, when you that's not an answer, bro. I'm sorry. And when the nigga punching straight and direct, if you don't come back direct, then I I say to me he hurt. He don't know. When nigga hurt, what you do? You walk to him. You say, is this the original shape? You damn right. Because when they found artifacts and tested them, not only were they, ain't, were they ancient in regards to their age, you can't manipulate the shape. So mm. that being said, so yes, hold on. Hold so on. what does it mean though? What does it mean to you? What does it symbolize? What is this shape symbolizing? What is the message coming from of this shape? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Hold on. I, I, I got. I have to interrupt. I have to interrupt. So have to no, no. Don't nobody need to interrupt, bro. Y'all niggas need to chill the fuck out sometime. Damn, the nigga got him on the line. Let me get. Let me get him and reel him in the boat. Then you niggas chill out, bro. You acting like him. That's how he finna get caught. You nigga be wanting to jump out there, nigga. Let him, let him, let him answer this one, man. Because what do that ump mean? What do it symbolize? No, okay. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. She has something to do. I have to hit the line. Oh, I got you. you. Let her get in right after this, please. Hold on, please. hold on, hold on. You can manipulate the shape of letters, but you can't manipulate the shape of images. No, I, I, no, I, said, that. I said physical structures. You can't go to Egypt and twist the goddamn pyramid. Okay. A uh, a uh, uh, a letter is. What about that unk? A letter is not a. This unk on this image. Yes. Yeah. Yes, nigga. That one. Did you see his face? Niggas don't be knowing where them shots coming from. Uh, okay, let's get uh, this. Uh, let me my point. Muslims believe in Allah. Christians videotape them. Will manipulate the shape. Mm -hmm. So that being said. So yes, hold on. Bro. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Hold on. Foul, 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 foul. I, I, I got. I have to interrupt. I have to interrupt. So I have to, I have, she has something to do. You can go to Egypt right now. Find a piece of stone or a piece. I, no, I, like I said physical structures. You can't go to Egypt and twist the goddamn pyramid. Okay. A a a, a letter is. What about that unk? A letter is not a. This unk on this image. Nah, the the the, in, the one outside, nigga, in the parking lot. No, nah, nigga, not that ump, um, nigga. The ump, uh, 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 nigga, down the street, nigga. The ump that's outside, nigga, sitting in the, yeah, in the yard, nigga. That way you know you got a nigga. Boy, your thoughts got to come. You got to be on point. You got to be seeing all that shit coming. You talking about this one? You would, you couldn't possibly be talking about this one, would you, brother? Nigga, you heard what the fuck I said. Yeah, yeah. Is the original form? How do you know that? Oh, no, no, no. In which they found it in the you basement. Got, you got a videotape of a nigga building the first unk, nigga. Of these pyramids. You and couldn't make the shape of an unk either. So you telling me you can go to Egypt right now, find a piece of stone or a piece of metal, all right, mm -hmm. that is thousands of years old, has not been tampered with, and twist the motherfucker to the shape you wanted to be. No, because when they created it, they didn't twist it to the shape they wanted it to be. All right, these niggas were efficient in this 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 area. If you knew about them, this is what they did. They formed gold. They formed brass. Oh, copper, tin. A lot of niggas was in the metal area. Them niggas been out there in the field, nigga. So now, uh, now, yeah, this is some somebody somebody did that. So yeah, it's, if it was possible to be done then, it's possibly be done today, because they could take that same thing and melt it down and create it back into their same image, bro. Polish it up and restore it. Why you sitting back like you 
did some. My thing is, where are the sources? This is a lot of talking. I can I can fuck around in that area. Nigga, I'll be trying to figure out what the source is it. Ain't no sources. So we just finna sit here and see who can make the most logical sense out of out of freestyle type of shit. That's what we doing. Brother Pharaoh, I'm not using my logic. I'm using your logic, brother oh, Pharaoh. So that that is my logic. Logic. Yes. Uh, you you to, absolutely. No, I know what you're trying to say. You trying to say because we didn't see them discover. No, you're trying to say. You said that, nigga. You said that. Do you have uh, 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 a videotape of Khufu near my there building a pyramid, nigga? If not, then you can't bring it in the court of law. So, ooh, I be loving when niggas trap they sell. Because now, nigga, you can't stay. I know you ain't got nowhere to stand. Oh, he did it to himself, and now he in the position that Bobby Bangers' uncle was in last night when he was talking about he ain't bring up the debate and the nigga showed a certificate about, yeah, man, you niggas, y'all don't think too fast. I know you ain't going to listen to your coach coming out the corner. You niggas not focused on the fight. You're not bringing your hand back after your throw. You're susceptible to corner. Your head sitting there. You ain't got no foot movement. You niggas don't think fast enough, and you, you freestyling so much. That you forgot what you said. And ooh, I got you, nigga. Ooh, I, I'm like an elephant, boy. I got a memory like an elephant. I got big old ears, nigga, like an elephant. I hear all that shit. I see everything in the ring, nigga. Now nah, this ain't me, home, boy. That's you. And and polite is on that level. And he, he called him. Say that. No, no, no. no I'm <laughs> saying that the meta nature has not been deciphered because the stories do not match up with the age of the civilization they're about. That's what I'm saying. I didn't the story. Hold on, hold on. Are you mad at the stories? Are you mad at the shapes? Are you mad at the people? Because either the people are lying, the shape right now. I'm gonna tell you right now what I'm mad at. I'm mad at how the stories have shaped the minds of people like you. That's what I'm mad at. You okay. have what well, that too, because your shit is named after all of this shit that was supposed to have been deciphered. Your shit is named after decipherment. <laughs> Other shit you say don't exist. Muslims believe in Allah, Christians believe in Jesus, and you comedic niggas believe that Khufu built the pyramids. All you niggas been tricked. All of you niggas. And nigga been holding on, didn't update his information, and went in there and got counted on that shit using this old information and didn't even bring his daddy into the story where his daddy get credit for three, three of those pyramids. And then they came through, finished the job. Type of shit, type of shit. Kung Fu, his little boy and shit. And, and, and after five years to correct the mistakes or to get better, he went in there with the same old shit. And Jabari seen this. Counter right over the top. I already know you're going to throw. You niggas, and y'all don't take this shit serious enough. And most of you niggas just don't know how to do it, bro. And I know, you know, it. All. let's get the sister to get in here and uh, ask her questions, man. I, I apologize, sister. This is how this is how it gets on here, but no, that's all good. I mean, I'm glad you had a chance because from listening to us, you're able to pull some questions out. Yeah. So, so <laughs> young Pharaoh, um, the question, one of the questions that were given to me to ask you: um, Have you ever spoken to extraterrestrials, and how often do you speak to them? I mean, I'm talking to one right now. I'm talking, talking by me. I mean, listen. Me? We listen. We've already been through this. We've already been through this. And I could, I could, I could account my experiences, and you could take them for what you will. If I listen, I told motherfuckers at one point in time, nigga, you don't believe me, nigga, I'll take a lie to take a test. But my point is this: Are, are y'all asking me the question to get a true, valid understanding of what my experience has been? Absolutely. Like, oh, I'm not, or, or, is, or is we trying to just be funny and be cute? No, no, no. This is a real question. This is a real question, so, and I, so, I would like for you to break it down. So if I, if I even, even if I present it. Somebody who had an experience physically with me, not with me. I could give you the account. Call them. Don't say shit. They'll give you the same exact account. Is Where right? are you going? You ain't had your camera phone on you? You ain't had no camera phone? How many trips have you taken? Because if your phone was dead or you left your phone by the bed or it was in your pants pocket from your jeans the night before or you took them off and got in the bed and they came and got you and you took you wherever type of shit. Oh, you ain't remember to bring your phone the next time? 
What a screen. Yeah, you ain't video record, put it on 4K, turn your phone sideways, nigga, and shoot a documentary, nigga. What does this prove? Where, where are we going? Only reason I'm saying this is, is saying that is because of this. Yeah. I just went to playing around with me with a group of people. I'm not going through that again. No, so, this, this is not this is not a game. Brother, right. you can't just answer the questions and on this you. platform, brother. On this platform, hold on, hold on. On this platform, we're gonna laugh, we're gonna joke, but we're not here to disrespect you and demean you. Okay, that's right. So you don't gotta worry about that. That's right. Now, what I what I would ask is with your encounters. Have you ever asked these damn aliens to liberate black people? That's all I would ask. Why the fuck? How you gonna ask? Come on, man. Come on, man. That when you being subjected to the experience. So you can't ask me. You listen, you can't ask me. Listen, listen, how you gonna ask me what's my experience and then ask me have I done something in this? I haven't even told you the experience yet. That's cool. That's okay, brother. And I would love to actually hear about this experience before we allow you to go into your spill and tell us about this wonderful experience. Um, can you give us a preview, brother? And that preview, can you illustrate? Have you ever had the conversation? Because you go live every day talking about you're here to liberate the people. Have you ever asked for assistance? You know what them niggas be telling me that they got essential masters and niggas be hanging out with the ancient ones and you know what I asked that nigga? You ain't never asked that nigga for the lottery, for the numbers on the lottery. Yeah, y'all know when he get real big in the world breaker. Say, man, nigga, you come over here and smoke a blunt. We chop it up, play pity plat. We play 21. Yeah, you might get on the dice with me. We we all in that bitch on live. We playing mad together. Oh, uh, my nigga, you know, um, it's a big lottery up. I ain't really never asked for nothing, man. Um, uh, and I feel like we friends now, man. Um, uh, man, you think you can hit me out with them goddamn numbers? This company, <laughs> yeah, 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 man, nigga, you ain't never got the numbers to the lottery. What the fuck good is it having the motherfucking me, space buddy? Uh, extraterrestrial nigga who got all this scientific knowledge and all this type of shit here, nigga. Hey man, next time when you out there, man, you think you can bring me like a, a one of them space vehicles or something like that, man? Cause right now I ain't got no. I'm on feet right now, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying to get back on my toes, man. Yeah, I need them numbers to the lottery. I don't give a damn if you had an experience. My question. Off the rip is can you use that experience and leverage it into the liberation of black people? Is that a better way to appropriate the question? I yes, imagine that's a better way. Yes, oh, yes. I imagine oh, thank you. I imagine that you've been having these experiences quite often, more often than the average person may admit or even have. So since I imagine that you have these experiences quite often, just from you telling me three, four times a month, I don't know if they stopped or they're not as uh consistent as it used to be but the point of the matter is you're communicating with some motherfuckers most of us can't communicate with and since that's the case are you talking to them about liberating black people can you disclose some of the plans or you can't because you don't want to blow up the spot now you may think i'm trying to disrespect now we're not going to do that we're not going to do that (laughs) Uh, we are we're not going to set it up like i'm saying oh hey alien what's up alien no it's not like okay so what the hell is going on then what how are y'all friends? What y'all do? You gonna have to tell us what it's like then. I'm glad you told me that because I'm sitting here thinking that you know you that nigga got your page number or, or yeah, that nigga be at the high, you bet it's high. Y'all go to the gym together, y'all go out fuck with hoes together, and you know, I, I said. I'm glad you just told me that if that wasn't the case. Can you please, brother, to me and the audience that's listening, uh, tell us how this actually works. Hey, I, hold on, Queen. Let me let me respond. Uh, you know, graciously respectful. We don't, you know, mm-hmm. we give respect to our queen. Yeah. I have, not just to you, but to many people, express my experiences. But we're not gonna overly whelm it as if I'm saying, oh, every Saturday, alien Joe come, alien Johnny come see me. 
But if you if you wish for me to account, if you wish for me to account a physical and an actual experience I've had, I will do so gladly right now. But we're not going to shape this into something that's just every Sunday. Pharaoh goes to sleep and talks that's to anyone. Are, are you talking to these people at least once a month? These beings. Listen. When I run the, I don't know, hold on, I'm going to break down my, my exact formula for you. I have actually been a customer of BetterHelp for a little bit. And then you say, he got a formula. Y'all better get y'all opinions and pad that. Y'all might want to get this. All right, bro. All right. Ever since I reached a certain age, okay, being the age of five, which anybody who knows me can confirm, my family can confirm, okay, I've had experiences. Which, like I said, if y'all motherfuckers, we could do, we could bet some money right now. I bet anybody on this panel thirty thousand dollars and up that we can do a lie detector test. If I'm lying, I'll rip your fucking bank account. So that being said, since I've reached the age, no, 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 no. Okay, well I tell you what, if we do the thirty, we'll you can use your method, and then we're gonna have to use mine. Okay, how frequent are these happening, brother? And when is the next time do you expect to meet with your space buddy? Um, because we we don't need a lot of tech. That we don't, you know, we we black power. We don't need to get the white folks involved. Oh, uh, but you know, to be fair, I will let you use your method. But I also I also need like a, a selfie with you and and with and your buddy. Your space buddy. Um, yeah, just a selfie, some some light. Um, you know, just a selfie, you and this guy together. And um, and yeah, I had no problem um taking that debate. I mean, taking that challenge. But I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need a witness or nothing like that. Cause you can split the money with them. Yeah, you are gonna get them ten bands for looking at seven seven five. You gonna get them seven five for coming and seeing you. So. Oh um, yeah, make it fair, brother. Can we just get a selfie with the di direct source? I I've had certain experiences in my life to where I've gained certain information through certain interactions. That's the motherfucking truth. Now, now hold on, hold on. now yeah. if, if if can I say, oh, polite, come talk to Alien Bill me, or when I go to sleep, I have this experience, and when I come back and what and, and and I go, or it's been times you can ask. I'm not even gonna say it. I don't even want to involve people in my personal life. But it's been times I've been asleep and I had experiences and jumped the fuck about my sleep, which this is confirmed. And went to writing down the information that I got in my sleep, researched it, and it was a fact. This is a fact. Like I said, any of y'all. A lot of this shit has been misinformation. So you probably should stop talking how, to me. How is, it, how is it misinformation when you can't even prove the story of your motherfucking meta nature? You think that you say something. So polite. You're, you're, you're saying, but we're not going to see what we're not going to do. And see, I'm you. I'm 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 a uh, I'm already used to the to the to the skating tactics from dealing with true skaters. See, hey, the, point is, hold on, the point is this. Answer the question again. Hold on. No. Okay. The point is this. The point is this. Go ahead, brother. Whether we're with me talking to Sasquatch, whether we dealing whether we dealing with me talking to extraterrestrials, the wow. fact remains, you you have not proven that that meta net has been deciphered. Brother, but like, can you? How can you prove? How can you prove that it has been deciphered? Well, here, here we go again. And I went into this earlier, and I'll tell you this again. Let me say this on a sidebar. Uh, if I knew someone, if I see the state and the condition that Black people are presently in, and I happen to know somebody that's having consistent encounters, whether it's Saturday to Saturday, once a month, or once every two months, consistent. Let me ask you, how about when, when was the last time, right, before setting up? Hey, y'all say somebody in the chat say they want they got a they want to fade. Somebody in the chat right now. Is it anybody in the chat that said they wanted to fade? What's going on? Maybe I missed maybe I read something wrong. Somebody out there said they want to come on the panel and, and take a fade with me. Did I get that correct? This debate, right? Just uh, 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 us interacting. How many months have passed since we've spoke? Because when you say you know someone having consistent encounters, you would have to prove that you talk to me consistently for me to tell you that. Okay, okay my brother. You you told me. I don't know if, I, if I'm allowed to say something you shared. No, I'm just saying, when I, bro, when, I, when, I, when I spoke to the conscious community, period. I'm talking about you talking to me. 
Uh, you shared something to me in confidence. I spoke to you. Uh, and I'm not here to undermine you. No, no, I'm just saying. I just want to make this point. No, I spoke to you in 2015, as well as the rest of the conscious community. It's 2017. You tell so, me four times a month because I got it in your words. You wrote it to me. You wrote it to me. And listen, polite. Now listen. Now it may have stopped. In 2015, right? I spoke to you about my experience. It's no 2017. So from 2015 all the way up until today, this conversation we have now, I haven't said nothing to you about me okay. having so, no experience. So okay. my thing is how me, how am I telling you? Okay, let me preface my so did the did the experiences stop and if they stop, why did they stop? Stating it differently. If sister, if I spoke to somebody who told me three to four times a month they are connecting with these beings outside of the planet. This is a fact. It's written down. <laughs> and that's not what I'm looking to get at the brother about. He has the right to his experience. I don't want him growing insecure like I'm going to try to terrorize him. Oh, no, I'm not, that's, not what I'm I'm not. Doing. that's not what I'm doing. What I'm saying is if a brother says, hey, I've been connected with these beings three to four times a month, if he says something like that, right? then guess what I got to now do? Hmm, I might be working too hard as an activist in the Black Liberation Movement because my homie over here has spoken quite consistently for some period of time with beings, obviously, who have more power, ability, and genius than us normal melaninites. I would believe any Pan-Africanist, anybody that's really into the Liberation Movement who will just give him the benefit of the doubt will address the elephant in the room, which would be, you think these people can help us? Or since they communicate with you and they're giving you a bunch of knowledge, for how the freak we can get out the situation? So that's all I'm saying. I just ask, do they give you any of that information? Now, I listen, that's a respectable. Real quick, real quick. Real quick. Real quick. All I'm saying is, we didn't have to go through all of this. The only question that was asked is, do you ever, like with the insight they give you about ancient Egypt and all of this, do you ever get any damn insight for how to effectively mobilize the people or would they leverage any of their genius or their scientific success to empower us as a people to see us over the hurdle? If you can't disclose the information, I get it because you can't disclose all plans. But can we at least know there's a plan in action and you may not be able to disclose it here live on YouTube? Is all right. That fair? That's a fair question. Now let me answer it. There we go. But I never, I can't, I never told you that I got any information about Comet, which you insinuated, so I have to I have to address that. No problem, brother. I never told you that no, no, no entity told me any information about Comet. And when you say, oh no, when you say, have I ever dispensed or 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 you know, giving away any Hey, shout out to the homie Indigenous King in the cash app. Appreciate that love in the cash app, family. Information. How do you know I didn't do that on my channel already? How do you know? And shout out to the homie Al with a hundo in the cash app. Appreciate that love, OG. I didn't give away tons of information. Hold on. No, I'm telling you. On my channel. <laughs> he said Lakers. He said go Lakers in that motherfucker. Oh, uh, I ain't even been keeping up with it, man. But I uh, I know the Lakers do play tonight, man. But I think Steph and them going to be ready for their ass. Shout out to you, though, OG. I give away tons of information. And I guarantee you, if 70 to 60% of African people acted globally upon any of the information I give, we wouldn't have this problem. So that being said, the, 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 the. Huh? Bro, it's 2023. You was number one on the app store, and nigga, you got all of them. Like, nigga, what the hell happened? Because a lot of people follow Pharaoh, man. Especially in 2020, man. Pharaoh was getting so much love. And damn, bro. Nigga, we right back and that shit can't even help you against Jabari. Damn, so what make you think and Jabari ain't got nothing for itself? What make you think we out here with all these goddamn... Come on, man. 2023, bro. Ain't none of you niggas' messages kept this shit going or lasted through time. All this shit was drive-through. Fast food, nigga.
the middle line I'm trying to draw and answering this question is yes, we're not gonna we're not gonna I'm not we're not gonna uh, to play a game or make a joke and say oh yeah the aliens told me to tell y'all this or or my experience told me to tell y'all this or 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 if I'm if I'm meeting with these people regularly they told me to tell y'all this the facts is yes I've had and have experiences whether a motherfucker believe me or not everybody know me by now y'all can kiss my ass I don't give a fuck about hey, nobody. I, hey, no I, 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 Come on, Pharaoh, man. He always want to shoot some shit up. That nigga there bad in the motherfucker, man. That nigga there bad in the motherfucker. Pharaoh, you a little bad ass nigga, man. Why you always want to shoot some shit up? And Pharaoh, he got a lot of jail stories, man. I don't know, man. Jail made me, I think even, I, well, I think I was already, like, mentally strong before then, but jail just made, made me, like, mentally stronger though and a lot of these niggas crack under pressure bro and pharaoh man i i've seen you do it too many times like to be a buddha bro you have to be able to find peace within you know what i'm saying so that alone should balance you you know what i mean like we shouldn't have these outbursts or you reacting like that Sticking your tongue out, throwing up the fuck you fingers. Especially at this Pharaoh that we seeing now, the one that because you said this is this happened three years. This conversation was three years in the making. And so now we look back up five years or four years after the fact, brother, and what you did last night, that went cool, man. Not from a Buddhist, man. A Buddhist nigga supposed to be cool, calm, and collected. You ought to not see him get out of character because can't nothing break his mind, bro. All this meditation and astro projecting, bro, if a motherfucker was going to do it, it wouldn't be no motherfucker with no weak mind that's going to crack under motherfucking pressure. I'm just saying what's real. Because ain't no nigga finna shuffle me up or take me nowhere that I ain't trying to go, nigga. Bars. That's why I stood on this shit when ain't nobody believe in it, when ain't nobody see it, when wasn't nobody seeing it, and I was seeing wild, crazy shit, nigga, and I was standing on it, nigga, and I was ready to die about it, and then I looked up, and now, now you got everybody seeing it. Now, nah, nigga, stand on your square. Mentally, the game can't break you. Them hoes tried to break me. They had a whole nother thing coming. But, Pharaoh, you got unraveled last night through fuck your fingers up, told niggas to suck your dick, Oh, uh, we know you're an OnlyFans porn star, nigga, but everybody ain't porn starring like that, nigga. We see, know you're on that fucking raw on the um, on OnlyFans and shit, nigga. Oh, uh, but now, on some real shit, the brother is starting to break down under pressure now. But you have to understand the topics that are being challenged are only things that you've been out here teaching, bro. And you've been doing pay-per-views on. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Your shit pay-per-view, nigga. You, nigga, you lecturing, nigga, on a certain level. But when that information is challenged, you are breaking down mentally, bro. So, goddamn, nigga, oh, nah, man, it just, motherfuckers just keep fucking over the people. Hey, hold on, y'all. This I never hold up. <laughs> Oh, no, nah, I ain't know that. Uh, who you got on? Um, Aboriginal TV and all of the lot of them on. Is that 7 o'clock? All right, all right. Uh, all right, I'll pull up. I'll come through. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Um, We're going to go in. Tonight is your night, man, so, you know. Yeah, um, you know, I'm a, I'm an Indian, though, but, you know, they Aboriginal. We kind of got some different teachings, but for oh, as so, fighting. Oh, so y'all got different teachings. Yeah, I won't even say teachings, but yeah, we do come from different sides. Like they have a community and they truths, and we have our community and our truths as American oh, okay. Indians. But I will okay. say this here though, I will come to support them because we do fight together though, because we are standing on America. But you know what okay. though, Unc, you know who I want? I want Shaka Amos. Oh, okay. I can make that happen. Yeah, I want Shaka Amos on uh Egypt, uh who brought civilization to the world, Egypt or America. Okay, let me write that down. Um, 
Egypt. Who, who influenced? Yeah, who influenced? What civilization influenced the world? Egypt or America? Okay. Oh man, that should be great. Yeah, and I'm and then it's gonna it's gonna be big. It's gonna be a big one too. And then after him, I want Tazoriak, and then uh Rob Owen. But let me let me clean Shaka up and show everybody these skills, and then we can get Tazoriak in there because he's been beating up on on a lot of HOK uh members right. over there. <laughs> who influenced Who influenced America, Egypt or No? Who influenced the world? Oh, Which okay. civilization right. influenced the world? All right, got you. I'm writing it down. Yeah, which civilization influenced the world, Egypt or America? Got you. All right, bet. I'm, I'm going to come through and support tonight. All right, peace, brother. Bet. Y'all heard it here first. Can we get some flames in the chat? Can we get some, can we get some flames in the chat? Y'all heard it here first. It about to go down. Yeah, I told y'all I was gonna get it, Rob Boy. You out here playing game, boy. I told you, boy. You out here playing game, boy. Like I ain't no motherfucking champion around this whole nigga. I could go get the big dogs. I ain't gotta go through none of these little niggas. Whoo, watch how big that fight finna be. I got 135 slides already. All I gotta do is try. Get in the gym and trim down. I already know how I'm coming. And Shaka going to take it, too. Shaka a soldier. Got him fucked up. Nigga talking about getting down on easy. Shaka going to get out there. Oh, then I tell y'all, it's, it's, it's. Big old Indian. We finna put it down. Niggas down there laughing. Niggas, what's funny? Yeah, that. <laughs> Hold on, let me drop the link. What was going on? Hey, the Aboriginals, man. I'm going to come through there and support, man. I want to see y'all handle y'all business, though. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Show up and show out, goddamn. That nigga, so I say, you know it's y'all night. <laughs> no, nah, I don't want to take credit for them brothers. Uh, they'll work. So I want to... Uh, but I am going to come watch them work, though, and I'm going to be rooting for them. And if they need me, I do take fades for Aboriginals. Nigga talk them down on, Aber on Aboriginal. I do take fades for Aboriginals. We going to protect America, goddamn. Uh, hey, uh, Nagus, come here right quick, bro. <laughs> Rob Boy going to be sick. He's sitting back, because guess what? I told you, niggas, he can't go get no big fights. But, nigga, I'm the legendary big chief motherfucking top cat, nigga. Heavyweight champion of the world, nigga. And I'm finna pick them all apart. Didn't I tell y'all Egypt first? I'm finna get Shaka. He don't know me neither. He don't know nothing about me. It's, 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 it's. He don't know how I'm coming. Ain't nothing they can do about it. I wanted a big fish. Hey, which book you talking about, Arrow Walking? Nigga say he can't wait to see it. Oh, come on up, big goddamn. Shrugs, you on two accounts? You on two different accounts? Okay, he dropped down on one. What's up with it, Afro Latino? Yeah, I was trying to get off the YouTube one because it always be glitching and shit, but. Um, tell tell uh, tell Open come up here. What what? Because he was just saying how he going on there, like the elbows been banging on him or something. Like he going on what? Well, on the, Sinet, yeah. They, uh, I, yeah <laughs> hey, don't open wanna... to the panel. Um, I don't know. I ain't, yeah. I, I, I was into the licks. So I ain't kissing nothing. Yeah, now nah, I don't I walk into like some some life. funny shit or some like you know some weirdo shit like. If they banging on him, and then you, yeah, I don't know, just to see what's going on. I don't know, yeah, I ain't, I ain't, you know, I ain't gonna get into it that deep. I don't know what happened, man. Uh, shit be crazy in the hood like that sometimes. What the nigga said on me to side. Hey, what's up with it, niggas? Uh, chilling, brother, chilling, chilling. What are you saying? 
She man, I'm so emotion over here, man. She got me some work. This nigga can't say this nigga cheesing ear to ear right there. Say, man, if you give me some work and you hit me niggas. So, so what you saying? You're ready for the big boys now? Pause. For who? See, you're I'm ready the for the big boys for a long time. See, I'm the big boy. I'm the biggest. Oh, this big. shit is easy work. Yeah, I'm gonna get in there and shine, bro. It's hard to get a nigga in the ring with me, though, bro. It's hard. So hold I, 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 he gonna take his fade. Right, right. Now he's, he's, he's definitely gonna step up. But um, the the question I've got for you now, yeah. So, what what civilization are you gonna bring up to go against Egypt? I'm gonna bring up the civilizations of the Americas. No, you can't. Which ones? We or which one? Africa, we could do Egypt. We're just saying who brought civilization to the world, Africa or America. Oh, so now you're going broke. You're going to lose. Is If I was you. If I was, <laughs> no, we're not talking about Congo Square. If I was you, yeah, as a brother, yeah, I would make it as small as possible. Once you go broader, you're going to definitely lose, bro. Uh, especially, if you, especially if you're going to towards academia, you're gonna lose, bro. Respectfully, listen, bro. Listen, I want bro. you to shine, bro. I want you to shine. You get me? No, you don't. You're paying everything. You don't want this. What do you mean? I want you to shine, bro. You want to up on paying everything, huh? Bro, I'm always giving you views. I'm liking your videos. I'm sharing your shit. I want you to shine, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus, niggas, bro. niggas, I just want you to tell them niggas, hey man, I knew that nigga, man. I knew that nigga, man. I knew that young nigga, man. Man, this shit easy work, bro. Let me show you something, man. Let me show you something. Go ahead, bro. Do your thing. Let me screen. Hey, can you see this? You yep. See this ain't right there. He don't want to see it. But <laughs> he's he's it. I'm out. Listen, bro. I'm. I ain't come out here and call him my nigga, and I ain't. I ain't ready. I didn't watch tape on him. I bro, hear you, bro. Studying the nigga for like two weeks. I hope you don't do the Ryan Garcia like you first, bro. Huh? I said I hope you don't do the Ryan Garcia, bro. What's that? There are a lot of shadow boxing, boy. <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> A lot of shadow boxing on YouTube, yeah, bro. That's, you that's what really your master teacher different... Rob yes, Barnes been doing. It really is a different thing in that ring. You're right. You you are absolutely correct. But, bro, there's this, this nothing these niggas can do about this, bro. So nah, well, I think we're gonna we we're, we're, we're gonna do Egypt, uh, and we gonna do America. Oh, uh, yeah, but I think I think based on um based on Shaka's last. Uh, what's it called? Debate against uh, Captain Tazariak, right? He's going to want to debate now on a topic where, you know what I'm trying to say? It makes sense for him as well. So basically, so you're, you're talking about America, right? America, right? What about America? Well, he's Mr. Egypt. How can you go wrong no, but with this, that? This, I don't yeah, think, well, think well, going to... I, I don't think he's going to debate you Egypt versus America because America is a continent. Egypt is one nation within a continent. So even then, even then, <laughs> he's still going to give you the work, but you're going to, I'm sure he's going to want to ask you to get like whatever civilization you got. If the Mayan civilization, the Olmecs, the, 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 the Aztecs, whoever the hell you can bring up from the Americas, the big we'll do, dog. We'll do, right? we'll do, we'll do, because for one, when you're talking about these civilizations, the Mayan civilization, when you're talking about the Mississippian civilization, when you're talking about uh, the the, uh, the the Southeastern, uh, which would fall under the Mississippian, the Mississippi run from the bottom of the U.S., the Gulf, all the way up into Canada. It runs from, so this pyramid system or this system of trade, all of these were the same people. So this empire... This trade network, um, that civilization, we can't um, classify that as the Americas because we can prove that these are the same people who set up these systems, and that's how we know that they're, they're genes there and they're the same people. The same architect, the same, the same 
It's the same shit. No different in Egypt. Is that is that what it, um the the scholarship says though? They're the yes, same sir. people because I know the scholarship says they're the same people. The Mississippians, the scholars. I can show you. You know what I do. You know, I, you know, I put that no, word. I'm, I'm, oh, okay, I'm yeah, because I would have shown you that that yeah, the Mississippian are the same people as the uh, the 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 civilization that came out of the Yucatan. I mean, if you if you if you got if you got sources for that, go ahead, bro. Yeah, you know I, I, I mean? take it because see, my nation, my nation comes from this. Uh, migration into into uh, the, the certain areas of the southeast. The origin stories of the southeastern Indians and the Mayans are the same. The deities are the same. Uh, that's the culture are the same. Today we still eat the we still live in the same in that same culture that those people lived in at that time. Um, we have records of the Mayans here in Texas. We have records of the mines in Louisiana, through the Gulf, Florida. Um, also, we have um, the structures and um, the hieroglyphs uh, coming up the Mississippi. So th these are the same people. This is no different than the civilization of Egypt. What kind of hieroglyphics you talking about? The Mayan hieroglyphic. And that's that's been found where you said in the Mississippi. You said. Yes, sir. In the southeast. So when you look in the, um, the Hittite language, the Hittite language, I'm country, I, you can say whichever one you take, uh, they 80% of, well, 90% of the language is the uh, Mayan language. So the Muscogee, who the people who they call Muscogee, or these Southeastern people, Creek, this 90% uh, of their language is the Mayan um, Totec language. Um, I mean, you can National Geographic even goddamn did a piece on that. ABC 13, I mean, I said ABC 13, ABC News or uh, did a historical piece on that. Um, right. They show film of me down at Etowah, at, at the mounds down there. Their motifs, that's what the, the most, the archaeology, they found the most uh, uh, pieces at this at this place. But I can show me uh, there at that site, excavate. Well, I ain't gonna say I excavated it, but you can pay two hundred dollars in, in there that you did. But uh, yeah, I can show me down here on this place where this story is surrounding one of the areas that this story is surrounding. So uh, yeah, these are the same people. So I can use the Americas because they're gonna use the same deities. They're gonna be the same culture. They're gonna uh, build the same um, uh, style of civilization for as, uh, their neighborhoods. We can show the connections between the Hopewell, whether it be Cahokia to Ogmogee down at St. Louis down to uh, um, um, Georgia to the Ogmogee. Again, I've been there too. So all of this shit is primary. Hopewell, the Ohio coaches, we've been there too. So yeah, we can connect all of these. UNESCO connected them. And so uh, now nah, it's not a secret. Pan Africans don't know nothing about it because they don't know American history, but this is gonna be an easy win. Right. Okay. I mean, I hear you, bro. And I'm sure, and I know that you're gonna come with some um, some type of sources and stuff like that. Cool. But um, but I just want to know the exact topic you want to discuss. I just you know, work out. <laughs> this nigga taking notes and reconnaissance and shit. I just told you the exact topic that I want to take is. Go ahead. Which civilization influenced the world, Egypt or America? Yeah, but oh. there's, no, there's no there's no civilization called America, though. So already there, you're you know what I'm trying to say. You're already there's no civilization yourself. called America. Okay, there's well, no. which uh, which people brought civilization? In, uh, I mean, yeah. However, you yeah, know, that, we'll find it because I don't think that'll be the, the topic anyway. I'm pretty sure he's gonna want right, to bounce back and forth. Right, right. So that's I just gave us a, a point. So basically, what we'll be arguing is because they say Egypt, everybody got their culture or civilization or the influence, everything comes from Egypt. Well, I say the opposite, say that's not true. So we'll find something along those lines. 
I don't think no one, I don't think people say everything comes from Egypt because I wouldn't say that myself. Shaka said you, know, you don't yeah, have I, to say Shaka. This is Shaka argument though. Even Shaka himself, I don't think I've heard him say that everything comes Shaka from don't Egypt. Do that that everything would, that that like that. Shaka is on Egypt. Yeah, it did. yeah, yeah. I know. Egypt, I know. Egypt, uh, did the Men Hotel build the first pyramid? Right. Yeah, Egyptian. Did he bring mathematics, science, and all this other shit to the world? He must have, yes. All yes. right, and all this shit come from Egypt. They yeah. say. Yeah, but you have to be specific. You say everything comes from Egypt. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. You well, know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Do that. Would even, even as a pen, even as a pen African. Well, we're Even as a pen, no then, um, but it's gonna well, be along the lines of who came first, the civilization right, okay. of America. Okay, um, with, without exposing your hands, right? Without exposing your hands, right? Can you direct me to the oldest writing script that you guys have in America's? I went. I went. Uh, I, I would say that for the debate. But I say this right here. When it, Ooh, you've got uh, that. When I say this here, for as uh, a writing or anything, bro, I, I'm a, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm a different animal, bro. I ain't, ain't none of this shit gonna be able to help them. I hear you, big chief. I hear you. I hear you. Hey, I just wanna... yeah, listen, listen. Oh uh, man, a nigga can bring writing. They can bring anything, bro. What I'm coming with, I'm coming from a whole different angle. So is writing the hieroglyphs, none of those type of things would be able to help this brother with the information that I'm gonna bring. My shit done. I just showed. It. I got 135. I'm just gonna lose weight, get down to about 75 pounds on the air. You know what I'm saying? I'm at 135 right now. I just got to slim down to like 75 pounds, and I think I'll be I'll be alright. But the <laughs> shit that I'm bringing, bro, and they. It's gonna it's it's gonna kill Kimmy. And that's why I need a shock or something like that. I mean, bro, you sound confident, which you should be anyways, right? So man, you seen my work, you ain't never seen nobody work like me. <laughs> ain't none of them niggas over there doing no working, bro. Them niggas gossiping. Them niggas talking about the Bible and shit like that. Man, I might yeah, put I a work on niggas' ass, man. I done told on the Pan African whole goddamn me uh lie. <laughs> I done tell, I done fucked the Pan Africans up. It's, it's, <clears throat> why? Hey, let me ask you: this. Do you know why Reggie's not a Pan African anymore? Uh, is that what you said? Right, he's not a Pan African no more. And I said, nah, I'm, saying, I'm asking you, like, did, did he say he's not a Pan? Oh yeah, he said it. He not. He don't identify as a. He's just like a black nationalist now. But that's the thing, though. A lot of these people are washy, washy, like they, you know what I mean. They, they, they jump around, but then you will see him also defend Pan African views as well. So it's kind of hard. Like same thing with Ralph, you know. Studies. He, he got a degree in African studies. But that's exactly, you know what I mean. And, and it's the same thing goes with Ralph as well. But the, the thing, the thing, well, I Rob will. Like, no Pan African. He, he don't want to be no Pan African either. He said he's a yeah, black but also, but yeah, yeah, I understand. I like, listen. See, I I know what's going on. I see what's going on. Right? What's going it's, on? What's going on right now is that people want to put themselves, their own people first, right? And I'm totally with that because Pan Africanism don't really work if people within their own house don't get their house in order, right? So that's what we need to do first: get your own house in order, and then you can come together. So I understand people like Rabon and Reggie and other people want to get their own house. When I mean their own house, I'm talking about North America, right? So you want to get your house that's in order. And that's not why they're doing it, bro. Stop that's, it. That's, 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 what, that's, what that's what I feel they're doing it for. Reggie don't fuck with FBA. FBA don't yeah, fuck with FBA. FBA, 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 FBA is, don't fuck with Adolf either. Like, it's, yeah, it's just different. With, they don't fuck with paying Africans. Listen, Rob Moore used to run with them. I got the tapes. Rob Moore ran with the with the Pan Africans, the reparations. He was like they leader, like over there on clubhouse and shit. And guess that, what? That, that, Rob Moore right. is still a Pan African, but right now they're he just putting him over there. Up. But when we went head up, shit, we won. The Indians won. 
Right. It ain't no more paying Africans over there, I bet. Man, I cleared all that shit out, bro. All that shit, they'll die. All of them niggas now are saying the shit I say. I just played a clip yesterday or the day before, and I said, damn, nigga, you been arguing me for two years about that. They were like, now we see that the, that the what you call him is the colonizer, that the Pan-African <laughs> is the colonizer. And these are all people that was coming from a Pan-African thought, so... I mean, I, I see where you're coming from, but I don't I don't really look at it like that. I just look at it like people want to put their own people first right now. And then if the needs there's a need for us to come together, then we can come together and, and break bread. You know what I'm trying to say? So I'm I'm with that. I'm with people. Like that's why me as a Pan African, I used to be against like all this FBA talk. But when I look into it, to be honest, I get it. I really get it. Do your thing, man. FBA, ADUS, whether like do your thing. Get yours for your people then we can also come together at some point. Because at the end of the day, there's a greater enemy. We can do all this talk online and we can do all this back and forth and everything else, right? But I do believe, and anyone that's really in tune with what's going on, there is a greater enemy out there. And it doesn't look like nothing like me and you or anyone that we know or that we're family with, you know what I'm trying to say? So that's the main thing. You're a great captain, Nagus. Great captain, you, you just gonna go down with the ship. You just gonna go down <laughs> with it, sing it. Nah, there's no going down. We ain't going down, bro. My ancestors done too much fighting for me to be going down, bro. Oh, way the ancestors too been under the sea. The boat's three quarters of the way down already. Nah, bro, I'm still here. I mean, somebody survived. You're still dead. I mean, somebody survived, bro. What are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, I'm on a different ship. <laughs> Which ship is that, bro? Everything but Pan African. That's cool. Like I don't, I don't. That to be honest, right? I don't even deal with these titles. I only use what these titles. You came in here and said you the biggest, baddest, big old Pan African. That's what you came <laughs> in screaming. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that, but I do, I do stand up Pan Africans because I understand what what it's trying to do. Right? It's just, it's like a, it's like giving a a template just like giving a, a blueprint or something right that's all it is giving a plan giving us some type of structure to this thing that's all that is bro but i don't deal with all this you know um titles and you just divide people bro it's the same thing like you know like that top cat just said like you you guys are american indians then you have aboriginal americans you know you both stand in america but you both have different ideologies about whatever you know what i mean so but if you take away all these titles you represent the same shit <laughs> you know what i mean so that's what i'm trying to say because I, I could represent congo with a k and you represent it with a c i represent it with a k bro don't forget <laughs> k <laughs> k bro ain't no congo with no c bro that shit is made up bro Hey, uh, nigga, do you know anything about the? Hey, open the knowledge. Pull up on the panel, bro. Um, they say you' supposed to be debating on side another night or some shit like that. Or uh, who, who are they? Or uh, are they just doing a lecture? Hey, is it any um Aboriginal homies in the building? I want to. I want to. Yeah, do I know. That's what I was trying to get clarity in the chat, but I couldn't. I couldn't. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really. Understand that's what I was just saying. You get clarity before you pop up, and I don't know. Something well, I don't, you know. Um, I'm gonna sit back when I come on. I'm gonna be there just to do, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go see. I don't know what's going on, but I don't, um, them niggas, I don't think they got no problem with me. Um, so we, we good. I don't, I, don't, I don't know nothing about that. That's what I'm trying to, and then I'm trying to figure out what's going on. So, uh, I thought. Oh, I thought Open had a debate coming up with YK or some shit like that. So that's why I was at on that. What's up with the new Fat Boy Fitness in the building? Um, Byron Blue, what's up with it? What's up with it? Mayhem Indian in the building. What you got for us? What's good, fam? Hi, everybody. Yeah, slow motion like a motherfucker. Hey, you about to kick some ass, ain't it? Man, I'm finna beat the shit out of y'all, that bald head nigga with a ponytail, ain't it? 
He could have trying to steal on y'all niggas ass. <laughs> Cut it. What you mean? He unclipped it? Yeah, yeah well, he started, yeah, he started putting that Peruvian in this shit. <laughs> That nigga got the cut that. He just took the clip out. That nigga got that pay weave in this shit. He getting this shit imported out of America. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga yeah, said that shit. Yeah, see, look at that, yeah. niggas. Nigga got a, a commission. Got to get his hair from Peru and shit. He got to come over here, get his goddamn hair from. Get his hair from America. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, that's what he said. Nigga said he got his hair from Peru. We'll see. Um, um, and they they ought to be familiar with the platform over there. <laughs> she just I never had your ass thinking you on there by yourself, nigga. And goddamn, a whole army come out. I remember my first time I went on there. They was like, "Hey, watch out for him! Watch out for him!" I went. I ain't had no trouble. A few niggas ran up, but it was you know, it wasn't nothing. Oh, Tony, you show a little confident, huh? Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why y'all look like y'all want to run up. But um, but best believe, Sarnetta, if he called me, he calling a lot of other motherfuckers, too. You know what I'm saying? So he going to have some hitters in the building. Somebody going to be in it up waiting. It ain't just going to be no freestyle. So and, and we'll see, man. Maybe we can get some fireworks tonight, goddamn. But I'm going to suit up just in case I got to. You, you understand me? Yeah, I did a job uh, by yeah. Garfield earlier. Shaka, oh, uh, we can get that going soon too, shit, nigga. Cause shit, I'm 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 done on my book. Uh, I ain't finished with my last lecture, but uh, I'm I'm finished with that that uh debate though. I can't even. I I mean. <laughs> That shit, the, his style, and then the way you can, I, man, that I don't know. That's almost embarrassing to think about it. That nigga just getting dog walked all over. Hey, DJ Cut, hey, what's going on tonight, man? Is it is it war or is it just like a build? Is they gonna let let uh let y'all come on and just present something? I never just called my phone. Told me to come through. Uh, so uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to just walk into nothing. So I'm trying to see what's going on. Did you like a a, a phase set up or what? Uh, do y'all know who I'm gonna be? It don't matter to me who gonna be in there because I ain't. I'm, I'm taking. I take a fade with any one of them niggas. But I did. I did want to know what was going on, and we informed the people in me and shit. We're gonna watch it over here. Fuck it. We're gonna stay. We're gonna run it over here and goddamn me. Jump on uh jump on the panel from over there. But yeah, uh DJ Cut. So I never just called. I called out uh Shaga almost. And uh so I never, he can't wait to go make that motherfucker happen. He already know that bitch that gonna be a banger. See, that bitch there, the crowd gonna be in that bitch gonna be packed. Shaka too hot headed, bro. That nigga get too hot headed, man. He um, Shaka he the slow dying niggas. He ain't the old fighter he used to be. See, <laughs> yeah. Pharaoh last night, huh? Say no, that again. He ain't the old fighter they used to be, man. I'm telling you, bro. Um, thing, I think, I think, I think Shaka is kind of growing as well. To be honest, it's kind of crazy, like. He kind of growing. Yeah, it's kind of. I mean, like you know, what I mean, he was he was he was a bit too hype back in the day, but that's what people kind of liked about him, innit? But it's, no, it's you know, the like... let me show you. The difference is Shaka is better on the street than the formal debate. That you know ain't what? better on the street, bro. Facts, though, he really is, though, bro. Cause he like he more himself on the street. Like, yeah, you get him in the you get him in the formal debate with the lights on and the time clock on, nigga. That ain't his area. He start too slow. Mm. I, and I, that's what I'm saying. I've been watching his style. He starts slow. It take him too long to get his point. Did you watch his Cleopatra bill? Nah, I missed that, you know, bro. Okay, well, that was his last one he did so long. So I know to go check that out. See how long it got for him to get into that. As this shit here, man, you, you have to be an artist. You your aim is to this picture the information you about to present. It don't it's not just the right answer or what applies to here, but you have to paint a picture to the the people. 
And Shaka, he understand that, but it takes him too long to get up to that point. And you can't do that with a nigga like me, bro. I'm already gonna be up on points with you. That's what I'm saying. The styles, like the the styles, is, styles is make too, fights, bro. man. Like <laughs> styles, man. I pick Shaka, bro. Styles make <laughs> fights, bro. Last night, Pharaoh and Jabari Styles make fights. Pharaoh do bad with uh, punches with, I mean, with fighters with speed, uh, fighters with chronology. He do bad with those fighters because polite, as I just showed today, he made mistakes again last night. It was, it was just film work. Same shit that he had made a mistake on polite, and polite wanted direct jabs, even though he he. Polite can cut the ring out, but he's not a good finisher. So he letting the nigga escape out the, you know what I'm saying? But when he would sit down on his jab or cut the ring out and force him to be direct, Pharaoh, uh, that, that trouble Pharaoh, they trouble a lot of niggas who don't really have dick. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to be in a position where you're asking me a question and I have the answer because most likely I don't know the answer. And they worried about the crowd watching, all this type of shit going on in your head while you in there, bro. And so, yeah, man, that's why um, – but Styles make fights. Jabari uh, watched that fight, and all he did was – uh, he seen what Polite did to him, and he attacked that same – them same weaknesses that Farrah ain't get better in. He saw to the body. Go to that body, you get that inside work, nigga. Exchange, especially on the exchange. I go, then you go. I go, then you go. Pharaoh, he not coming with bars. He trying to paint a picture of logic or some shit in his mind and source up. Hardest thing in the world for a lot of these top scholars out here to do in 2023. And that's why I'm saying these niggas, it's hard for these niggas to source up. The last thing in the world they want you to ask them to do is source up. Last thing in the world these niggas doing is taking questions. Oh, yeah, that's the last thing. <laughs> these niggas are not taking no questions. He had a solid dismount, though. Yeah, his ex was flawless. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, peace, peace. What up to the panel, though, man? What up, Top? What up, Shrugs, peace, man? Peace, what up, Dino, man? What up, Wild Night Mayhem? What's James good Rob with it, Brody? Quick side, man. What's up, all the wild enemies on the panel, man? What's up to that pan African up there in the motherfucking Congo? <laughs> nigga, I'm so creep. Ja- yeah, yeah, ja- Congo <laughs> brother up there. Hey, hold on, so, one, 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 hold on, one, one time, y'all. So DJ could say to me, it's a play, play, nothing serious, just a setup to make us look bad, corny pan niggas. Now I agree with it. Now, anytime you're going over there. You have to expect it. They do sneak attacks. Pharaoh came in there last night. What they do, they laid down the rules behind the scenes, told him, hey, bro, it ain't going to be nothing some sauce porn. You hear me? <laughs> some sauce. Got a nigga in that bitch. Nigga I ain't bringing mouthpiece. Nigga, I'm going to take his like ball and went home. Yeah, nigga, I ain't got on those gym shoes like this. That's the type of shit. Nah, a little sauce. And then porn. hit the lights on him. Showtime. And you coming there, and this nigga here, he been in camp seven weeks. He fighting, yeah, he been in camp seven weeks already. Yeah, that nigga sharp, <laughs> motherfucker, nigga hit the hard in the sun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he finally yeah, You game. back in some press day. You show up back in some press yeah, day. <laughs> Them killers gonna be in that hole, nigga. And you can come in that bitch with that mindset, and if you ain't no killer, killer, if you can't switch it on, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's showtime. It's time to go. Nah, bro. Nigga gonna get you. Pharaoh coming that bitch high. He waiting on the call and shit. He back there getting blown. He come on that bitch, nigga. And yeah, he don't know if he going to come in. Because it's South Spawn. So he relaxed. Body, mind relaxed. Little South Spawn. And nigga get the... Oh, damn. Nigga just caught me. Damn. Let me put my hands... Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga thought it was just a whole press (laughs) day. You said we were just South Born, nigga. This nigga, my shit bleed. Hold on, nigga. Time out. Nigga broke my motherfucking nose. (laughs) Nah, nigga, that shot back in the game. We used to chest box, slap box. We slap box, nigga, and then turn in, and now we hit with feet. Now we balling up our hand. We just we just make a grimy wing on hit each other hard. But niggas bleed, nigga, I puffy and all this type of shit, though. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, we just gonna slap box, but if a nigga get a good one, he want that good one back, and now we going close fish. We just quote unquote telling each other we ain't hitting hard, but we yeah. Dead, <laughs> type of shit. yeah, wild little motherfucker. Yeah, but now yeah. That, man, I think that I think they'll be ready. She, uh, especially if you coming, but don't don't never believe that it just. Shane went over there. Nigga Jabari popped out the bag. Hey, didn't know you were gonna be here. Yeah, nah, they got yeah, they gonna bring them, they gonna test you. You you over there, they gonna test you. Hey, you got it, you better have something. It's like checking in. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we finna check you, we finna hard check you. Real talk. So you better be yeah. on your shit, nigga. We hard checking it is over. <laughs> For real. All right, but I'll say this about Shaka though, man. Uh back in the game though, man. I, I like Shaka when he uh when he when he was more on the concrete out there on the street top, um, but he gave him lit, he needed a lot of room to work with too, man. He want them when you know them tall fighters, he needed a lot of room to work with. But if you stay on him, you keep him pressed, and you keep him moving around. He uh, did he go to da, 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 the shit that he had? He want to say it, but it, it be jumbled. It it, it 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 be it be coming out jumbled in bits and pieces. He get to stuttering real fast and shit. Right. Da, 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 da. See, that's when you know you got him. But if you give him room to work and just let him, let him just get give room to work, sit up, yeah, he's going to Lennox Lewis you to death, man. Don't let him sit. Keep resetting. Yeah, yeah he's going to Lennox Lewis you to death. Put that long ass arm on you, just jab you the whole night. Old boring ass fight. Boom. <laughs> Before you know it, you look on the scorecard. You, hey, I hit that nigga with five, six, seven thousand good shots. But the scorecard, so, hey, man, this man was steady landing. You know, so yeah, that. That's one of the things about him. Though. I like the brother as a, as a as a debater, but I don't think he's one of those what we got going today. He ain't got that type of energy for the type of fights that 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 the people want, and what what's caused for to get get the people get the crowd into it. Shocker I think he might, I, I think he might turn up. of looking for validation for white folks. He want too much validation for white folks, bro. Right, right. <laughs> I just to yeah. love the white folk now. Those he ain't worrying about no niggas or us. Shaka want to be known by the wife. All he talk about is white folk. I was in a white chat the other day, and I like to go in there and stay sharp. Now he did that Cleopatra, Cleopatra lecture. Last lecture, he came out. And he said, "I needed another day." So he been teaching for all these years that Cleopatra was a white lady and the daughter of a colonizer. And he watched the documentary on Jada Pinkett, and now he changed his mind. Uh, brother, that's not going to you, – you've been following doctrine. And then he had to admit, I never went and studied that particular area. So a lot of this shit you're saying you ain't studied, that's what I know. What I know is, nigga, you old. You're slow now. You ain't going to be able to fuck with no nigga like me, nigga. That shit ain't going to work on me, nigga. You in here playing smart and all this type of shit. I'm going to walk to you. Because the information I'm going to present to you, you ain't never seen. You ain't never seen that Egypt shit is going to die. Um, I can't wait till my book drop. Uh, they'll get it in there. I was going to wait till the book drop, but so I need a call today. So I just told y'all that, and I'm going to wait till that hoe come out, and I'm going to go over there and use it as a promotion tool when I whoop them. Because some of the information in there. But, see, we got the call. Fuck it, nigga. Line me up something. Fuck it. Let me eat. And then I told him I want Tazori out after that. He said, hold on, I'm writing this shit down. Y'all just throw a call of names out. And Rob Bowen, with why you can't get no big fights around here. You need me. Hey, if, you, if you uh hey, what's up? What's up? Greetings, greetings. If you if you have a conversation or debate with Tazari, what would the premise be? How did Hebrews get to America? What do you see, how, that? how did they get to America and how did they maintain their Hebrewness? How did they get to America and uh yeah, what is, what happened to their Hebrew culture or something like that? We'll get in. That's too dangerous for them. How did, that's did, to America, uh, how did Hebrews get to America? And what yeah, and what influence does the Hebrew culture have in America today that we can right. see? Yeah. It, it, we, make we them niggas we, stand on shit that they got an answer for today. Not all that ancient shit. Some shit. Right, because Cesare was just on Sarnetta the other day when he did the outside interview talking about 12 million slaves that were Hebrews came out of Africa in the slave trade. 
So nigga, you are you, you a Hebrew, you damn sure don't want none of this lady trade action. Yeah, yeah. We gotta see some of that culture then. We gotta Ooh, see some of that culture. I'm gonna tear his ass up. <laughs> you gonna ride the boat, nigga? I got you. Tear that nigga ass up. How did Hebrews get to America? Uh yeah, yeah, we're gonna go there. I'm and I'm and I already got how I'm gonna attack the argument and all that type of shit. But them niggas gonna have to stand on there and do the running 28 shit. Uh, and how Hebrews got here, and y'all know I got to. I'm bringing them black Europeans with me, so yeah, I'm ready to rock. <laughs> Easy work, right like there. Nah, it's not gonna. It's not gonna take that, bro. He ain't gotta take nothing. The ball. Gonna, you know, you know why he's not gonna take it because that's that's the premise yeah, of that's the That's all it takes, really. You know, that's yeah, the premise. Why? Why? Why wouldn't he take that? Yeah, he's not gonna take it because that's what their whole their whole movement is founded on. That, so if you take that away from them, he's, he's got nothing to recruit people with no more. You know what I'm saying? So, because he's gonna use the run and same thing. Why we fight with Rob Bourne? We prove that Africans brought culture, African slaves brought culture to America. That was why I want all of them fade. Them the ones I want to line up so we can get all this shit up out of here. And what, I want the best niggas that they saying it that are here in this day. I want them niggas to be the sacrificial lamb and go down in history as, uh, uh, forever as the niggas who had a chance to say their documents but got their ass washed. Yeah, I want out that we gonna make it. Even just even just like that word you just used right now is what that's what they use to recruit with. Like that's the Pan African all religions doctrines. Like that's the issue like how do you like recruiting like i don't know like it just it just don't sit right with me pan-africanism is not about recruiting though it's uh, like you gotta not recruit not not really no uh, it's not you recruiting think so? we just nah, not that with how it started so how i mean how if we're born who we are you know we connecting back we're not a movement we move together but y'all gotta recruit Y'all weren't born Pan Africans and Israelites. Hey, Dre, son, which what direction are you coming from? I'm just a man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a seeker of truth. I'm studying. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm I'm on the humble side, man. Y'all ain't gonna put me in no box. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure this thing out. You know what I'm saying? So I, I've been, I've been learning from one direction most of my life, and and I'm getting to the point where. I got more questions than I got answers and I'm not prepared to just accept what I've been told. So I'm studying, you know what I mean? But are you that body? No. <laughs> <laughs> My legs vortex came over here one day. I beat him up so bad. That nigga told me I'm not African. What you're not understanding is I am not my body. I am not even this physical body. I said, man, boy, I ain't never hit a nigga that hard. He just sold up the body. <laughs> the soul stop claiming that nigga. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. Niggas take a trip to uh, Nibiru once you get to getting on their ass, bro. Yeah, yeah. niggas get up high. What are the spaceships in? Pharaoh. Yeah. Yeah. Pharaoh, she <laughs> him yeah. to get the hey, video. And that debate right there, Pharaoh, you know how he left last night? He did the same thing in this debate. Hold on, I'm going to show it. Yeah, that nigga burns off on them niggas in the same debate. They start talking about that alien and shit. Hold on. Hey, well, does she look American, UK, or African? She American, UK, or African? UK. She look like she UK. 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 Wash the makeup off, and then I'll get. Nagus, what you think, Nagus? I don't. I don't know. Um, I would say it's hard. I'll say UK, bro. UK, goddamn right, nigga. Why don't take us that long, nigga? That's how we be knowing that everybody ain't the same. You can look at a motherfucker and tell, bro. Uh, you no, but not, not always. No, not everybody always. from America knew all the time. That's UK. That's UK. Dang, that's you what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. 
You can tell the difference even between the new the new general the, the, the motherfucker uh, eyes too the, far apart. Jeans, got there. Like, the first jeans, huh? You can yeah, tell, they, they have they have on that makeup, man. But I can look at them sisters and tell. I know what a I know what an African sister look, and what an American woman looks like. You can see it, bro. Once you you can see it. That, all this you. shit about we look alike. That shit is surface level. That's just like that's just skin color, period. But if you if they paid attention to the structure, the eyes, all that, man, and the the aura. You can tell who's an energy, American. What's energy an don't woman? tell you. Like, yeah, if you yeah, see somebody bro. on the street, you be like, oh, that person is a foreigner. That person is, you know, like oh, the I difference, can, bro. No. Something inside of you. It's not no. even a kid. Something inside of you is a resonate and say that person is a, a, such and such, a, such and such, such and such. No. That's, how, just, that's how you do. You come with it. The I just energy, left the look at a nigga. I ain't never looked at a nigga and say, oh, that's an African. I ain't never did that shit. Like, I mean, no. never looked at a nigga and said that's an African and didn't know that was African and it wasn't an African. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's how. So, yeah, when she came on, everybody from. Man, you could tell the Ukrainians apart. <coughs> and I don't know why people be acting like it's hard to decipher between, like. Well, like, you talking, talking you talking to a man that said he brought 360 waves to America. You know, niggas think he, he cheer. <laughs> Man, we don't <laughs> see everybody. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about Acom, bro. My shit is spinning. Bro. <laughs> you know, Acom. I'm locked up. They won't let a nigga have this shit slick down like a motherfucker. Hey, that shit on. was a burger, bro. With style speed, come on, man, come on. That was a hey, that was a half the can of Murray's in this shit. Man, we hey, man, that hey, come hey. Come hey. Come. <laughs> hey, just did something recently, bro. Uh, something happened with him, but he came out in the news. He did something. Him, Wyclef John, both of them went on some colonizer shit. But Wyclef John yeah. got the bloodline though. That's why he in. That's how these niggas go be politicians and shit. He got the bloodline. And prize being a rat. That's crazy. That's what we were telling niggas about Congo. A nigga ain't getting no privilege to be on no next man about no just no shit on no straight up slavery. Man, you crazy? Hey, you know what, niggas? While we got you here, I want to show you something too. But hold on, y'all. I want to show y'all how Pharaoh tripped that. No, it's all right. Uh, <laughs> brother Dennis, all right. Much love, brothers. Love. You know, we, we do this. This is what we do, y'all. We all right. No higher feelings, family. We clap. Oh, this is good. That's oh, right. Minister, oh. all right, brother. No higher. I see you didn't cut your damn screen off. I don't know. Who <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who me or not. We all right. I, last time I checked. Oh, you know what? I'm not saying that. Let me, let me, let me write that down because this is it's all review. That's oh, right. Minister, oh. all right, brother. No higher. I see you didn't cut your damn brown. Yeah, that that's right. Oh. Minister. I knew that dropping that. Tell my they was word out of the entire language. That's fucking hybrid. So that being said, that's like me saying I'm gonna take Russia. Oh, bro, where are your boys? I don't give a fuck about like what you saying, nigga. Unless you got some primaries. <laughs> Why you nigga think y'all come in here and talk, nigga? This ain't no motherfucking daytime TV talk show, nigga. We are here to drop bars, nigga. Source the fuck up. Give a fuck about your thoughts, nigga. That's like me. Goddamn me giving you a dollar and you giving me four quarters back. Like, come on, man. That shit, that, that ain't teaching, bro. Yeah, but if you look, if you look at Pharaoh right there, right, his spirit, his energy was way different, bro. I don't know what happened to that young brother, bro. Man, they on that dope. He said they, fuck, they uh, I hope not. Yeah. I hope, uh, listen, I don't, I don't even agree with half of the stuff that he teaches. But at the end of the day, is a young brother that was on top of his game, right? Regardless, right? So right. seeing him, seeing him like that, bro, I ain't gonna lie. That just looking at his old videos and looking at him now is that, bro, what happened to you, bro? Dope, like, nigga, nigga, what you mean? nigga, that dope do this. Yeah, y'all yeah, that dope. That's what <laughs> I'm saying. That, that dope, nigga. Say, hey, nigga, bro. that dope do that, nigga. Yeah, they said dope, do do dope. dope do that. <laughs> that dope do that and not being and not being around enough, man. See, this internet shit can be play shit, and a nigga could been ran a couple trips through that county and your little shit got a couple bucks. Life, real life, fam. You got to live long enough. 
They put him on a pedestal as a young phenom. He was supposed to be the young phenom for the community. But that's yeah. the drawback of when you elevate people before they didn't actually had time in the grind. I don't give a fuck how much you know, nigga. You still got to put years behind it. You still got to pay dues. This is a lot of soldiers in the dirt. Gone, ain't never coming back. But it's, you got the ones out here who nigga have got crudded and been muddy. They've been up and through that thing four or five times. And he hanging on. But he he here to tell the story. The young nigga that was hot who got took off the street on that super fly shit, bro, he had a, he had a t-shirt, he had a moment. Don't nobody remember nobody but his family. The world don't remember. He, he wasn't around long enough. The impact wasn't strong enough. You know what I'm saying? It's the same shit with this young nigga Pharaoh, bro. They put him on a pedestal. He was supposed to be the phenom. Got the taste of the fame and the power. Ain't never had it like that before. And this shit ruined him. Right. That shit ruined the fuck. You know what I'm saying? He no came way. in right after artist development stopped. You know, they, they just threw him out there instead of, a, you know. Grooming him. Grooming him, yeah. Uh, he didn't want to be groomed. He went his nah, own yeah. route. I ain't gonna lie, I learned a lot from Pharaoh Rock because he is with similar to mine. <clears throat> when he came in the community, the community ain't accepting him. You feel me? So he had to find his own way or blaze his own trail. Real talk. Now, did he do some shit that I wanted to do? Now, he got some stains on his name for as a Sandra Bland. He changed his channel to Sandra Bland during that time. He got a big following. Some people say he took donations in the name of them. The school shit he said he's going to say. Like, he got a few cases on the community. You know, he's suing YouTube and, you know, a lot of this collecting a lot of money. All that type of shit that was attached to it, too. But the part of the story that I learned from him from that solo journey and all of that type of shit. But I'm in a different place uh, of my life. You know what I'm saying? Like them niggas there, they they ain't never had no money before. You know what I'm saying? Right, they, right. They ain't, all that. They ain't never burnt out the little those desires or that shit that they wanted and all that. Like I'm right. past it. I'm in a different place in my life. So right. you know, if I get a blessing like that, nigga, I'm I'm mature, I'm at a place to of, of, of going all the way up here and fucking it off or you know what I'm saying fucking it off 36,000 on dope cases and shit like this here and you know just taking care of a lot of motherfuckers and then when you locked up you can't even get a letter just different situations and experiences uh now nah, you you know I look at it in a, in a different way I understand you know what I'm saying where this should go you know what I'm saying yes yeah, sir so, all so, right them niggas got uh, it right on that. I went to Hollywood, said, fuck New York. They got too many rats. The trash all out of the street. Yeah, that nigga that was going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're like, say they yeah. got too many rats in that motherfucking nigga. Yeah, they ain't <laughs> have no leash or nothing, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and then it's a different, different dip where we come from. See, that's the difference, man. The, the way we raised and how, the way we raised through the hustle and the struggle and out in the South, man, it's different, man. And that's what a lot of the OGs through the music and shit, man, we was trying to tell them niggas up there on that corner up there in the east, man. Like, bro, that shit is cool and all that, man. But, man, we, we got a whole different rock down here, man. We got a whole different sway when the yeah. wind blows. You see what I'm saying? And We the hard you know, I, I don't know, bro. Even when they speak about American culture, I told them New York niggas the other day, man, when they talk about American culture, they ain't talking about New York. Y'all not in this conversation. Uh, the culture of America is the South, nigga. It's the South, man. Fucking with them South, nigga. We <laughs> all the shit. We the blueprint. We the all We're that the shit that tribute to America and the cultures, nigga, stealing and biting out. But no, nigga, from the food culture to the to all of that shit, the 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 the, yeah. the, the soul, the music, all that type of shit, nigga. That shit, that's all ours. New Bro, York. Any stuff. any documentary that you see anybody make. Outside of America, about America, motherfucker, I ain't never seen now where this origin story started in New York. Nigga, they always got these motherfuckers down south. You understand me? We just went through the lecture other day Man. in 1860. Uh, uh, 70 70% of the voting on, class man. in New York was foreign. Come on, man. Ain't Black this motherfucker ain't no history in this motherfucker without the Southern Negro. Without these Indians down here, man, this ain't this shit ain't got no history. Lock, cock, stock, man, this shit from the here, this mama right here, this mama of all this shit right here, man, coming across the belt right here, man. 
real shit, man. And we've been telling people put respect on our name, man. We've been hey. saying that shit, and we've been we, we, and our, our ancestors live that way. We they raised the children that way. We respect the morals. We ain't cocky, but we know we got shit rocking on God and them. Hey, niggas, can you see my screen? Yep. Are you familiar with this? This is in Ghana. Do it look familiar? I, th I think I think you played a video last time I was on. Oh, there. you saw this. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what? I've got, I've got, I've got a reply for you. Talk to me. What's going? What the hell is going on? Right, right. You see, you see now, yeah. You, you, it's like anywhere, right? Anywhere where you call, like you can get scammed. You know what I'm trying to say? Like I even seen videos of, um, which I can send you if you want as well. Uh, videos of Nigerians getting their houses also demolished out there in Nigeria. It's, that's in Ghana, but I'm talking about Nigeria, right? So. Basically, you can get scammed by people that are selling you fake paperwork about some land, right? So if you go ahead and buy some fake paperwork or fake, um, you buy a property or a land from somebody that scammed you, later on the government can come through and take that shit down. You know what I'm trying to say? That happens to everybody. That happens to, that happens to, that happens to foreigners and that happens to people from that land as well. And that's that's what people need to no, understand. No, it only nothing, nothing the government can do about it, nothing to stop this. I mean, people, they, they, people right? Uh, yeah, I mean, it can. I mean, there is something that can be done about it. But the, to be honest, the the process is very slow. You know, what I'm trying to say the process is very slow. Yeah, yeah. Why is, is it there, is of corruption? I mean, there's an element of corruption. Um, and all of that, yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Because a, a lot of those people that scamming people. Like so from buying No, it's not, bro. It happens everywhere. It happens in the UK. It happens in America. Where you can buy. You can't do this in America. I'm sorry, Nick. No, 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 listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. Nick, listen to what I'm saying. You ain't gonna have a nigga see you in court, buddy. Nah, nah. Nah, listen to what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is this, right? You can get scammed over here, like all this mortgage talk. Someone can sell you a property, and if you don't read between the lines, right? Well, and you think go to jail here. This, this, not, nobody's going to jail in this situation. Like I've seen, I've seen it happen in the UK, bro. I've seen, I've seen people you know get getting... right here. Let's deal with Africa, right? Nobody's right. going to jail. They looted the place. I mean, <sighs> bro, they looted it. Hey, hey, where are you taking that? Excuse me. Hey, why are you taking this? I got your picture. Yeah, you see, they they they, they gonna jump him. I'm scared for his life. I'm trying to figure out nigga, why nigga if they rob you, you nigga, let them rob you. Yeah, don't try to say nothing, nigga. You way out like there in Africa, nigga. Cause these folks that told you to go back home. This ain't how you treat a nigga at home, man. You do you think they know you American? You have to you have to understand this, right? It's all about context. So even though they was American, I mean, do you do again? you think that the, the people that was doing this knew that that guy was American? I'm not too sure. Most hundred percent. Like, like yeah, what, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say to you, that happens to Ghanaians themselves too. It don't just happen to foreigners and Black Americans, and it happens to yeah, white people. It happens to it happens to everybody. I understand yeah. that. I feel you. Yeah. Uh, people get evicted and put out and things like that. So, but 100%. I'm asking how, uh, brother, they didn't give him a pink slip. They didn't negotiate with this guy. They cut the power. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you, right? I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie to you. Africa can be like that. You know, you can get justice, but if you ain't, if you ain't got no connections, if you ain't, if your paper ain't long, bro, it's going to be a long day for you. And that's what that's where it comes from. It's gonna from. be a long day for you. It's gonna be a long day for you. That's why you, you got your ass up out of there, huh? You need to, you need to, you need to, you need to call. Nah, my my situation. I told you my, my situation is different. Man. My situation is a civil war. Why, so why should we? So why should we feel safe in Africa? Going back, this back to Africa movement. Like, since, since okay, this let me tell you why. Let, let me let me tell you why. Yeah, let me tell you why. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I want to hear this shit. Oh, yeah. 
I, yeah, I let me hit. tell you why. Yeah, yeah, who is that talking? James, your mic. Nigga, it sound like you on the goddamn. You got to turn your microphone up. Or you that nigga, that nigga, that nigga got that goddamn cold mind. You heard it? That nigga sound <laughs> full. <laughs> that nigga deep off in the cold mind, Chief. Shit. Deep, deep down in one of those mounds somewhere. Come on with it, brother. Answer that question, nigga. That was savage. I think, I think, I think James trying to Yeah, they right, look. right in there driving that track to do that like that, man. Ain't told a nigga to get out, blew the horn, knocked on the door and said, hey, you might want to step out, get your shit. You know, nah, man, them niggas savage, bro. Can't, first thing first, first, man. First, 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 we could have had a show first, with them hoes. First thing first, can't, right? Can't. First thing first, the, the vast majority of people that come from the Caribbean or that come from North America that goes back home, that goes back to the on the continent have a positive experience. That's the vast majority. That's number one. That's a fact, right? Secondly, right, what we just saw now, even though it's wrong, it happens to natives on the continent and it happens to diaspora, what I would say diaspora Africans. It happens to everybody. It happens to white people too. You just don't see it, but it happens. It happens to Chinese people too. <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna get scammed out there. If you're not, if you're not about your business, if you don't know, if you don't know people that know people, just like everywhere, you're gonna get scammed. Simple as that. Now, the reason why I say goddamn, we know, goddamn it, Marlon schemes they pull on the internet. We know. Right. Shit, what happened there? What do you mean? We good. My too. We good, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, we good. Right, All right. right. Uh, what's up with the B nose? What you got for us, man? Pre guys. Hey, what's up, homie? All right, I'm chilling, man. Just tapping in with the fam. I just wanted to ask the guys. Well, well, shout out to the panel, man. I ain't seen y'all a while, man. I've been uh doing some things. I had went to that uh up, LA man? reparations they had out here in the city. Word, huh? word, that's what's up. That's what's up. How that go? Yeah, I checked that out, man. It was comical to be honest. They don't really, uh, because what's happening is they got these same folks that's continuing to speak on us and we telling them that it's a new paradigm. I wish like hell some of the homies would get on their Indian paradigm out here and I'm trying to get them on, but it's hard, man. You know, we hard headed out here. And last drop. Hey, now guys, I wanted to ask you a question because you spoke two things. You said Pan-African is a blueprint. A blueprint. Yep. Key word, blueprint. It's not no culture. It's not no history. It's a blueprint to keep something in the mix for y'all. Why? Why y'all? Why? Now, now, number one. And number two, you just said that this happened to Chinese people and, and white people as well. Basically, it's happening to people that don't belong over there in Africa. Basically, they saying, get y'all asses. Not you, par se, because you say you come from Torah written. And, you know, so it's basically kicking people out that don't, I guess, ain't African. Correct? Is that true? No, no, what I said was it happens to natives out there. So if you're from Ghana, it happens to Ghanaians. It happens to French people, British people, Jamaicans, Americans, Chinese, Russians, everyone you want to name. It happens to everybody out there. If you don't know the right people, if you don't look for your paperwork properly, just like anywhere in America, it happens too. People get scammed all the time in America, bro. In the UK, it happens too. So that's what it is, bro. Right. Uh, but, and, but, well, but wasn't and, that the government, though, that ran through that, took that brother's shit, or that's just some private? What, that's that's what I'm confused about. I don't know if was it a government thing, not to cut you off, you know, or was it some, this is some individual private contractor di type deal? I mean, but either way, this I mean, shit, it don't look good. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look good hundred percent, but that's the thing though. Yeah, there's there's two, three things going on. One of the things that's going on is that right, you have government officials or representatives, right, that work with scammers. It happens it happens everywhere. I've seen it happen many times. So oh, you have to see well, damn hell, man. Come on, man. That's I mean, like the that's same what, thing what, happened I'm, a couple few hundred years ago. Bro, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be as honest as possible. I'm not gonna try to paint no, this. I'm not saying thing. that you lie. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. Y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all, Bill, y'all, Bill. We gonna get each other the, uh, the, um, 
decent amount of time to get their point out. It's all good. I mean, like like I was saying, right? It's it's not it's not cool, but unfortunately, you have to know where you're at. You have to know the right people and do your right research. Just like anything, anything you like in, investing in a business anywhere is that you know what I mean. You go to China, <laughs> you go out there with all your millions. You don't know the right people. You're gonna get scammed, bro. Simple as that. So it's the hey, same I'll thing. Hey, I say this right here, right now. If you watched the video, you heard me tell the story about my homegirl, Basha the Rock from Uganda. She told me I'm talking. About, I'm finna go get some land in Uganda. I'm looking. I think it was like 14 bands, and they was offering. In, in American money, but you get all this land and all this shit here, they telling you it's fertile. And she said, nigga, they gonna scam you, nigga. If you buy this shit, nigga, they can take it anytime they want. And so uh, she say sometimes them pictures be even fake. You be buying them from fake buyers and shit, nigga, the land don't even exist. So, um, um, yeah, nigga, especially if you, one of these Americans caught up in Pan-Africanism and you trying to go back to the motherland and and the nigga then sent you Photoshop photos and shit from offline, nigga. And you got there. There's a whole apartment building up, nigga. You, <laughs> nigga told you was on acres, nigga, of plush land, nigga, growing cotton or uh, orange and apple trees in the back. Yeah, all that type of shit. So, uh, I, you know, that was a wake up call to me. But to see it actually happen, or uh, how occasionally do this happen? We just seen the lady, the young lady that went out there and got killed, moved back. And she ended up getting killed out there. Uh, we seen we got another case. Brother went out there, opened up a store. They robbed the store and killed the nigga ass American. I'm trying to figure out, nigga, why? How, how do y'all go out there and get comfortable? Because a nigga told you you was at home. And clearly why you there, them people do not treat you at home. You know that you are different when you're in another place, bro. Anybody that ever went to another country, bro, you nice. can feel... Bro, you know that you are out of bounds. <laughs> you know, what bro. I'm you saying? know, you even here. You know when you're in a strange neighborhood. You it. You know when you there that the the energy, man, the earth itself gonna give you vibrations for real, fam. To let you know, like, right. yeah, man, you you ain't you ain't supposed to be here, fam. The mother earth, man. This shit is deep, bro. If you in a place where you not supposed to be, the earth itself. Fuck the people before they even say a word. The ground gonna tell you, motherfucker, you need to pick up and even move, huh? Huh? Or sit still. The earth gonna tell you that. The energy and the shit gonna tell you that, man. Fuck all that shit. Come out rolling on some paper, man. These people tricking our people to go over there, man, investing their hard earned cash over here, going over there searching for a pair hey, of Hold on, shit. man. Hold on, family. We already on. Hold on. They already live me to add any context or to pull up any additional Dang. sources to uh supplement my hypothesis <clears throat> i'll be more than welcome to do that all right any of the other brothers would like to do something show something add on to the information because you saucing up that's Mongolia what this is all about Mongolia if you can bring some sources hey I'm, i need my people in the audience if y'all would like to um you know rebuttal any of the information when I let you in, when it's time for question and answers, make sure you are not coming on to teach but to ask a question. You are not coming on to debate but to ask the brothers a question. All right? So let's get that down first. Um, anybody else would like to um, go in before we open up the floodgates? Hey, um, I'm finna fall down and come back on my laptop. So hey, y'all, I'm finna get to the smoke shop, y'all. Okay, time. who is that? Uh, uh, Truth. One okay. One. I'm gonna All right, down. Aboriginal I'm Power, where you at, man? Hey, man, I'm right here, my bad. Okay, um, do you want to go in before we open up the floodgates? Yeah, absolutely. I would love to uh, go in just a little bit. All right. I want to talk about, I want to talk about some of the sciences here. Go ahead, uh, brother. You want to share your screen? Yeah, absolutely. All right, go ahead. <clears throat> so, uh, a, mi a misconception amongst Aboriginal people, American Indians, or Americans in general is the primitive lifestyle that's been portrayed in cinematics and various different ways. But 
when it comes to aboriginals, whether it's in north, south, central, southeast, southwest, northeast, or northwest, we got advanced civilizations. And as a matter of fact, the first cities uh, were built in America around 3,000 years ago, 3,200 years ago. All right? So let's get into that. All right, so uh, the, the oldest city, the oldest city site that has been found was in El Esparro, which is in Peru, right? It was built around 3,000 BC, right? That's 5,000 years ago. 5,000 years ago makes this city one of the oldest cities and civilizations in the world, Sarnetta. And, and, and under misconception, you would think that some Asian-looking, straight-haired, phenotypical-looking people that we call Native American today would have built that. This is what Western Eurocentric education have taught you. But no, it was Aboriginal people who built this science and what that's here in America. And we're going to go into a little more here in just a second. So just bear with me. Um, so let's get into one of the oldest cities. Another one of the oldest cities that we're going to talk about is Poverty Point. Right? Poverty Point is another city that was built in America, the Holcomb City in the snake town of uh, what we call the Southwest Desert in the Inca city of Machu Picchu. These cities are credited to being some of the first cities in America built by indigenous Aboriginal people. When we mean cities, you gotta think uh, urban style. We're not talking uh, primitive living. We're talking streets, Sarnetta. We're talking highways. We're talking sanitation. We're talking public transportation. We're talking taxation. We're talking actual form government. You understand what I'm saying? So we have to realize that no, this is not something that 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 that, that is not accustomed to uh, what we call Negro people, and we all would agree that black people, so-called black people, are all over the world. You see what I'm saying? Oh, uh, hold on, let me pull up my next screen right quick. Hold on, apologize. Let me pull this up. So yeah, we can all agree on that, okay? Oh. Uh, Melanated people was all around the planet, and, and, and in America, they're not excluded. They're not excluded from the America. As a matter of fact, it should be more of a heightened understanding because most of us here listening are here in America. Your ancestors and, 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 and some of the people that's in your lineage, whether you understand it or not, which hopefully you will by the end of this conversation, is more connected to the pyramids of this soil, which your grandmother and your grandparents were born at. You're, you are more connected to the science and the peoples here than you are anywhere else. A lot of people going all over the planet looking um, for the culture, but your culture is right here up under your nose. You don't have to go 3,000 miles across the sea. It's right here in America. And let's get into it. Pyramids. Not only do we have cities in America, right? Can you pull my screen up again, sir? I apologize. I'll make sure brothers and sisters are able to see this. Can you pull my screen up again, sir? I'm sharing. I don't see it sharing on the screen right now. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, so pyramids in America. We show you cities in America. And by the way, I'll give you the list of sources for everything. These, these are all uh, primaries. You can go look it up. Pyramids in America going back 5,000 years ago. Not only do we have pyramids, we also uh, talked about the cities that go back 5,000 years ago. So let's just get into some of these pyramids in America, all right? Now let's get into it. Some of the pyramids built in Americas were equal to the size of the Egyptian pyramids. The first American builders were the indigenous inhabitants of what is now Peru, who began to build the first pyramids out of adobe, which is a form of brick, right? Uh, two of the first were in El Esparro and located in the co a central coastal area of what is now Peru and, and Corral Supe. I will be showing you Corral Supe as well. Uh, Let's get down, okay? American pyramid builders uh, began constructing their uh, pyramids several hundred years before the Egyptian pyramids. So I know you guys love Kemet. You don't have to go to Kemet. It's right here up under your feet, right here in America. The, the pyramids in Peru was constructed several hundred years before the pyramids in Egypt. 
according to archaeologists, believe that the Egyptians built their first pyramid at Saqqara between 2886 and between 2613 uh, BC, right? And constructed the famous Giza pyramids between 2589 and 20 between 2589 and 2504, right? BCE, right? In about 1800 BCE, South American ceremonial centers uh, pyramids took a different look, right? We integrated. Uh, what they call the U shape, and we'll get into that because, and when we get into these later developments, we get into some of the earlier cities that, that's also been credited, like uh, Cahokia, um, uh, Poverty Point. Let's 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 pull up some things on Poverty Point right quick. Uh, I would uh, love to see the energy. Right I would love to see more energy. Uh, up, everybody's energy in the building. Um. So we go to another site, uh, built by American Indians, as you see, another term that they call it, uh, built 3,400 years ago. And what's crazy about this, we're talking about actual cities. We're talking about multiple mound pyramidal structures throughout these various different locations. You have another site that was recently found that goes back 10,000 years, which is another site uh, down there right now. And I want to see some from these brothers that we haven't already seen. So. I'm familiar, you know, this is they teaching. I love that they standing on their, they, you know, where they good at. But I feel like people have already seen a lot of this. So I'll let us see them pick it up. Or maybe this just to throw that net out there because they trying to get a fade with uh, and also Garfield. So maybe they really them in and there's some of the information that they want to discuss. Now, it, it is one of the oldest and best preserved uh, middle archaic period sites, archaic period sites. Uh, that is Watson Break. I'm gonna pull that up as well. Just yeah, we gotta pick the pace up, bro. We we running the gun in. Reference points a little more. Y'all know we run we run the West Coast yeah. offense over here. We running the gun in, man. So Watson yeah, Break. you gotta get in and out the huddle. Man. Also, <laughs> is, uh, astronomically aligned with the site in also in Louisiana, which is Poverty Point. So both of these sites are astronomically in line. Okay, shout out to everybody that's in the building. Uh. Also, I want to give you just a glimpse of that site that we were talking about in America, uh, in Peru. Uh, the scarce city of Corral Supe. Uh, we kind of want to show you what some of those images look like. Uh, yeah, yeah, because right now you just hitting the heavy bag. You're supposed to be screen. going in on that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, you got an opportunity. I'm going to get it in. Right here, I'm going to say. My brother wants to oh, definitely exactly. educate you guys on this white slavery. <laughs> right? They might. So uh, here goes the, 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 the uh, Corral Soup Bay site. Get, get uh, uh, Pan Africans to come in and then, you know, go to the heavy artillery because. They Sarnetta said something about release uh, opening up the floodgates or something. So we'll see what's gonna happen. Looks I do want to see though, and I want to still in uh, an excavation stage. The early stages. Moving faster, pass the ball. And uh, the leading archaeologist on the hey, site is Ruth Shady and Don Haas. You know what I'm Just saying? Those, I'm gonna yeah. let my brother A1 get it in. I don't know. If yeah, he didn't get it. What you call them playing tonight, man? The Golden State. Them niggas ain't finna be out there, man. That's the oh, big league. Think they finna bullshit on not either side. Everybody coming to rock out, nigga. Let's do a die. Let's do a die. Let's rock. Goddamn, pick the energy up. Step to these niggas. You got the whole Pan Africans out there. Show them how all this shit wrong, man. And show them how Aboriginal standing on shit today. How they walking on, stepping on shit. Come on, pull up. Pyramids. We gonna all that's good shit. But pick the pace up, pass the ball, get get you involved. Throw something off the glass to eight one goddamn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Truth, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll rotate around a little bit. Let's get. All right, A one, we at. See what I'm saying? Now you got side right, pick on, it man. up, man. All let's right, it's on you, man. man. Let's work. Be hitting like clockwork, man. Let's work, goddamn. Man. Figure eight past the rock. This first man. quarter, well, I don't know what quarter. We kind of came in late. A1, you going to be showing your screen? Yeah, yeah, I'm about to share right now. Got All right. Right, A1, I was going to get on your ass. Yeah, like you on a Sunday off. drive, man. It's Thursday night raw, man. Turn this shit up. Yeah, like a motherfucker. Let's play ball, goddamn. Step to these niggas, A1. It's up this, I know. I need some energy. Somebody wake up. Somebody need to get the team up. Um, as far as history is concerned, right, 
an educational system. Yeah, that man, that take the, um, that, that take away you know, from even the they always shot. reference and say um we're scholars right. and all this that and the third, right? Most people don't even understand that, you know, the whole the whole education system has been purposely designed to pretty much to pretty much program you with information that's not that's not clear and concise in most in most instances, right? So we deal with slavery, right? Sonetta, you're a historian, right? Let me ask you yeah. one question. Hey, y'all got A1. A1 going to be A1, bro. He going to live it down. Oh, yeah, man. They need a point guard. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I hear point you. Guard, man. What was the first year hey, when um, the white slaves slave, came into though, America this? according to um, modern history? Hey, what if it take them to the white slaves? Um, I don't know. You tell me. We had white boys tied All up right, in the so back. Hey, got they went right, for them. My nigga go down this wood though. I, so I, I what? Sixteen nineteen, right? He said, yeah, they asked the saw question that they give you. That. Hey, what's yeah, that? You about the war? You die by that? Oh, he he got there. He gladiator. He gonna go down. He gonna stand on it. Even hey, if he ain't, know. even if he know it's wrong. He gonna die on it. He gonna die on it. Because he hill. signed up for yeah, he's a <laughs> yeah, warrior. Yeah. He know he's who he yeah, got. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, kill me, nigga. I ain't going as a prisoner. <laughs> yeah. He might work on stick me. That Negroes came into America, right? They they always they tell you that Negroes, the first Negroes to come into America. What which number do Farrakhan say? I mean, I don't know. I'm that talking about to modern history. You deal with you deal with Oak and the Armour Ross Squad. Yeah, so some people know. come with different um numbers, goddamn numbers. Right. But it was 1619, according around that time, right? According right, to what they right. All right, so now nah, I don't want to jump on right now. So this is in, an article, even right? though Sinel did call and give me an invitation. I feel like you know, I'm gonna let them brothers shine. I don't want to try to take their shine, you know what I'm saying. So this opportunity them for the, them to do their thing. So I never I always call me. I just never be answering for his ass. <laughs> I swear. Yeah. But uh, this guy get yeah, I was I was doing my book and shit. I wanted to have something to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So you know, you know, once I get that bitch in there, we could we could talk now. I'm done with the book. And this is just one of many sources, right? I know people going, they're going to come at me about the sources, right? But I'm just going to show you that <clears> even <throat> the person that's sourcing this in, a, in, in this so-called article is out of a book called White Cargo, right? And it says, the forgotten history of Britain's 300,000 white slaves in America. White Cargo book review, right? So it's an actual book. Um, You guys want to see? Look, oh, let me see. Pick it up, A1. Let's go. You know how to goddamn bring the ball up quick. Let's go. I actually Lock. got the book right here, but I don't want to go too long with it. It's side to let it come on and do a uh in-depth presentation. Oh, of... fuck that, nigga. This is your opportunity right now, oh, bro. Don't do man. that. Man. Oh man, you no got yeah. Fuck that, nigga. I'm here now. That nigga might never answer the phone or bring me on this hoe again, nigga. Nah, right now I'm finna yeah. show him, nigga. Dig in your bag with your white slavery. Get All on these shit, ass, make the phone lines go off and put your information on one of these niggas who call in. Now nah, we not All that shit, time. Man. I told y'all just told cut. I say, man, don't go in that whole legs. No, they're gonna always tell you now because they want the advantage. Tank or uh, Ryan or uh, Tank Davis had put a, a weight clause in on Ryan. Bro, we gonna I'm gonna take every advantage I can get to have you at a point, yeah, because I'm trying to win. And so now, nah, man, don't go in that thing and I look. Ain't gonna be no plex and no B. So you ain't no need to pack a gun or no shit like that. And you coming at home, you ain't gonna move. And these niggas got banana clips with switches on them all. <laughs> and his ass out. It. But um, I actually got the now nah, this our time right to shine right now. Hey, one right fuck here. it. White cargo. Y'all right right. might not so have never let us on again, nigga. Reads, right. It says, following the cultivation, let me highlight it real quick. Hold up. Hey, man, stop acting like y'all sparing niggas, man. This shit ain't that and, and the why reason I'm presenting this to, been outside is to let you know two show. things, right? Why was you wrong for this First shit, thing, <laughs> they never told you about white Murray, people coming uh, over uh, <laughs> Second thing, they never told you, you that it was Negro one. slave owners 
from 16, Good but Lord. I'm going to say before that because we always had servants because we always had a bartering system and we always traded and we always had what you call um, servants, a.k.a. employers or whatever else you want to call it, right? So this is really nothing new, whether it was your family members or whether it was higher help, right? So just dealing with this, this in particular, right? This is something that they do not tell you in history. When they tell you about slavery in history, they telling you they brought Africans here. They, t they never tell you that they brought white people here. They never telling you that they had black slave owners. I'm talking about in the thousands, not, not one, two, three, thousands of them. And in the major states like South Carolina, Virginia, Louisiana, Maryland, et cetera, right? So even when we get into this right here, right? So let me just... Just go a little bit over this, right? Now, so I say following the cultivation in 1613 and accept the tobacco crop in right Virginia. Tomorrow. The needed the need for the labor accelerated. Slavery was viewed as the cheapest and most expedient way of providing the necessary workforce. So when I'm trying to tell you, better ride with that hoe. Due to harsh working conditions, right? Beaten, starvations, and disease, survival rates rarely exceeded two years. Thus, the high level of demand was sustained by a continuous flow of white slaves from England, Ireland, Scotland from 1618. Now, they saying from 1618. That's a year before the 1619 uh, story that they don't here. never tell you that they had white slaves here, right? So from 1618 okay, to 1775, who were imported to serve American colonist masters. Now, the American colonist masters was actually <laughs> Negro. It wasn't European. This lady right, right? here be talking. I but that's a whole weird. other thing that we can get in on another pseudo. note, right? So tell me, this is pseudo. This is possibly why no source was provided. The National Library Information NIA Century for... Um, by technology information states Mongolian spots upon oh she talking about the Mongolian that's one right. source right there right she, no oh, they don't don't look no different from any other Germans no Italians no anybody no more Slavic people now we can get all into we can get all into the Slavic countries and prove so and prove that all the Slavic Poland, Switzerland, Greenland, all of these are Slavic people. I don't care what name they give them, they're all Slavic people. Okay? Now check this out. Let's go back into the article, right? So all right, so all right, the enslavement of the Slavic people, right? It says thus when the word slave say was going <laughs> in the West, in America, right? The impression was of a Caucasian slave. Only in the last century has the shocking history of slavery been selectively read through the lens, the lenses of American race issues that, I mean, and for political gain. Now, you get into this, this is the etymology. Can you say, this, what, what would that sound? You know, that's when A1 get his superpowers. Whenever you hear that sound go out, Tomorrow, say she listening. Yeah, you listen. You're going to be a Jaguar, goddamn. You're going to come over here, goddamn. You're going to be a Jaguar. Um, yeah, that's when, when you hear that sound, Kelly. <laughs> I ain't want to boot up on your boy. <laughs> that, that's like Spider Man, Clark Kent going in the, in the phone booth on your motherfucking ass, nigga. Of the actual terminology of the term slave, right? Which most people soon, most people when they hear the word slave, the first thing they do is raise their hand. Oh, that was my ancestors. We were slaves. We gonna continue, right? The word slave, we don't need to go down there. We gonna go where it say originally, originally Slav in quotation. Hey, now right? you need Carter. See? Don't go over there talking shit because he know that Jaguar symbols. I never know who that is, nigga. So you go over there with that. They gonna already know who it is. That's why he shot it out of uh, BCU and shit last night. Them niggas know them Jaguars when they see them, bro. <laughs> Slough, right? So used in the secondary sense because of the many Slouths sold into slavery by conquering people, 
right? I don't need to go all into all of this, right? We could do that another time, right? They talk about <clears throat> the oldest written history of the Slavs can be shortly summarized, the entrailment of the entire people. The Slav was the most prized good. We're going to go down a little bit. They're going to say he filled the slave markets of Europe, Asia, and Africa. Now, these stories you don't never hear about, right? Along with the fact. Hold up for a second. Niggas, niggas, you still on? Hey, do y'all, do you think Garfield and them going to jump on? Because that's who they trying to call out, Garfield and them. I'm yeah. curious if you, Garfield and them going to jump on. If he's not live, most likely probably come on, yeah. He know, he yeah. know this is going down tonight. He knows. So yeah, I know he's going to come on. Yeah. <laughs> Pick it up, oh, everyone. No yeah. silent, no breaks. If y'all do a break, somebody come off the mic and tell everybody to hit the like button or give a shout out to everybody in the building. Don't never let, let it go pause like that. Yeah, that, um, yeah, that work, dead air. Yeah, that yeah, dead air. Another source. I'm just showing you I got multiple sources and I have books and all of this stuff that already concludes the fact that Europeans was brought over here. But the inter the interesting fact is how did all these Negroes become slave owners? That's the interesting point of it, which I'm gonna get into. I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna show you a few other things, and we're gonna conclude, right? So it say the you white slave. What's that with right? you? Matter of fact, let me highlight this. The white slaves, right? Not indentured, who begin to arrive here in 1618 including hundreds of children, right, trades, who have been rounded up from the streets of London to serve wealthy farmers in Virginia. Now, they tell you they brought you here in Virginia in 1619, right? They don't tell you about no white slaves being brought over here. Now, this is a year before the 1619 story. Now, most of you um, Pan-Africans, right, not that no 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 fun intended no pun intended right right I'm quite sure y'all know who Hannah Nicole Smith is right who made the 1619 story right well I thought you were talking about the white bitch that used to was from Houston the dope fan bitch that was fucking the old rich white men 1619 story they're not telling you nothing about these Europeans being brought over here right now I know people like well why are you bringing up Europeans when our ancestors were enslaved? Our ancestors were brought over here. Listen, all of this information that these people present to us is all contaminated. And none of it is absolute and none of it is conclusive. Okay? I'm going to read a little bit more and I'm going to go into the um, other part of it, right? All right, so it says, of the first 300 slaves to the land in Virginia only 12 managed to survive. Now this is what they tell you with the 1619 story. They tell you when they first brought Negroes over here that all of them died off. But we're going to get into that. That's a whole other thing, right? It says the other died of ill treatment, disease, attacked by Native Americans or overworked, right? Now look, check this out. Here go your Kuta Kente story right here, right? Or story similar to it, right? It's a contemporary record showed that one child victim, Elizabeth Abbott, and God bless her soul if this really happened to her, because it's not right, whether it's Europeans or Negroes, however we look at it, right, to be enslaved, right? No one should be held against their will, right? But Elizabeth Abbott was beaten to death when her master ordered her to be given 500 lashes for running away. Okay? So... Like it's 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 extensive. It's extensive information dealing with Slavics being brought over here, right? Now check this out, Sanetta. Sanetta, you still on? Am I still on? Yes, yes, I'm still here, brothers. All right. So, do you know anything about um Anthony Johnson? What do you know about Anthony Johnson? Mm -hmm. Sanetta don't like you to ask him questions. He bring people on because he feel like you're the teacher. And I'm the student. So, so I know that he don't like it. 
He be pissed. Shaka, Shaka, I always do that. Sinetta, Sinetta, look at this, look at this. You're the worst host. You're the worst host in the world. That's what Shaka, that was Shaka I always say. But yeah, now play ball with Ab or uh, 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 AP or something. Set them up. So look at AP. So see, that's how you got to get them involved so they can, you know what I'm saying? They can punch in with you. So uh, AP, if I was to ask you. Oh, Anthony Johnson, who was this? Yeah, go on, get him involved. Get, get on your uh, Chris Paul. Get on your uh, John Stockton, man. Get on your LeBron James. Get some assist around this motherfucker. Nothing, brother. You teaching. Go ahead and teach, brother. I told y'all. Sinella is not like this shit, bro. He said, I'm going to be a teacher. Real talk. Nah, for real. Walk through him, maybe one. Get uh, Air TV involved or uh, get AP involved. Throw it off the backboard to him. All right, so Anthony Johnson, right? Now, I'm just going to read a little bit of what it's saying, right? It's saying nobody on this list. Actually, I'm going to go to the top and show you what it is. Ten black slave owners. Um, They got another article on it that I can just, I'm going to go into this too. Ten black slave owners, all right? So we go back into this. We're going to go down to Anthony Johnson, right? No, I'm still trying to do it. Uh, you gotta send me the password. You just send it. Right? Ah, you off mute, man. Oh, my bad, my bad, y'all. <clears throat> All right, so Anthony. Damn, man, TV. You should have let him see, cause you gotta see who he trying to bring in on you. He over there trying to work it out. That nigga over there hit the button trying to get some shooters. Y'all got the shit. He got the shit, nigga. Y'all got the cars. Take go steal the car. Take the place out. Y'all switch the place on the mo. All right, man. Come, come, come on, the nigga, right here. <laughs> you know, I think one of them. Got I don't know if he got nothing on him, but the other two, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I would, I would say, hold on, man. yeah, I would have got that. Who is that boy? Yeah, that's how they got voices with all kind of shit. Yeah, that thing told me. Yeah, we just switched the place on the call. We ride, right, we here. Johnson, right? So, this is the list. He's he's ranked. He's ranked number one, right? According to according to their ranking of Negro slaves, right, slave owners, right. So it's saying nobody on the list has affected the history of slavery quite as much as Anthony Johnson. It hey, shout out to Sacred Peace Tribe. Hey, can can somebody go over there and put ten dollars on the screen so we get a Jaguar symbol up there? Oh, uh, shout out to the young lady. But uh, can we go get some Jag a Jaguar symbol up there? She been up there a little too long. He is rumored to be the first black man to arrive in Virginia, as well as the first black indentured servant in America. He was also the first black man to gain his freedom and the first to own land. As a true pioneer of the first, Johnson could stop there. Ironically, he became the first black slave owner, and it was his, his court case that solidified slavery in America, right? Now, understand this, right? You got documentation and record that actually Anthony Johnson was actually an indig um, uh, indigenous American. This is just a story that they fabricated. He's actually part of the Acromac, the Acromac Nation in Virginia, right? But that's a whole other story. And with evidence, we can prove that as well, right? So let's get it. Hey, if we could get the likes up with 300, that'd be super live. We ain't got 300 likes in a while. Into it, right? So listen to this, right? In 1635, according to them, Johnson was freed and given a 250 acre plantation. This don't sound like white supremacy to me. Why would they bring this man from Africa and give him? A 250 acre. Yeah, they're talking shit in the chat. Tell me, I'm on the phone with somebody. Just teach. They said he is sourcing it to prove a point. Oh, so um, you see, not a coincidence. Hey, now this books talk about the one drop rule. He needs to stop. Uh, where's the ancient American social security system? What the fuck? <laughs> Somebody said neighborhood wine though. <laughs> Y'all get out my nigga one man. He talking about. What about the KKK? I heard those black people. Uh, where Rob Bowen? Why niggas be thinking Rob Bowen? I just, I just can't. I don't know, bro. bro. Plantation. 
right? Now, check it. Actually, went on from the book and what white people and not Malat. Come on, pass the rock, A1. Damn, nigga, you still working? <laughs> pass the rock. So, somebody, no somebody said that's my kids. As it will be seen. Somebody said what? This is why kids hate history. <laughs> oh, I see. That's fucked up. The political ramifications of white slavery. We ought to send some snipers through that bitch. Nah, I ain't gonna fuck it up, though. <laughs> we might fuck it up, though. Where, where the ultimate... We gonna see. I'm gonna chill. I ain't gonna see no niggas in there. We gonna see. The ultimate cause of the Civil War. Okay, now, like I said, none of this history is absolute. All of this history is full of um of of historical lies. If you follow the one person, one person to tell you one thing. If you listen to this other person, they'll tell you one thing. Well, if you do the actual research, the actual research is not conclusive that we was born here from Africa, that we were slaves, as I just showed you from Anthony Johnson from 1635. He and he some somebody just magically gave him white people hate us so much they gave him a 250 acre acre plantation that sound like he was an apprenticeship and he actually inherited that from his family so there's there's a lot of different stories being told besides besides the fact that you know we all did our ancestry up here in our, gene, our um, genealogy my people from georgia alabama and um virginia and all and on both sides of my family, my people are one, 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 one side, my people are Yamasi, the other side, my people. See, see, top, he know to go back to that family, man. People will be or whatever. And it's coming from them. Come on, man. You know we you man, know, we Wow. Now they didn't they didn't fulfill us with the um with the full historical ramifications saying that because they didn't know nothing about this Africa shit. This Africa shit is something that just been pushed to us within the, within the, um, the early 1900s or within the mid 1900s. Our people wasn't dealing with none of this prior to this. And like I said, according to even their history, their history is full of lies. Their history <laughs> is full of holes. Their histories don't add up. Right? So, let me go back real quick before I pass the mic. Truth, you ready? Don't ask me if you ready throwing the ball. If not, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. I'm you know, ready. You say, you say, don't you that just throw it to him. If he wasn't ready, he wouldn't be on the court tonight. Throw it to him, goddamn. I'm here. Oh, you ready too? Okay, cool. It worked. It worked. Right, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna I'm gonna just just give me like five more minutes. Up. Five more minutes. Take, take your time, bro. I ain't going nowhere. Right. No, no, no. I, I well, I can't say what, but I would say pass it, and we not even do five minutes a piece. I think if we do three, we can get a lot done because you want to get them involved too, so they can be able to help you on points. Plus, you want them warmed up because they finna go to the, they gonna open the phone line up. So I need everybody to at least broke a sweat before they come out to the locker room. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no sense of getting warmed up first one, two, three round. Have everybody show up on our points, get them involved in the conversation. Okay, all right, so boom. So we back into the black slave owners, right? But before I go here, I wanna go, I'm gonna go to um right here, right? So look, this is Antoine Dubelek, right? Now look, it says at the time of his death in 1887, Antoine Dubelek was a wealthy man, a very wealthy man. In fact, he was regarded as one of the richest men in all of the South. The racist South, where they was lynching niggas, doing all this, but they wasn't doing all that until after the Civil War. So he died a wealthy man, and he was even he was one of the richest men in the South. Now listen, I know y'all like, oh, this is some pseudo shit, right? But check this out, right? It's nah, I don't never say that, bro. I'm on the mic, nigga. If I'm on the mic, ain't nothing pseudo. That ain't even finna come up. Don't even put it in their head. Walk through these niggas, throw with confidence. That's richer even than his white neighbors. Okay? So this Negro right here had more money than the so-called white neighbors who are the ancestors of the people who claim that they brought his family over here at the bottom of a ship. 
it doesn't make no fucking sense. I mean, skill my language. I don't know if side of the going loud to curse. It doesn't make no sense, right? So look, as you go further, it said according to historians, estimate he, he was worth around two hundred and sixty-five thousand, around two hundred times the annual, the average annual income. Now. Let's go into a little bit more. It says, as well as in his land, he also owned a significant number of slaves, right? So it said, moreover, he was well respected in the society, not just because of his riches. Dibblet was, in many ways, a true Southern gentleman, right? So, look, it says, unlike many slave owners, look, unlike many, many. Unlike many slave owners, right, of color at the period, Antoine Dubilic was a was born a free was born to free parents. Sorry about that. He was born in 1810, the son of a part owner of a sugar plantation. So his father owned a sugar plantation in 1810 <laughs> in Baton Rouge, right? This don't sound like white supremacy to me. This sound like Aboriginal. Um, nations that was already here that these people oh, it's some black European shit to me Tiffany baby in the building please say the baby people are hiding through the fact and, and through this a lot of them niggas were black European it was indigenous down there but um they go into the story of the first national guard down in um in Louisiana and the reason for them um helping going moving over to from the confederate to the um United States um color troops this historical narrative that they brought us over here. This don't sound like no white supremacy to me. Okay, now check it out. When his father died, his mother moved to New Orleans, where Antoine's younger brother and sister, Antoine, meanwhile, took over the plantation. So he took over the plantation as well as the land. He also inherited around 70 slaves. Okay, now look. He also inherited... 70 slaves, right? Now, this is in 1834. Remember, oh, the Civil War freed Negroes. So how are all these Negroes doing all this before the Emancipation Proclamation is what I want to know. Oh, <clears throat> I, I get it. I, I know some of the stories. This is one of the most ridiculous stories, right? That slaves had time to work part-time and save their money up. Remember, they're not getting paid to be a slave. So whatever hours they put into that is a dub. All right? <laughs> so they had time after they were slave the whole day. So they a part-time job, <laughs> save their money up, then go back to this. Hey, this dude, is a dub, man, man. Y'all done seen Roots. Y'all done seen how, how, how um, they depict them people in there. Now, so you, you think know, you I'm, I'm, I say this here, that uh, argument with like that, with like a Jabari, Jabari, he uh he can he can wiggle his way out or something like that. Some of the mother ones they'll probably get it, but I think Jabari can get out of that. That he ain't gonna stay in the corner too long on that. But work part time and went and gave your money to the the so called slave owner, and then he would have been like, all right, all right, Nate, no problem. Uh, thank you for the money. We'll see you later, and let him just leave like that. Come on, pass it serious? Out. Pass Unless it, out, it was man. a different system. Give him a different voice, a different energy. This next person need to, you okay, know, we're so, on a fast break. Um, we're on a fast break. Now, it said, however, he retained a position in leadership growing the business until 1860. It was one of the largest sugar plantain, one of the largest. Hey, Tiffany, baby, I just checked. Yeah, I see you. I see you. I see you. We good. Sugar plantations in Lou. Hey, but Chief, don't nobody else look like they want to rock with those. around a hundred slaves. Yeah, but that's why somebody now, gotta take over. I know you take over the game. Like you know what I'm saying? Somebody yeah, gotta, yeah. Another yeah, one. somebody gotta take over the game. Again, right? But you know, come out now and, understand and this home right? and pass the rock. Because right now they being respectful and they want to let everybody. You know, get they shot, but now nah, we here together, so we're gonna hoop together. So yeah, bring bring it up. All right, somebody need to peek. We need a little more, we need to be more active on the glass. We need to get down the court faster. We need to press on defense. Yeah, we need to uh, yeah, so we running and gunning. 
Oh, uh, like when Horton was with the Rockets, Dan Tony let him run. Nigga, we everybody pulling up threes around his house. LSU, see, uh, women's team. See how they just won a championship. Yeah. Third round. Like everybody yeah. touch, everybody getting touches on this hoe. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, God, play got like one white girl over there doing that thing. Nigga, the whole everybody getting touches. Nigga, we brought a few niggas off the bench to get them warmed up for the second half. So we already shooting. We already feel our shot tonight. We already got our energy. That, that shit mean a lot, especially when you're in the group. Again, when niggas huddle up before we go in there, everybody hand on, put your hand on my hand, goddamn. And nigga, we in it dead. So now nah, get the energy flowing in that hole so everybody can, minds can be going. Don't let a nigga sit yeah. too cold. Yeah, don't let real, real talk. Cool. When you read up on William Ellison, they going to say, oh, he was a slave. They going to say that um, his ancestors, or he was a man you're missing. And then he went on into the same industry that these white supremacists or these so-called racist people that they, they that they show you, when they show you these slave movies, these people are not nice people. They whip him up. They doing all of this terroristic shit, right? So this man was able to just get right into the same industry. Now, let me read a little okay, bit. Tell me, was in like in, in, William Ellison was one of the largest slave owners in South Carolina, as well as one of the wealthiest. Okay? As well as one of the wealthiest. So he was one of the wealthiest slave owners in South Carolina. It's a side that the DNA is tricky. Thank you, people. Well, I'm going to stop right there. And um, if we got more time, we can go further into some more information. So I'm going to stop right there. Hey, Truth, you got some info? What's up? What's up? Who, who was on? Bring it up, goddamn. Take it close. Oh, um, Let's go. I don't know if Sal the back or not yet. It's how it look. Let's go close. Yeah, yeah. I'm still here. I'm here, brothers. Okay. I'm just okay, doing while I'm listening to y'all. Yeah, yeah, I heard you say you hey, that nigga phone things, ringing. Uh, y'all hear his cell phone ringing? He kind of called up some snipers. <laughs> that nigga was sitting ringing in the back. Just do a little work in the background. Hold on, them shooters about to pull up. <laughs> so I got, I got a couple of things I want to bring up. Just touch on on some DNA things. Oh, but the main oh, thing I want to uh, touch on is something that your good friend, uh, brother Reggie, said on uh, Garfield channel. Uh, like about a week or two ago. Tip, don't be putting your picture up there. Them folks ain't no use, cute. You want to put your picture all on the screen, goddamn. And I'm Nighthawk say, uh, pass the rock, ain't hey, one. <laughs> willing to challenge him and debate him and put up my own money for that statement that he made. Uh, he he said something along the lines that uh, America didn't have no science, <laughs> no technology, no mathematics, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I disagree with the brother on that respectfully. That's and I would love to have a conversation or even challenge him on that statement he made and make him stand on it. That's the but you know, I want to hear right there. Bring so many five of these niggas up. These niggas coming this whole as teachers. Nigga, we did. I need some shooters. Nigga, we on some cowboys and Indian shit around this whole nigga. Man, we know Pan Africans hang around here and all that. Nah, we here. Say, man, I'm out here with the posse, nigga, the posse on Broadway. And nigga, we really trying to open fire on some shit. Come on, true, bring him alive then. Goddamn, I want to fade. I this the nigga name, and I heard he be over here, and I was hoping I'd catch him. And yeah, that's the type of shit I need to see, goddamn. Get to call the names and shit out I tell, goddamn. Put some energy in this hoe. Let's put we can teach when we get something in front of us. Fuck it. We got our shit off. From now on, nigga, we need a yeah, nigga, get your revolvers and shit out, nigga. Yeah. Take position. You know, get your ass in that corner, nigga. Let go. Like a motherfucker. I bought a couple of things about the DNA because I heard you bring up the DNA and just bought up a couple of pieces, articles. You know, I'm not going to get full in depth, but just show you some of the contradictions that we be talking about. Why we say that a lot of the narratives that is being pushed is not absolute and they need to go back and be restudied. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen if that's cool, sir. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Uh, I'm sharing my screen. Hey, how can this in the super chat? Yeah, Hold on one second. Tonight. We fuck around and get us some. I just want to be respectful and let All them right, let me, get their time to shine, you know? All right. 
But if all uh, is that you right there, you up right now? It's goddamn. Uh, no, nah, I don't uh, believe it's me. No, nah, that's that's not me. Okay, nah, that's me. there you go. You up there? I'm ready for okay, the phone so, lines uh, open up. Open up them phone lines. False spot. Okay, so this is one that I would like to start from. Uh, false positive results released by DT by director to, to consumer genetic tests. You know, one of the tests that you showed us, Ancestry.com, which will uh, be uh, acronym. Now, I'm not sure who true calling out on here, but um, I want to see him and Ngozi. It's DTCs. Um, there is an increasing demand for the public for direct to, to consumer genetic tests. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration limited uh, the type of health related claims DTC tests are marketing. Some DTC companies provide raw genotyping data to consumers if requested. And these raw data may include variants occurring in genes recommended by the American College of Medical uh, Genetics and Genomics to report as incidental secondary findings. The purpose of this study was to review the outcome of requests for clinical confirmation of DTC's results that were received by our laboratory to analyze variant classifications of uh, concordance method. We identified 49 patients samples received for further testing that have previously identified genetic variant reported in DTC raw data. For each case identified, information pertaining to the outcome of the clinical confirmation testing, as well as classification of the DTC variant was collected and analyzed. The results, our analysis indicated that 40% of variants and var variety of gene reported in DTC raw data was false positives. Now, DTCs is your 23andMe, your Ancestry.com, your African DNA, those are DTCs. 40% of 49 people had false positive results. In addition, some variants designated with the increased risk classification of DTC raw data or by third party interpretation services were classified as benignant at Ambry Genetic, as well as several other genet uh, clinical laboratories and are noted to be common variants and pl uh, publicity available population frequency databases. Our results demonstrate the importance of confirming DTC raw data variants in a clinical laboratory that is well versed in both complex variant detection and classification. All right, so I bought this up because one of the biggest problems that um uh, that I've been going over when I be studying. To be honest, I think out of that, I would have took like maybe two of the top points, brought the and I painted that picture to them, and then I would have went down to the point that I was making the answer to shorten it up because these niggas ain't got. Why you saying that? They didn't, a hundred niggas didn't type in the chat. So a lot of times people don't even be paying attention. And that's kind of the fucked up thing. Cause they even the chat banging. You know what I'm saying? Showing it up, get to the point on the uh and about this DNA at the human genome society, at the American genome society is is that they really don't have access to these results from the DTC uh testings unless an individual who requests his raw data give it to them, and that's how they are finding these. Um and the third party shit that they don't know who the fuck they selling yourself your shit to. And in the process of being able to attain 49 of these raw data uh, uh, results from these DTCs, 40% of them turn to be false positives. So that's one issue that 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 we see problems with uh, got, these testings not being absolute. Hayden, cool Joe Hayden. Yeah, YKO. Hey, this is the only type of dude yeah. that keeps talking after you say this crazy twice. Uh, did your mama give you a curfew? A thousand viewers, why they not? Um, they not liking this. Okay, they asking for the lights to go up. Right. Complete information. Um, the final you wait whether PCA results are reliable, robust, and replicable. We Analyze 12 common test cases using an 
a new uh, intuitive color-based model along human population data. We demonstrate that PCA results can be artifacts of data and can easily can be easily manipulated to generate desired outcomes. I'm going to read that again. We demonstrated that PCA results can be artifacts of data and can be easily manipulated to generate desired outcome result uh, outcomes. PCA adjustments also yield unfavorable outcomes in association studies. PCA results may not be reliable, robust, and replicable and replicable as the field assume. Our findings raise concerns about the validity of results reported in population genetic literature and related fields that place a disproportionate reliance upon PCA outcomes, the insight derived from them. Well, that's the, this, this is where you should have made your main focus. So you should have broke down the, the criteria, let them know that this is what 23 and this is the thing that they're asking us to use. But the science is um is not accurate enough and then you go to that point shorten the shorten the shots up we concluded that now i'm goddamn playing i'm on my goddamn uh uh, uh floyd may well have seen you today pcas may have a biasing role in genetic investigations and that 32,000 to 216,000 genetic studies should be reevaluated and alternative mix add mix population genetic model is discussed. So I'm just going to stop right there because it basically stating what this is going to get into. And anybody can go find this for themselves. And if you think you want to challenge me on it, I got shit to back up what I'm bringing. You feel me? And that's why I'm going to stop right there because I know it's going to be people that want to. All right. But I got one more thing that I'm going to bring up. Another, if that's, if that's cool with you, brother. Okay. All right, ahead, brother. So, one thing that I notice about all this thing up on the science and all this is to get you to agree with the method, and then they're gonna give you that real narrative. So we're gonna that nigga Ohio player say I've been posting this everywhere. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Ohio, what you say? Trying to say, God damn, these nigga that these nigga that watches your study links. <laughs> True calling out a bay, goddamn. Um, see, I want to see him get in there with it. Let's let's stand on some of this shit. Let's see what these Pan Africans got. Want to take it to here? The unindirectional phenology of Homo sapien anchors the origins of modern humans and Eurasia. Background. Now, let me say this first and foremost before I get into this. I don't believe in the out of Africa theory, and I don't believe in this out of Eurasia theory. Okay, but okay. according to the science, this is what they are saying. This is not what I'm saying, but I'm showing the contradiction of all this shit. It's not what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. You take it up with. But respectfully, true in the game, in this game, you can get them what the scientists or the experts say. But then we have to come to our own conclusion from our own study. So I'm looking, don't let them know that they they model is wrong and then prove how yours is right. Put them. Walk them down. The out of Africa hypothesis was challenged recently in an extended mtDNA analysis, a PPA, which is a progressive phylogenetic analysis that identify the African human populations as paro paraphyletic. A finding that contradicts All right, now, Ohio say now nah, that's true shit right there. That ain't his. He don't, he, he don't know nothing about that one. The common out of Africa understanding that HSS, which is Homo sapiens sapien, had originated in Africa and invaded Eurasia from there. The results was consistent with the molecular out of Eurasia hypothesis and Eurasia paleontology a subject that has been largely largely disregarded in the discussion of out of Africa. In the present study, the mtDNA tree, the mtDNA tree and the phylogeny based on maternal inheritance 
was compared to the nuclear DNA tree of the paternally transmitted Y chromosome haplotypes, Y DNAs. The comparison showed full phylogenic coher coherence between these two <laughs> separate sets <laughs> of data. The results were consistent with potentially four translocations of modern humans from Eurasia into Africa. The earliest taking place 250,000 50, years before present time. The results were in accordance with the post lady behind the out of Eurasia at the same time as they lent no support to the out of Africa hypothesis. The conformity between the mtDNA and the yDNA phylogenes of the HSS, which is Homo sapiens sapiens, is consistent with the understanding that Eurasia was the donor and not the receiver, receiver in human evolution. The evolutionary problem related with out of Africa became similarly exposed by the mtDNA integration that took place from Homo sapiens sapiens, that's what the HSS stand for, into Neanderthal 500,000 years ago. A circumstances that demonstrate the earliest coexistence between and shout out to Darby's in the cash up to lineages. So, Sarnetta, like I say, let me stop sharing. I don't want people to believe that I believe that <laughs> shit, right? I don't, but I don't believe neither one. But I remember I was on the stage with your brother, Unc, uh, Bobby Banger. Salute to Bobby Banger. I like him. You know, he, I, I, no, I spoke no. with him. A few times. Good. No, say fuck Bobby Banger because that nigga disrespectful. He ain't going to show you no love. Fuck him. Fuck him. Yeah, you got to go in there. Yeah, fuck Bobby Banger. That nigga a pseudo. I ain't never heard a nigga as pseudo as Bobby Banger. Yeah, I would have started stepping on him. Good guy. We might disagree. Hey, fight, it ain't no hard like feelings, but he told me. I'm not debating with him. I'm debating with science, and science is not debatable. So anybody that got a disagreement with that, they're not debating me. You're debating science, and according to Bobby Banger, science is not debatable. And the fact of the matter is, is that they've been pushing this up on us, giving us the black was first, the black was first to get us to feed into it and believe this shit, and now they're coming out with that real narrative to still say that they created us and we came from them. And I'm going to leave that right there because, like I said, I got a lot of things to back up everything I bought, but I don't want to show my hand. I'm a poker player. Right, right. All know. right, so what we want to do, um, we want to open up the phone lines. I mean, open up the lines. <coughs> let hey, the Sam, let me, let me get, hey, let me get two minutes to break down Gullah Geechee real quick. I seen a lot right, of people ahead, say brother. Gullah Geechee. Go yeah. ahead, break down Gullah Geechee. I want to break down Gitchi, real quick. Yeah, you share your screen? Share my screen, good brother. Gitchi, you got it. Yes, sir. It's up and running. All right. All right, cool. So a lot of people think that Gullah Geechees are Africans. I know there is a, a internationally recognized tribe called the Gullah Geechee Nations, ran by Queen Quet. And um, they say that they are connected to Africa. But I'm about to show y'all that this is not an African culture. This is not a term that's associated in Africa in any way. These are all connected to indigenous people of the Americas. So the term Gullah, okay, um, based off my research com uh, comes from the word Gua, okay, or Gullah, okay? No, don't However, say that. Like Tell them Gullah. It. So let's see what it's talking yeah, about. It says the Gua was a historic... Native you know, American chief of the Mississippian culture. Okay, so it, it's giving us an indicator. These are indigenous people. These ain't no people who just came off of a, a slave plantation and ran into the woods. Okay, this is a Native American chiefdom of the Mississippian culture. Peoples located along the coast. Okay, here we go. A present day Georgia and the Sea Islands. Okay, so the Guau. Okay happens to historically resided in the same place that the Gullah Geechee people say they are from, okay? Now, we got that clear. Let's go here, Sa. It says the land of the Guau, right? Stop calling it Guau. It says it the Franciscan... Okay.
looking at it, if you say Gullah, they they gonna walk with you. Missionaries encounter many of new people. It's, it's Wale. That's what they want you to say, Wale, but call it Gullah. Peoples of the north Make of the Spanish them. colonial capital of St. Augustine. First, they met the Mokama people, a tribe of the Timakuans. And I'm pretty sure my brother A1 has a picture of what they depict the Timakuans to look like, okay? Um, and if you do some simple research, you can look up that as well. Yes, and thereafter, they encountered the Guau. The Spanish sometimes called the area the lingua de Guau, no, meaning no, it was the place no, where the no, language no, no. of the Guau was spoken. So now we got a Guau that's attached to a people, and we have a specific language that is also attached with these uh, said people, right? It says, which was different from the language of the Timakuans. The coastal territory of the Guau stretched north of the Altamaha River and south of the Ogichi. Now, if any, if y'all can see this map, okay, this is a map. It clearly says right here, the Guau, okay, or the Gale, okay. okay. This is in the same the location the of Gale. the Ogichi River, okay. The Gullah say they come historically from the sea islands of Georgia and South Carolina, the same place as the Guau and and the no, Ogeechee of the Ogeechee no, like River. Go, so let's go in into it. So we going to cover that. That's Guau. That has nothing to do with Africa. The Guau are a Mississippian go cultured lay. people uh, uh, associated with North America, correct? Now, let's go to the Ogeechee, okay? Now, the Ogeechee is the river in Georgia for those who do not know, okay? It is not a river in Africa, okay? It is not the Kisi. Okay, it's not whatever you heard Queen Quet said, uh, and some of that rhetoric she's been perpetuating. Queen Quet even said some people say that it's attached to Ogeechee, is is the Ogeechee River, where their name come from. So, she so, uh, that would have been a good one to prove too. The last two decades, Don't worry about it in my debate, I'm gonna use it. Okay, the Ogeechee has a history, I said, I don't okay? know. it has connections, and it's, it speaks of it right here. So, check this out, gang. It says, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, let me uh, zoom in a little bit so y'all can see it because I know it's a little small. Let's see. So, okay, here we go. So it talks about the Ogeechee River. Let's see if we can get down to the actual history of the name itself. Okay, it says there's a second special Ogeechee, the Indians, okay? Do y'all see that? The special, there's a second special. They're talking about the meaning of the Ogeechee, of Ogeechee. Ogeechee, the Indians, the Muscogean Indians called them the Huchis or the Hogeechee tribe. So once again, we have two separately distinct tribes of people with their own languages and their own cultures, right? That have eerily similar names as the so-called African slaves that ran off the plantation and end up pairing up with these same Indians and fighting off the motherfucking United States government for a hundred and plus years. Now, very ironic, but let's continue. It says the Hogichi tribe, they were the Uchian tribe, which was a part of the Lower Creek Confederacy. Okay. Once again, this is not a primitive tribe that was just in the woods, like banging on rocks. This was a tribe that was a part of a chiefdom just like the Guau, just like the Timakua. All of these were Muscogean people who had a culture, who had a language, who had a connection to these geographical locations. And still to this day, these people still historically reside in these geographical locations. The only difference is somebody decided to come along and make them African, even though I just shown that Ogichi and Gullah history goes back to indigenous American culture. I digress. And let me add to that. Give me like maybe like two or three minutes. Um, sorry, no, no. Who's that speaking? It's A1. It's a All right. Let's go, brother. All right. So to go with what Ab was saying, right? So boom. The Yemisee are also 
the Gaula. The Gaula is the whole entire coast from South Carolina all the way through Florida and all the way through the Mississippi. The whole coast is called the Gaula, right? So like I was saying, the Gaula is where the word Gaula come from, right? But nonetheless, though, let's, let's get into it, right? And the Yamasi are also the Gaula. They're also, they're all Muskegon, right? So this is something right here that a lot, a lot of people have um, questions with, right? So this is the United States government print press, the 15th congressional, I mean, Congress first session, the House of Representatives, document 179, um, year 1901, page 80, I mean, 824, right? All right, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to go into the, the um, parts that's going to identify with what I was talking about as well. All right, so it says, um, all right, I'm going to start right here. All right, it said, this was the first place where the federal troops set the Negroes free, according to what they said, right? It was done on these islands in the neighborhood of Buford. Now, Buford is that island and them islands in that area. We're hey, in South on, Carolina, right? Um, at hey, tell me, hold on, y'all, because I know I went tripping, bro. I just looked at this and look what this say. Why would you pull this, bro? It say he is high authority. Who he says that the Yamasi Indians were Negroes. Uh, what were they known afterwards after the uh, fiercest of the Indian tribes of the South? Then they say the well-known Yamasi Indian were Africans. I don't think this was a good idea to pull this right there. Hopefully they don't see it though, y'all. But if I'm sitting here at the damn screen and I see Ooh, it, yeah. hopefully they ain't Man. see it. Shit, I hope they get out of there alive. <laughs> I don't know why they come down All right, let's, let's continue. Right. So the neighborhood of Buford. Yes, I spotted Nigga, out of all are, the words on the page, nigga, oh my nigga, jump out at you, huh? I, it went Africa jump right out at me, <laughs> and then I went up yeah. and read the source. I mean, yeah, I went and read the paragraph, and I, I, as soon as I looked at it, I don't know why Africa was like that bitch was big and highlighted yellow marker. <laughs> That's what. Now that you say that too, that shit like right there. You see that bitch yeah, that right there, like, man. Yeah. Damn. I hope you get out of there with that one, though, man. I don't see what it's called. They're the predominant race, and the mayor refers to them as a quiet community. A more, most peculiar thing is he the said quarter they fish. Hold on. Why you say that? On the human race assertions, right? Now, listen. This is what you want to say. But we don't we don't entirely agree with none of this shit. But it's just putting somebody say this is in terrible. America somebody say we had them islands here. before Columbus came there. Uh, right? come from Oceania. Now he's saying the fact that Africans, right, lived on these islands long say, we know before the African, discovery, bro. discovery of America they by Christopher Columbus, right? Now, people, nigga, if they was here before they Columbus, how the fuck he know where they from? Why the fuck would they be up? Oh, uh, uh, Rob Bowen a few weeks ago and they fought. You know, we ain't lose a job. They fought. So, nah, that's kind of crazy. Tom How do he know where they from? Africa. Unless he's going, dealing with the eugenics and dealing with the about. out of Africa theory and all of this other stuff, this other madness that was presented around that time. But he is saying that say melanated people okay, of I see color in the check, who bro. look like these people was here before Columbus. To go along with uh, what uh, Ab just said about the Gala, the Gitchi, which people saying, oh, the Gala was okay, slain. Yeah, he's around the, the Bro, get the, off of that. Boy, thanks to a bitch. He got those no, no, 65 and just standing The whole the tribes in them areas would have been Muskogee, whether they would have been Tim O'Connor, as I'm going Hey, one, please go to slide 65 while you talk. Don't just sit on show right now. African, that shit, African shit burning me up. That shit, burning don't even me worry up. about it. Um, on, let me bring on Little Rock. Little Rock, you in the building? Do you have a question for the brothers? Hey, yeah, I'm around and have to jump on. Now. Hold Thank on, you I'm how your brother's doing this evening. Um, doing good. How you doing, brother? I'm all right. I'm peace all right. Yeah. Peace, peace, peace. I, peace been, uh, yeah, I've been looking into this since. Back in the late nineties, man, when I saw this documentary, hey, get over here, and uh, I, uh, 
I just my question is, uh, any time for y'all to start doing some kind of like real uh, uh, somebody need to go to school or something to learn some rigor about doing some archaeology, uh, bringing up some, uh, 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 making a museum or putting this history some concrete stuff because. I see what you see. I saw the statue that um you showed, and uh, I seen that before. Um, I just I just wanted um wanted to stop sounding like it's a belief. Like you want me to believe you, but I, I want y'all to start doing more like like learning how to do archaeology. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all can crowdfund and 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 send two dudes to school or send somebody to South America or somewhere. To learn how, I mean, Dr. Broder doing archaeology in Egypt, you can probably donate some money to him, and hell, he can show y'all how to do do archaeology. What I'm saying is, we need to get some, get to the concrete aspect of this instead of do you believe me or you should believe me, because there's a lot of people on here and 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 across the the uh, 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 YouTube sphere talking about this, but they're not scholars. You know what I'm saying? And they're not giving anything. I can go and see. I can go and pick up. You know, I saw a little stuff that scattered. I need some some real scholarship on this because I know some uh, people. I know down in South America they're doing a lot of um, DNA, a lot of um, uh, bone uh, digging up um, bones and finding these black people who was here before the Native Americans down in South America. Now they say they go back fifty thousand. All right, years. what's your question, my brother? Hold on, hold, on, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. So I understand that y'all 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 have a theory about. Um, uh, us coming from here and spreading out around the world. Um, I haven't seen the evidence of that, but that's what I mean. We we need some some to do, to do some talk type of archaeology because if you don't believe the white man, you don't believe the Indian, the Native American, then, and if you only believe us, then we need to be doing the scholarship so we can prove this. We are the, looking at all this all this evidence from people who ain't been who have hey, brother, no, respectfully shout to you that's a that's a good question and we are doing the archaeology and you brought up two different things you said something about archaeology and then you said yes. they're in south america doing up the bones that's anthropology so we also get into that as well and we show the yeah, yes, yes. so we show the conglomerate of archaeology which is the sources things that human societies would have left behind to prove that they was there these are the things that we get into their cultural practices. So we definitely show that. Now, if you want anthropology, right, which is some of these bones, some of these yeah. DNA, some of the uh, craniology, some of the yeah. uh, well, yeah. we can get into that as well. Yeah. This was just a brief intermission. It was last minute. And so we came to show up with what we showed up with. But we are looking forward to coming on and really doing a heavyweight jam, uh, which this is as well. So. Uh, no, but we most certainly showed uh, overwhelming sources in archaeology today, sir. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, it, it, can I just uh, speak on what you said, too, brother? Uh, peace. How you doing, family? All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Now, I, I, I respect what you just said, but I feel like if, if it's going to be said to us, then it should be said all around the board. Because a lot of guys that come up here on uh, South Nether Platform, they're not real anthropologists. They're not real archaeologists. They're going off the uh, they're going off the studies that's been presented to the public, and then they're going off the information based up on that. Uh, outside of that, even even in the field of archaeology and anthropology, a lot of archaeologists is not even the ones that was working at the site. They're going based off the archaeologists and anthropologists who worked at the site and the, the evidence that they bought for it, and then they critique the evidence that they bought for it. So even it's a lot of scholars that never actually really touch the sites of the places that we're talking about. You know, they go based off who was at the site, uh, what was his credentials, and have he been a credible uh, scholar in his field uh, throughout the time of, uh, of his works. And then they go from there. So I agree with you, but at the same time, you got to pass that all the way around the board, not just with us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, and yeah, I, Hebrews, listen, everybody. Listen, we definitely this brought up. We definitely brought up. Brother, this ain't the first time I said this. This ain't the first time I said. But what I'm saying is that yeah, but the the thing is, I mean, the the truth is out there. We still have to do our own. We still have to come up with our own. We got to. We have to find a way. Now, like I said, you might not want to go to Egypt and 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 dig there, but that's how you learn how to do that. You just need a few people that learn how to do that. 
Hey, bro, we working on that. We already, okay, we yeah. already that's been all, a discussion. Now, I'm just saying it's good you put that out yeah, there. Hold on, that. y'all, because that also, might end up... We also, up have, we also um, study anthropology and archaeology. So hold up, y'all. Give me and a all second. the science. So we, we actually study that, as you said. I know the tribe down here where I'm at, Hildenhead. My sons joined the Cuscos. As a matter of fact, they want to make me an honorary chief. I was trying to get the chief, one of the chiefs, on the channel with y'all. I was unable to reach out to anybody. Um, my Geechee brother there, I'm pretty sure you know about the Cuscos. But uh, my son, in honoring his heritage, he's joined up. He's got his IDs. He's about to become a full-blooded citizen, denying his citizenship here in America. And uh, he got his ID card working on his driver's license. I don't know if y'all know about that, but, you know. Yeah, he uh, signed up with the BIA. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, my brother with the Geechee thing, you're right. But uh, I don't know what you know about Sierra Leone. My ancestors do come from Sierra Leone, mm. of the Timney tribe. And oh. and Sierra Leone right now they are Hebrews and they speak in Gullah presently today. Uh, I, my ancestors are Gullah Geechee. I'm right now in Hilton Head, Bluffton. I'm 30 minutes from Buford, 20 minutes from Savannah, and my family runs from Fairfax, South Carolina, all the way up to Aiken, South Carolina, and Aiken, Georgia. My family is one of the largest family coming out of South Carolina. Okay? And they're all Geechee Gullahs. If I had my relatives on this line right now, y'all wouldn't understand half the words they talk about. I know my wife, used, I used to have to translate for my wife. The fact that she was coming from Philadelphia. She couldn't understand a word they were saying. Not a word. Okay? Charleston, Buford, Fairfax, Allendale, Blackville, Danville, all of that. From the Chickasaw River to the Ogeechee River that you was talking about. I got relatives all down here. You know, they say instead of children, they say chilling. You know, we're going to get all out of here. Right? You yeah, we do that in Mississippi. We are, we do that in Mississippi too, brother. I right, understand what you're right, saying. Right. So that's my father talked. My father yeah. from um, Macon, Cuspic, Georgia, and he right. and he talked. You know, he didn't he didn't switch it up since he didn't been in the city for a while. But that's how he he talked just like that. Well, I'm from my, I'm from D.C. originally. I was born and raised in D.C. I moved back down here because my wife's parents moved down here, and it wasn't a problem for me because I had family there. So let me ask you a question. Yeah. Let me let me ask you a question, right? So outside of like, all right, the people who down there know their culture, would it be fair to say that the other people would also be Aboriginals from that area? They just been classified as um African American. Right. Well, the Cusco believes they always been here. No, I'm just saying. But I, I'm just saying. I I understand right. that. Right. But according to According to their status before they had to change it, they was once classified as African American, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. We, we right. regardless of our back, we are all classified because of the way the system is. The brother brought out a main thing when he was talking about the Africa out of but see, that's the European movement. 
because they want to separate. They, they want to separate themselves from out of Africa. Well, like, I think I need to go there and like wide up. You feel me? Right. So, like, this is this not what I believe. This is what, you know, they are saying. Hold up, y'all. Honestly, hold up, y'all. they put too many narratives on things to make you just definitely automatically man, trust what they saying. You, really you got to critique it, you know? Right. And the original Highlanders of Wisconsin, the Jacobites, we they were the Negroes. So yeah. were their original. That North Africans, right, with which North Africa probably got out of all of Africa besides Egypt, probably right, the right, highest right. science and the most architecture and all of the science was in that one area, right? But what I'm saying is they want you to think that people left from there and went and invaded in um, 700, whatever, and it was white people. What? No white people. <laughs> yeah, I went for that. Yeah, yeah, breaking up. Europeans are not, here, not indigenous to Europe. I'm sorry, can you hear right. me now? Yeah, hey, yeah, right. don't leave. Yeah, that was I, I said, I said, now. Keep the chat right. Europe don't go over there. We over there. Kids are not, not indigenous to Europe. We don't need to go over there, goddamn. When we they show you here. all of the more has been in Europe. We're good right now. Right. True. Before so, them. You know, we I got mean, the whole house down. I mean, yeah. but before they ain't come from nowhere. They they came when you see the, who do you see in the hair rooms? Ancient warrior say, "What you doing? I'm about to turn it when, up." When they show you the hair rooms, who who was in the hair rooms? Ancient uh, uh warriors. You, I'm about to turn it up because I don't. I, and, I, when I, they show you any I'm, of the I'm some firepower. No, 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 no. I'm gonna respect these brothers. About the Moises, you know, and I'm gonna let them know. Who are the women? Who are the women, who are the women in the hair rooms? They're not. Wait, negro, I'm right? I'm finna crank. I'm finna start some shit. No, that's what they show. Yeah, they white people. They south, bro. They south. Okay, so so you put. One and two, put two and two together, but you can't put two and two together according to their history. They then went back and recreated all history. And people, I hear people reciting this shit all the time, or going from oh, it's seventeen hundred AD. This is how how do you know? Yeah. Europeans wasn't even here, so how they gonna go back and refabricate all the history and put it according to them? Oh, they the Romans. They was in none of these people. The Romans yeah. have always been Negro. Up All right. Now. Right. Wood World, um, let, me this, uh, let me say this. Wood World knowledge. Uh, I found out about the too many people when I was a child. When I was a kid. Okay. It has nothing to do with no DNA kit. I've been hearing about the too many people since I was six, seven years old. All right, Apostle. Um, yeah. I have a question for you, of course, now. So are you claiming um to be an aboriginal? Aborigine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aborigine ancestor side, you know that. I, right. I know, I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. Are you claiming that too? Would you say you are right? Listen, listen to me, brother. So you can answer the question. Are you saying you are also aborigine? I have aborigine ancestors. Yeah. I know that's not the question I asked you, brother. I'm an Hebrew Israelite, sir. I have okay. Aborigine ancestor. My mother's mother was a full blood Cherokee who had to register in 1884 as one of the five civilized tribes. So, can you, you be Aboriginal then? Say what? If your yes. mother was that, why you not? My mother's, my mother's mother was a full blooded 
Right. So what are you? That's my mother's grandmother. Okay. And that's mm -hmm. my mother's father was a third generation Timmy from Sierra Leone. African. Pure mm -hmm. African blood. So my why do you have a problem father. being African, brother? I don't have a problem oh, being African. Man, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're getting somewhere. This is good. This is good. I'm not getting on the apostle. I'm now getting him to open up. So are you an African apostle? Sabi, I have you? African ancestry according to Sabi, DNA. Working, man. Why are you going yeah. to answer my question? So I mean, yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you ask me, man, you you can, brother. I'm starting to love you more and more every day, Apostle. You coming around, bro? My separation is I'm not a Hamite. Hey, so hey, look, can I help your mind yeah. a little bit? Oh, uh, shout nice. out to your Apostle this time, cat. Let me well, uh, we got the legendary top cat in the building, y'all. Oh, What's up, What's up, man? 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 What's uh, uh, shout out to A1. Uh, Papa, I want to help you out on this. Cause Salute to the guy, man. Hey, go ahead and help me out, Top Cat. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> you had American, you had full blooded Cherokee on your mother's side. Now, yeah. on your father's side, you had Timney. Now, I know some people would on my mother's father's side. Okay, so some people would ask, where do your Hebrew bloodline come from? Is uh -oh. it a religion? Is it a spiritual system that you converted to? Or do you connect with it through bloodline? I connect with it through my father, through bloodline. And what and what is that bloodline? Safari, take his, his ancestry is Sephardi. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's what I came to help you out. So I think you need to put that in the story too and let them know where did these Sephardi people come from? Portugal. Okay, talk to them, goddamn. Now I uh now now sitting up. So Black we Portugal people. We have to stand on bloodline. Okay. Black Hebrew. I think we, Black Hebrew Dodgers. Jewish Portugal people. Okay, so that yeah, you got to put that in your story too. Yeah, it's in my story, bro. We just I was just just talking about my mother at this particular time. That's why I go by. Before anything, I am a Hebrew Israelite because but, I hey. am my father's son. Hey, let me uh let me build on, on something that you just said real quick. And uh, Top, Cat kind of, Top Cat kind of hit on it, right? Uh, and that's why I was finna go to it because I keep hearing you saying this Sierra Leone. And that's when I beg the question is, did your bloodline go to Sierra Leone or did it come from it? Because at the end of the day, we know how Sierra Leone was created by the yeah. British with a bunch of melanated people, not only from the Americas, but also about a Europe. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was like a hundred thousand of them on the first initial move into Sierra Leone that came from the Carib the Caribbean islands, Central South America, North America, Canada, and also different parts of Europe as well that British had control. Right, right. they was they were sent over during the American colonization society. You see, what I, have, I, have a, I, have a, I have a question for the Aboriginals. I have a, I have a question. Um, I just wanted to know from I just wanted to know. Um, well, put no base in your uh, the ab the black aboriginals and uh the Africans, I want to know, are we related or are we separate? And I also want to know <clears throat> if we're not related, so if we are related, who came first? Was it you was it y'all or was it the Africans? I know everybody and wants some of this. So let me, let me uh, no, I'm trying you. to let y'all get on, it first, bro. Let me get on that first. Yeah, I definitely want some of that, boy. Hey, hey, nice. I'm, I'm going to just start it off. I'm going to just start it off. Yeah, we're going to line it up. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. 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 Yeah, you want go ahead. The first question answered, or you got a follow up? You got a double loaded. You got a loaded. No, no, no. no you, you could, no, you could go. You could go. Um, you can answer the first question and the second question. Okay, well, I mean, I right. have a few more after. All right, well, as far as America, America is the first land out of the water. America's people populated the earth. Now, I know that's something in reversal to what you've been told, now, hey, man, but that's the facts, and that, like, th on. there's too much information the that's pointing yeah, towards that. Yeah, See, uh, most people don't, do they don't focus on America. They focus on everywhere else. 
to where the, the information of the Americas is left up to us to do the research, which we have done already. So I wouldn't be saying no crazy. I wouldn't be saying nothing crazy like that. I got two college degrees. So I know all scholar research. I know all that stuff. When okay. I run a when I run across information saying America is, is the old world, not the new world, mm -hmm. not the new world, it's the old world. All of the ancient sciences was in the Americas. All of the ancient sciences. Right. Matter of fact, almost all do, the food is in you, Africa. Do you have any? Do you have any? Do you have? Do you have, in do you have do you have any um hey brother you won't have, you let some of us uh answer that question too real quick before you get to that if you don't mind uh, oh yeah hold on, hold on yeah do you do you also uh, like based off of what you said do you have any references to back but you said where well, i can go and you know what i'm saying like to go and research this information so i can verify for myself i mean the sources is eclectic but um what i will tell you what i will tell you is this right when you research in the americas you find like we like you find all of the ancient structures, the same structures you see over there in North Africa, you find in America, the same structure you see in Rome, all of the Greco Roman structures. That's that's because the shit started here and went over there. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why you see it in North Africa. That's the reason why you see it in North Africa and you see it in the Mediterranean because we left from here and went over hey, there. Hey, y'all can hear it. Like, show me something in the chat. Let me know y'all can hear the conversation. Yeah, as a matter of fact, when you get into some of the archaeology, <laughs> you'll figure out that, that some of the experts makes the yeah, claim I, that I, uh, I, American I, Aborigines was the first metal urgerers in the world, the first people to practice metal urgery. So we are related to right. what you're saying, but based off of based off of because you said that how America is older uh is older than everywhere else. So are you saying that we are, are you guys like the main the origin of every person who was melanated? Like did 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 is it would it be the out of America theory or like what like like what like I don't um like what are you trying to like did everything start in America? And then you got we like we spread it out, no, and then there was like no, genetical no, drifting. Now, according to Unc, he says straight nose and straight hair is is is, is a custom to Africa, according to Unc from the Amara Squad. So you can take that for however you want to take that. Well, what do first land out of the water mean? First land hey, out of the water. The first land that the ocean ran across the shores here in America. In America, so they, you know, when you do when you do real research and you get outside, see, they got people compartmentalized into thinking that research is just based off of what these. And then listen, listen, some of the sources we got is European sources too. But guess what? They oppose of the original narrative of what we've been taught that we that we that we say is absolute, but kind of find out it's not absolute. Hey, can I get in on this real quick on this question? I'm gonna be quick with it. Um, no, I don't like know. playing which came first, yeah, chicken or the egg. You feel me? Everywhere we go around the world, we see melanated people, bro. So, just on my observation, I feel like it was like in every uh, in, in every place on earth where they might be related for being the aboriginals of each land, I'm like the aboriginals of Africa, I'm aboriginals looking at him of here, Europe, right? aboriginals <laughs> of Asia, <laughs> aboriginals of America, aboriginals of certain islands, Australia, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So no matter where they go, the farther they dig, the more all they find in is our, you know, melanated people around the world, no matter where is that. So right now we're having an issue because we got these modern concepts uh, who belong to certain landmass because of these modern understandings and people trying to put themselves in, in parts of history that they don't belong at. These people are created off mutations. Mutations come from original people. That's why no matter where you go, no matter if it be niggas, in, I'm, excuse my life, us in America or peoples in Africa or the South Pacific Islands, Australia, etc., there are certain mutations that we carry that all of us carry. Right. But so, then depending on what geographic location that there are certain mutations only we carry from that geographic location. So I don't play which one came first. Now we talking about civilization. Well, what's the oldest form of certain aspects of civilization? That's the people that is getting credit with certain things. So that's something you got to take up with them. 
You feel so, me? so are the Africans and the Aboriginals, are they related? Are they related to each other or are they different races? Are they two separate races? Africans are Aboriginal too. So that's what we're saying. So, 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 so Africans <laughs> and Aboriginals are the same people. The Aboriginal mean first on this land, or African. No, we're more, we're more closely related than any other people. But then amongst us, we are more closely related than them. And just like uh, amongst them, they are more closely related than us. But when we start talking about uh, population groups as a whole, all melanated people are more closely related than any other people that is not melanated. But then when you get on a certain geographic locations or where they're located at, they're going to be more closely related to the melanated people on the landmass they at than on another landmass. Okay, so you, another you question. That drill? Yeah, so another hey, question. Hold on, 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 real quick, real, before I forget, before I forget, before I forget, hold on. So so you say that how we are, um, we are related, right? Um, no, we're not related. Look at no, the, I'm, I'm, I'm that's I'm, exactly I'm, what we're saying. We're not related. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 I was waiting okay. for somebody to say that. I was going. I wanted to go. Go ahead, Top okay. okay. What we're saying is, okay. there are indigenous people to all over the earth, and they're not the same. Everybody. That's what makes all of us special. That's what we don't share the same culture. We don't share none of that type of things, right? So, culture is the practice of the people. We don't, you know, we don't eat the same. We don't dress the same. We all have, that's what makes it beautiful. Everybody don't have to be uh, the same. Now, Pan-Africans came later and created this, this creation of all black melanated people together. But if you ever lived outside of the country of America, then you would know that all black people are the same. Another point would be is the way that your edge up is in the back of your head right now lets me know that you are from Europe. You're a black European. You're not. <laughs> that ought to let you know that we're not the same. And, and I see the panel, uh, y'all in the chat, I bet you won't come on the panel. Say, man, what a smoke it, man. We come up here, man. You know, it's out. Yeah, so, God damn, we over. We don't know when the next time we're gonna. So go. you say, so you, so, not the chat. What a smoke. So you oh, like, I so you say, so that, that, that he put in that comment. Oh, so, yeah, you so, know, so, I gave you up. crazy work already. I gave you crazy work. So yeah, yeah, so you, you know, know, so already got that. Hello. Right. A few people have, man. That's yeah, so so you so, so y'all say that how we so we're not related to each other at all. Brother, look no. at you and look at us. We don't look like you. <laughs> Take your tongue. <laughs> Take your tongue and roll it around the bottom of your gun. <laughs> you feel any spurs, man? Do you got any bone spurs in your mouth? Bones, brother. Are your lear earlobes loose or are they connected? Look at your earlobes. I'm looking at my earlobes. Yeah, 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 I can't see them. Hey, you know where you from? Are your earlobes? But what, what, where you from? Personal tax. Come on, man. Show me your earlobes. Yo, yo, one one mic, y'all. Marley, where you from? Everybody. I'm from Brooklyn. I met you before, <laughs> Sonetta. I seen you before. I met you before. Oh I yeah, you I, met you, I met you. I met you several times. Damn, okay. You don't want to yeah. own hey, hold up, man, bro. You know, they from Brooklyn. Where you from originally? Where where you where your people yeah. from? Uh, no, yeah. Yeah, your 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 people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where where your people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a foreign base. Migrated. European edge of hairline. Yeah, don't disown my, your country, bro. Stand trail, bro. Stand <laughs> trail. Yo, 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 one at a time, one at a time, brother. One at a time. What's your nationality, brother? I'm from Brooklyn. I said, what's your nationality? I'm American. African American? Yeah, I'm African American. Okay. What's your last name? Generation? What's your last name? My last name is Farrell. Is what? Farrell, Farrell, Farrell. You from Egypt? No, not Pharaoh, like Pharaoh, like a Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh. No problem. Did your people now migrate to Brooklyn? Like, are y'all from the islands, or did y'all come here from somewhere? Any migration nah, story? They from Mississippi. They from Mississippi. Okay. Yeah. Um. Did, uh, so, do you have an Indian grandma? No. You're, and you from Mississippi? Yeah. Do you have any African ancestry? Uh, I would assume so. I mean, I'm, I'm, brother, if you could assume so. Yeah, according to my DNA, I'm African. Okay, now according to your mother and father, what are you? I'm American. 
Okay, no further questions, brother. You don't, you know, do you know how to pick cotton? This <laughs> hey, do you know how to pick cotton, brother Marlon? No, I'm not a slave. Okay, oh if you don't, if you don't what? know who you are, people that don't know who they are, I make them pick cotton. He okay. thinks slave was a of the slave. <laughs> yeah, he, he, yeah. Yo, legendary Tom K. <laughs> Yo, man, this is our brother, legendary. This is our brother. He's what y'all call African American today, bro. What y'all doing? Yeah, uh, nah, that brother. Uh, I, I, I see how you make that feeling, bro. But on the real though, I feel like this here uh, family is 2023, and I feel like uh, you should sit down and, and get with your family and go through your genealogy, brother, to figure out more of your story. Uh, Ask some of your older relatives. Because to be a adult. Especially in this day age right now, you listening to sites like um, Sinetta and looking for consciousness, you should be conscious about you and your story. No man should be able to walk up to you and ask you who you are and you can't give him a proper answer. And so, yeah, man, I hope you take that from this. You mean I didn't give you the answer that you wanted to hear? <laughs> no, sir, brother. DNA tests can't help you, family. That's well, I can't. Okay. So you can't. So, so you mean to tell me? So you mean, hold on, hold on. You mean to tell me that how. When you go to court in a courtroom yes, in a courthouse, yeah, and you use court. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll let you talk. 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 Yes, hold on, I'll let you talk. So you mean to tell me when you go to court and you take a paternal test and a DNA and the judge says you the father, you're gonna tell the judge, nah, I'm not the father. Well, so you're gonna tell the judge when you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get I will let you talk. Hold on, hold on. When you go when if you commit a crime and your DNA is found at the crime scene, okay. right? You you're gonna tell it. You're gonna tell it. Yeah, hold on. Let me finish. It. Let me finish, bro. Let me. I let you talk. I let you talk. I let you talk. I let you talk. But you asking questions. I let you talk, bro. I, I humbly, I respectfully let you talk. I respectfully let you talk, bro. We're not, we're not even in, in each other's face in real life. Let me talk. All right. So. You gonna tell the judge that nah, that wasn't true. That's not your DNA. That that's a lie. That's fake. That's what you gonna say? Bro, you gotta okay, no you, sir, man. brother. Wait, I would not say that. Now, in, that's you gonna say? No you sir, brother. Act. In a situation yeah. like that, if they if the cops find your DNA, they and I'm alive, then they can attach it back to me because I'm alive. When you're doing DNA, you have to have a host. Okay, you have to have something that you're testing. So I'll prove this to you right now, brother. Do you know what tribe you're from in Africa? No, nah, I don't know what tribe okay, I'm from. So did you take the DNA test? Yes, I did take a DNA okay, test. So that's why I'm saying the DNA test can't help you, brother. So if a man walk up to you, never in life should a man be able to ask you who you are and you can't even tell him. Even this DNA test can't help you, brother, because you don't even know what tribe you are. You are disattached to your roots, brother, and you are... You're gonna make a good slave, I'm gonna Yeah, but that's yeah, but that's yeah, but yeah, but that's yeah, but that's not that's not what I that's not what I asked you. That's not what I asked you. That's not what I asked you. I didn't ask you all of that. You telling me something? You telling me something? You telling me something that's totally irrelevant? I didn't ask you all of that. I just asked you to answer a simple question. I know that we good. We good with him, bro. You did. Move on to the next. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Let me share my screen real quick. Let me show the brother something real quick. You did. Let me, let me show him something. You got an accent too, bro. We can I can hear it all in your voice, bro. You don't have no bro. Problem. I'm not even talking huh. to you right now. I'm not talking to you right now. I'm not talking to you right now. I'm not talking to you right now, bro. I'm not even talking to you right now, bro. Yo, Marley, I'm not even talking to you. Just just hold you stay to yourself, bro. I'm not even talking to you. Hey, Sai, we yeah. go, man. We, hey, we don't want to move. Yeah, stay right. good with your hey, side. We don't want to hey, move. All right, Marley. Hey, bro, he can't All right, Marley, move. we got to move on. Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, Marley. Yeah, Thank you, brother. Share my screen real quick, Sarnetta. For all my geneticists, people who say get a it DNA hurts. test, share my screen for two seconds. It hurts. It's cool who's that? Me. It's Aboriginal TV, Geechee. Share my screen real quick. There you go. Thank you, sir. All right. It says genetics of race and ancestry. And Jason, just in case this comes from a uh, race does not equal DNA. This was written. Um, I'll drop the source for y'all in the chat if y'all would like to see it. But I want to just go ahead and make this quick. It says genetics of race and ancestry. We've determined that biological races in the human species do not exist. They cannot be determined hey, yeah, by either on, physical right or genetic measures, okay? So every time y'all keep saying the DNAs tell y'all that y'all is a, a ethnicity or a race, you're not being scientific. 
You're being pseudo and you're practicing a religion of genetics. You niggas traded Jesus for DNA. Okay. Well, hold on, y'all. Hey, y'all, hold up one second. I want to pull a power point up. Right, boy, you better get your. Damn, I don't know who my mom. can't trace your ancestry using DNA. Okay, so you're asking me for something that I didn't show. Okay, once again, I showed that this person Hold up, man. Let me get it up. I might have to use it. Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. That was presented, right? Go and do your research about the source. Okay, and then all right. Find all calm the down, calm down, brother. Calm down, because I know, I know your heart is racing. Calm down. Yeah. All right, now let me. Cool. Now, based on what you showed, I didn't see a doctor. I didn't see a PhD. I didn't see anything but somebody that said you cannot use DNA to track race. Now we're talking about ancestry. We're not talking about somebody creating a word race. We talking about to show if you're from America or are you from Africa? See, y'all like to play these word games. Well, right. I'm talking about race. We're talking about your ancestry. Do you come from America or do you come from Africa? And if you have I markers know. that, they're hold on, friends. brother, let me finish. And if you have markers that show they you come from Africa, <laughs> you wasn't already here, brother. Throw that away. Share my screen, so I know better. So, so what do what dumb. do ancestry? What's the definition of ancestry? So he can stop. So he so he can stop talking over himself and looking dumb. Share my screen, Sinetta. 
Share my screen, Sinetta, so you can get YK the fuck out of here. Now, watch this. I got him. You just body just know. You just body just know. Share the screen, Yo, yo, one at a time. I got the screen sharing, brother. Hey, real quick, Sinetta. Yeah, one mic. Okay, now this says Joseph L. Graves. And yeah, he comes on our channel. He's a beginner. We don't know him. Hello, Mike Check. One at a time, y'all. It's one mic. Joseph L. Graves. Joseph L. Graves is an American evolutionary bio biologist, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Oh no! Account. Hold on! Wait! 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 Hold on, brother. Because the... wait, you're not going. Get... Hold bro. on, yo, stop, stop. Hold on. Stop Check this out. Me, bro. Damn, hold on, bro. You hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. One mic, y'all. One mic. Hold on. Everybody, hold up for a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Everybody, hold on for a minute. Yeah, why? Top Cat just said. Where are the shooters at? I want the smoke. We want the smoke. So now the shooters are coming in. Y'all got to allow them to talk. Yeah, they running. Oh, running. Y'all got to allow the shooters to come in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So, no si, 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 si. hold on. He's a geneticist of what? Because just because you saw a biologist, is he a population geneticist? It's biologist. So if I had a lawsuit, right, I'm going to go get any lawyer just because he's a lawyer, right? No, I'm going to go get a lawyer that's qualified in the lawsuit. So just because you showed me a biologist or a geneticist, in what? It's, that's very broad. Hold on. So now oh, go I back. Oh, hold on, bro. Why, hold on. Let me finish. Is, yeah, Rick Kittles, is Rick Kittles an American evolutionary biologist, bro? Rick Kittles is a population geneticist. He deals with ancestry. Okay, so, oh, hold, hold on, on hold bro. On, sir. Don't let me, let on, me finish. Do you know Calm how, down, bro. Hold on. Do you know how you become a geneticist, bro? Do you know how you, you have to go through the goddamn field of biology. You know that, right? Yo, Shaq, can I, oh, Sock, let me share my screen real quick. Cause I'm not gonna let these dudes run from the smoke tonight. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's it's getting good. It's getting good. It's getting good. That's what I'm talking about. Sinetta, he's a three-time loser. We really don't want to ask no yeah, questions. He just lost no. three the base in the All right. Hey, YK, YK, they don't want to answer no questions from you, brother. This is they show tonight. So I got to honor that because I did tell him that. So, brother, Rob, two. Look, Rob, two. Get rid of yeah. Rob now. Y'all don't want Rob one? Nah, yo, yo, no, yo, Rob, 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 Hold on, I'm gonna get out of here. But yo, check out those debates. Them dudes caught a body, bro. Don't let okay. them hey, come over here and run. You see, they run. Yeah. But it's all there. All right, no, we, we, we really hey, not hey, running. We really hey, not running. Hey, hold on, hold on, my Aboriginal brothers. We don't do this, bro. Y'all got the. I mean, when people <laughs> come in, this is why. Let me do this real quick. Let me do this, man. This is why we say the HOK is the toughest environment to be in. Because when you teach, yeah, like you gotta that. now stand on what you teach, man. Y'all can't run from it. You gotta hey, stop. Bring it back up. You gotta allow people to to question it, and you gotta be able to answer it. That's it. Hey, the stop, man, man, man. it. Hey, hey, hold on, hold up, hold up. The Hebrews been doing it all for years, standing on their ground. They don't run from it. They stand on it. You know. So, I mean, y'all doing very good. Y'all got to stand on it now. Hey, so, I, I, hold on, hold on, A1. Let me just take this real quick. Can you share my screen? Oh, oh, yeah. Let, let, me, let me get this out real quick, bro. Go ahead, Cause, brother. Because now I wish you, you wouldn't ever booted him because now he cherry picked. No, I never he, booted him. No, no, he, uh, he left. Oh, uh, okay. Well, let me just state this for the record, right? Because uh, he asked. What Go ahead, brother. You stop. You, you still talking? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah. bad, my bad. So he said a biologist and a geneticist is not the same. But a geneticist is a biologist. Like, come on, bro. Like, like what everybody, are we doing hey, truth. Everybody <laughs> like, knows this. No, 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 no. Hold on, 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 is a geneticist is a person that study biology. A geneticist and a biologist is the same thing. They got different fields of biology, but it's still studying organisms and the genetics of the organism, bro. So you got to know genetics in order to be a biologist, bro. Like real talk. My man was up here just saying a bunch of nothing. You feel me? That's what up, I told Rob Noxus, I see you. I see you, Rob Noxus. All right, let me go to... um. Let me just say something, sir. 
No, no, hold on. You spoke already. I'm gonna come back to I just want a question. I want to get no, 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 because it's gonna turn into something else. I'm gonna come back to you. I gotta get Rob on. He at work, he ain't gonna be long. Rob on just wanna come in for a minute. Rob on. Yo, 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 yo. All right, what's up, man? Yo, 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 yo. Shout out to the people, shout out to the listeners, man. I'm sorry y'all gotta listen to this, bro. I'm sorry. (laughs) <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm sorry, man. If I wasn't in school, man, I would have been able. I would have been. I don't got the time for this. Like but, uh, yeah, this nigga I, I ain't never met nobody with more excuses than this nigga. Yeah, there you go. Um, shout out to Apple. <laughs> this is who I want to give a shout out. To. I don't agree with none of his information. That man stepped up to the plate. He Big stepped up to the plate. The there nose. was no running. There was no. We got to do this. The business was taken care of. So as of now, I'm. Saying you the king of the Aboriginal, the Aboriginal power. This guy here, you ain't got no uh, say so. Bottom, nigga. Hold, on, yo, hold, yo, on, yo, hold on, hold on, legend. Oh, you gotta let him speak, brother. Control yourself. Let him speak, man. brother. Let him control speak. Control yourself, young man. Control <laughs> yourself. You had we had a date set for April 29th. You want to price yourself out and call yourself the A side. You don't got no videos with over here with over a hundred thousand views. What do you mean? I don't my channel Hold on, legendary. You gotta let him speak. You gotta let him speak. My channel, my channel is sound crazy, bro. Or you could have did all of this during the but anyway, man. Shout out to the people. Um, for the people that I just got a two questions. What is your overall goal? And who is the what is your overall goal and who is your enemy? Any one of y'all can answer. Any one of y'all can take that. What is y'all overall goal, and who is the primary enemy of this stuff you talk? About? Okay. Um. I mean, I guess it's everybody quiet. I'll speak. Uh. The overall goal is is basically to get people to know who they really are, and don't let your enemy tell you who you are. Now, I'm not calling you no enemy, bro. I'm talking about the scientific field that is pushing these racial social constructs of modern times, trying to simplify a a diverse people, bro. Like the world is full of diverse people and it's not as simplistic as they're trying to overstate it. And then on top of that, get our people back into understanding who they truly are. So we can hold these people accountable for all the shit that they stole from us. And it's the same shit we want for the Africans too, bro. We want them to take care of their shit at home too. All right, so two seekers. Since you, you, I don't know what's this searching, race thing. Searching, oh, bro. I know who you are. Come on, bro. Said truth. You don't want me to call you truth? No, nah, it's good. I'm just fucking with you, bro. You good? So, so, so try, so, try not to befriend the young. So now dealing with that, right? When you're dealing with this whole science of what y'all talking about, every year they put out all scientists put that say race is a social construct. It doesn't have anything to do with biology because ninety nine point. Nine percent of all humans are the same, and what makes them different is the mutations that is on Pacific chromosome. They don't use race. They don't use that to do that. Now, as a social construct, we know it exists, right? You see, black, white, it's there. But I don't know that. But if that's your goal, right? And you said the enemy to know to go against this, right? What since since the past decade, y'all been singing this stuff? Y'all been saying the slave trade didn't happen or it didn't happen the way it was. Where are the organizations that you guys have to fight this enemy of yours? If the if the real if the Native Americans that are around are the fake people, where's your organization fighting them? No. You know why I'm asking you this? Because uh, that nigga talking like he got are you familiar with the 1776 project? He talking like he have a- Yes, I am, brother. All right, so with that being said, all of like the United States of America, you have Europeans that are saying that Black American history shouldn't be taught in school, Native American history shouldn't be taught in, taught in school, and women's suffrage shouldn't be taught in school. They are on a campaign every single day. You can put CRT in there, and they're attacking this. They don't want people to know just what Black people did in America and how they had to struggle to fight to get to with it, where they at. And it appears to me that this is all you guys do. Every video I see is Pan-African, fuck the Africans, you ain't that. We always been here. But when we look at our people who called ourselves this, I'll just name one group, the Black Panthers. These are the number one enemy of the United States of goddamn America. Every person who came yeah, under this band, who came under that, that specifically wanted to fight for the people, we can see what they, they were enemies. 
They were right. enemies to the person that we saying the enemy. So, where's your organization at? Man, right, just because they got black Hold on, hold on. Let me, hold on. Let me say one thing. True. My let bad, say hey, one I'm thing. sorry, bro. My Look, bad. just because it's say, just because they've been classified as black, don't mean that they ain't aboriginals. So all these organizations, see, you going by just because they saying they black that they're not aboriginals. I know, because I never said we, that, brother. Okay, okay that. so you you saying where's our organizations at, right? That's not, not, brother. Listen to what I said. The people who go with the historical narrative, they not somebody didn't tell them that. They talk about the slave trade. They tell you who the people are, and they tell you what their goal is, and they're fighting specifically. What was that? Day, what was that year you just brought up? Tell me that. What, what, what Seventeen seventy six project. Never, project. And what hold on and what what state was that in? That's in every state. They just did it now in Florida. The brother African on, American AC So you're saying in seventeen in seventeen what? Brother, if you're not he said seventeen seventy six. Seventy six project. Okay. So, I said oh, yeah, that's recent. That's modern time. That, that I'm okay. talking about what's going on right now, Correct. bro. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, but, but when you I listen to statement that took us back oh, to eighteen thirty though, brother. When you oh, like the Negro brother. Convention. Well, well, they all. I never talked about the Negro brother, you just said I that never, people were saying where never, it was from. The, the I story. never said, yo, brother. Because you know you can't say that why I'm up here. Yo, yeah, I can't say yeah, that. Yeah, you can't I say can, that why I'm up hold, here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. So now we get, so hold on, bro. Number one, I never brought up the convention. I said, I'm going to Yo, up I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring it up right now because you don't read. You are, you are, you, yo, listen. I said, I'm going to give you an organization, the Black Panther Party. So that's what I said. These people got newspapers that say we celebrating African Day, Ooh. and we got organizations Boy, yo, that were the enemy of that the United States government said they're the number one enemy in America. You guys are doing the same thing that the European is doing now. We don't hey, want to tell you that. Hold on, hold on, but yo, you said that. Bro, yo, let you me, said, hold on, I need you to finish. That, yo, truth, hold on, hold on, I'm, I'm gonna be quick, bro. You said yo, that sorry, they are. I don't want to come on here, right. bro. Like this well, is bye, crazy, nigga, bro. Bye. No, no, I, I'm gonna give you that work right now, though. I got a question nah, for you, bro. On, I got a question. I got a, listen, listen, I got I a question for you on what you're saying. Yo, yo, I got a big fight. Yo, with can, we, can, can, can we do it? You can have a fight with yeah. him. I don't care what you hey, know. Hey, look, but Rob, yo, you saying that they are being. Can we get one? Can we get one, Mike? Can we get one? Hey, but can you know what I'm saying? No, I'm out of here. Stop that. Hey, Rob, boy, stay up here, bro. Nah, stay up here, bro. Nah, I don't got time to deal with this. All right, all right, let me go. Let Rob Bond park his car. He got he got let him park his car. Go ahead, Rob Bond. So you talked about the, the, the Negro color conventions. Who founded that? Uh, Richard Allen. This happened in uh, Mother Bethel in Philadelphia, Richard Allen. And they oh, brought all okay. that's where they started the first convention, then it started to spread out. But hold on. Yeah, pastor. Mm -hmm. Pastor. Uh -huh. Hold on. Right hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. All of that. Colonize. Uh, call him. Yeah, you got to prove that. Uh, anyway, back to this. <laughs> Hezekiah Grice is the person who brought the idea for, but you don't know about. It don't matter. Now, the it Negro don't matter. Color, it was held in no, the that, church. No, bro, no, it wasn't held in this church. What are you talking Mother about? Built 1830. Hey, yo, hey, yo, man, yo, hey, yo, yo, hold up. Listen, if y'all stop cutting them off, he would have been finished and gone by now. This is crazy, bro. So anybody can look up the Negro color conventions for yourself. No, it did not start in no goddamn church. So when you look at the people, those first five conventions, top cats, what was they about and what did they do for black? Why did that even start? Brother, this started, they wanted to take people, try to convince people to go over to Africa. And, no, and that's what the people okay, go ahead. was. No, hell no. And uh, James Ford even wrote back and said, uh, when they asked those people in the church to go to Africa, you can hear rat piss on cotton. Shot I right. know you like that. Shot to uh, uh, Dr. Uh, All right. No, <laughs> how many times did I have to read this letter, which this dude doesn't have? How many times did I did that? When you read the letter, well, how many James people Ford, went back? Yo, bro, yo, yo, bro, first we're going to get How many right people letter. went back? Yo, bro, you got to get You got to let me. No, you're going to let me talk. Because the first five conventions of 1831 is talking about migrating to Canada, not Africa. And they started the organization because a, a race riot happened in Ohio and they kicked those black people out. And that's why they came together and began to build organizations to protect those black people. When they went to Canada, they did begin to, to, to try to build a college and buy land to get black people to go there. 
You don't win. What if they just, you, okay, okay. If no, I'm win, not done. Did. Hold on, man. Wait a minute. Hold on. Well, here you we told a, hold on, bro. You told a lie. And I can put nah, that ain't no lie. Nigga, that ain't no lie. Hey, yo, bro. Put a source up right now that those first five conventions that said they was talking about going to Africa. All right, listen. It don't matter. Put it in. I don't want to talk. No, 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 no. Source up or shut up. No, source up. Yeah, we're gonna be hey, fair. Source, source up, up or yeah, shut up. We gonna be fair. Source, source up or shut up. Well, we gonna the be fair. All right, all right. We gotta, right. Well, we gotta move on. on. We gotta move on, Rob Bourne. Hey, on, don't let Rob Bourne leave. Hold on, because I got Come a source on, for Rob Bourne. How about Come you on, speak man. about? Hold, hold on. How about you speak about the importance of Cornell University and its funding of African and African American studies, and they was actually getting their funded back by the CIA? Won't you speak on that? I don't. How about the CIA? How about? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Won't hold you on. speak on that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. First and foremost, African American studies starts in 1832. It starts in the Philadelphia Colored Library, the library that they created upon themselves. Who the then you have, Yes, the, the Black I Yes, the Black Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, yo, hold on, hold on. Yo, 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 don't let me go. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I right? respect your honor. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this. Those Freemasons, <laughs> those black Freemasons called themselves Africans. They helped on the Underground Railroad. You have my favorite person, which is Lewis Hayden, who ran in the courtroom and beat up two white people to free black people. They're that running around. And let me, let me, wait, let me hold on, ask. hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Because you want to talk about black Freemasons and these people. These are the people <laughs> on the Underground Railroad. These are the people who are calling themselves African descent. These are the people who are building organizations. So where is the African country? Yo, let me. Let me put that African culture is all around them. What are you talking about? Where is so why was the AME culture? church Christians? Why did they no, have white Jesus in the AME church and they got an African hey, hey, on the damn hey, church? Hey, hey, the name of it is called African. And the person who founded it, when they said it, what did they call themselves? It says me, Absalom Jones, and Richard Allen, two men of and none the of African, them was African race. They said they asked well, none of those Africans. <laughs> yeah. So prove okay, it. look. So if you're gonna make that Go point, on, brother, man. If you're gonna make oh, that oh, point man. about that, it yo, has when you going on first, it. Hold on, hold on. Bro, so answer when you me this here. Up, bro. When you gonna source up, bro. When you gonna source up. I'm not answering nothing All right, else. All right, that's can you say. He's not gonna source up, man. You know I'm not gonna do that. Hey, hey, hey. If I get a job, I will do that, man. I'm out of here. Don't leave. Don't leave. Because I'm in here. Don't leave. All right, don't leave. That's it. Rob Boy, don't leave. Hold on, Rob Boy. Hold on, hold on. This is my close out. This is my close out. Yo, can you mute? Can you Yo, Rob Boy, don't leave, bro. Hold on one second. Every time we talk to these dudes, notice how Aboriginal power has been maintaining his composure. This is what I tell Hey, yo, man, listen. Because he had the heart to do what you didn't have. You got to let him speak, brother. Come on, man. So this is why I call y'all Skimmers. And the reason I call you skimmers because you skimming with information. You don't have no mm -hmm. black people who is teaching the shit you teaching today. Every person you talk shit about, the black Freemasons, they're fighting in everything to get us free. Those black Christians, they all doing that. All you do is do what the European does today that is talking disrespecting our black American history. You ain't you are not going against the white man, you are not going against the Jew. You are and not going. Theory. I'm not. I'm they not done. Finish. I'm not I'm done. Finish. I'm, I'm finish. not done. You're not going against the Native Americans who you claim is the niggas who stole your identity. You don't have no organization outside of this that is liberating black people and fighting the people who you said are the enemy. Therefore, you only come talk to us. You only talk about black African American history. You are scammers. Shout out to Aboriginal Paul. Goodbye, man. Goodbye. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hey, yo, hold on. Don't leave. I'm out of here. Don't leave. Don't leave. I'm out of here. Don't leave. I keep saying that. I keep saying that. Stay right there. 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 Yo, you can't look at the truth not too long ago. It's more with truth. Everybody on. stop. Everybody stop. I want truth to speak right now while Rob on here. Go ahead, truth. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. This, this the only thing that I got to say. You feel hey, me? The boys truth. ain't ready, At man. the heart of, of the, the pro black movement, boys, bro. Hey, nigga, you can't in, the, in the late 50s, up in, even into the 40s, but mainly in the 50s, up into the 70s. 
all of these studies that start becoming across these institutions, Cornell, Harvard, that is pushing the ASA, the AASA, and other African studies are being funded by the CIA and Jews, bro. Right. <laughs> you don't have a problem with that, my nigga? Hey, yo, hold on, bro. I don't got a problem with no Jews. Shout out to ACT. No, 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 no. Because this is some shit that, this is the shit that we got to show on the screen, right? So now, when you talk about this Black American history, you got something called the, you got the Harlem History Club, right? You got William Huggins, who is um, Henry Clark. Harlem Clark's History Club. Club. These studies that you're talking about is a continuation of that. Before Brother, they, they was founded yo, by the white Jews. Yo, man. They were founded by Rose and Hey, yo, man. You, you, you oh, right, bro. The, you, the, the, Harlem, the Harlem History Club was founded by yes, a white Yes, nigga, I can pull it up. Hey, yo, man, listen. Nigga, bro. Uh, Rose is funny, too. Hey, yo, bro. Yo, 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 my oh, man. Y'all yeah. got to get some decorum, bro. They do the crazy, Y'all starting bro. worse than the Hebrews now. They all worse than them, bro. Hey, yo, Come on, y'all got to let one at a time speak so we can hear and get the message. And this is my last one before I'm done. He asked me, where's my organization at, Sarnetta? He asked me, where's my organization I didn't at? ask you that, brother. I'm not talking to you, bro. I answered your question already. This is a continuation. This don't got nothing to do with no I never, I never heard your, I never heard your, your answer. Brother, brother, my answer is this. The answer is Harlem History Club, Alexandra Cromer with the Negro uh, Academy, these, Carter G. Woodson, these things, are the continuation of that same history that is being put forth together that to liberate black people and create organizations for them. You can talk that all the you want. You have to show that these organizations were harming black people. These are the people who are fighting for everything from labor rights to burying the dead. These are the people that's gathering to when, protect where, the black where, people. When is all this happening? I just this is know. all... This is all right, all on, bro, 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 street named after it. My organization is right there today. And they do work for people in the hood. Top Cats, you are an internet Indian. You have no organization. You are an information oh, scammer. And I'm on Peace. Peace. All right. Um, let me go to um, hey, Rob. Why you never Rob answer? Why you never answered that question about the CIA hey, funding the African hey. studies? I don't know. Let me get the Rob Knoxes. What's up, man? Yeah, what what you got, Rob Knoxes? I've never yeah. seen you before. Well, I've been on a couple of times, a couple of times with you, Bo Sanchez. Hey, thanks for having me again, man. I want to shout out to <laughs> Let me see who you are. I can't see. Rob Knoxes, everybody knows me here, man. <laughs> He's a troll, so I know he's a troll. <laughs> hey, 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 this is my wife serving. Ain't that right, Rob? This is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know him. Y'all know the brother. Y'all know him. This is my wife. He got seven years to go. All right. I got to let him talk. Let him talk, man. Hey, let him get in. Let him go. Sinetta, Sinetta, Sinetta. Respectfully, him and the other brother, King Cash, they come on our platforms all the time. We want some different questions from some different Oh, people. okay. Bro, he a, hey, don't let him dominate your show, uh, Sinetta. That's bro, what hey, look, hey, Sinetta, Sinetta, hey, respect. Hey, hey, Sinetta, respect. Hey, no, 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 bro. Bro, bro this, is the, um, this is the Indian bro. show tonight, so I got to roll oh, with got two questions. I don't you pseudo, bro. That's why you're trying to get people bro, cut off. Nah, you do that shit over on there. We on deal with you all the time. Answer the question. All right, all right. Everybody stop for a minute, man. If they don't want to talk to you, I can't make them talk to you. This day show. So we're going to let them rock. We're going to let them go. They know me personally, man. These guys know me personally. They know you too good, man. You have a good night. They fear me, man. I know I can name them all, man. I can know all these guys by their name. All right, all right. We're gonna move forward. Yeah, they don't want to Um, yo, the brothers on the bottom, incredible hawk. All of y'all down there, turn on your camera. Let me make sure you're not a freak of nature. You're not gonna show your penis. 
Because that's what y'all been doing, porn bombing people. Oh, I'll put that on that's our brother right there. Doing, All right. No, I don't know. I got to see. All right. We got hey, Hawk in the building. Yes. What's up, brother? Where the sisters at? Y'all don't got no sisters, man. We got a lot of ladies. Where they at? They in the chat supporting. None of the pe people who came on anything to say about information that was presented. Yeah, that nigga brought up the uh the white boy Robert Finley and uh Prince Hall and Promise Hall sleeping with George Washington. The garbage pal kids. Hey, 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 yeah. We don't hey look the dude right there at the bottom, like I said, he come on the platform all the time trolling us. Bro, don't nobody troll you, man. Look, you just screwed up, bro. Name. We don't you really uh, we ain't got nothing to um say to you, brother. Hey, Tom, I mean, that's cool. You pseudo. We don't you don't have nothing to ask you a few questions. I, 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 I debating. And they running from people questions. It ain't even. I don't got a problem with the rest of them. It's a one that's too low. He went from being a more. Now he claiming aboriginals. You see, right. he just said the I'm still a more. Black. I'm still a more, but we don't have right. to say to you tonight. Bro. How are you a more okay. in the Native American? Hey, Sinetta, the Sinetta, time, Sinetta, bro. Respectfully, can you? <laughs> Man, you know, you know, we, don't, we don't want him up. We don't need him up there, honestly. No, nah, we do because he never answered that shit that Top Cat asked him about with the Fulani people. Bro, he gonna do the yeah, same. Yeah, I seen shit. that shit, boy. Top Cat had your ass two oh, stepping yeah, on that yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't buy the bag. Y'all yeah, zipped him up. He put yeah, in the corner. That nigga came back from the dead. Y'all yeah, done whooped a lot of these guys out here. I'm finna whoop Shaka Almost too. Let's get incredible. I'm gonna on Shaka. Listen, I did the same thing to Rob Boy. I'm waiting on Garfield to drop. All that right, one at a time, y'all. We got the incredible Hawk in the building. What's up, man? Oh shit. What's going on, brother? Yo, you can't hear me? Peace. Yeah, peace, brother. Peace. Peace. Um, I actually wanted to share a primary source with you regarding this topic. If you that was possible. That's a bad so look. Peace to everyone I come with somebody. That's a bad that look. Y'all need to get down tonight. Y'all make sure. Hey, hey, I'm, first, let me say this to my Indian brothers, man. I'm going to tell you, it looked bad. I'm trying to tell you what I know. It looked bad when y'all running from people with questions, man. Now, I know they deal with you on your show all the time. But when y'all say, oh, I don't want to deal with them, let them go, it makes y'all look bad because y'all know what they're coming with and y'all don't want to answer questions. Yeah, exactly. so, right. right. Y'all got to be able to answer their question. And then, you know, because the people here I never see their question. No question. And these guys that have multiple debates where they lose horrifically, it becomes like abuse at this point. And like, we over here to get some new traction. We want real smoke. I seen last night. We want him. You know, oh, man. Y'all all, all I had to do is that. A lot of scholars in here last night. They wanted to jump yeah. out, bro. I'm trying to figure out where everybody they took out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where yeah. everybody was. Yeah. Where the old set. Yeah. scholars that was in here last night at? I, hey, sir, I told you when I first came on, I want Brother Reggie for something he said on Garfield. Yeah, yeah. I mean that. I got my own money in my pocket to stand on what I want. On Garfield, bro. Hey, you know what, son? I have an article here from the the Liberator, Boston, Massachusetts newspaper, 1832, which would, I believe, be a primary source for the time period. And I think it'll clear up everything that's being discussed. Okay, let's go. Go ahead. Do it. Let's do it. All right. Um, if, you, if you want to share my screen, you can. It's available. I'll just read it. Um, it says, at a large and respectable meeting, okay, the, January 17th, 1832, at a large and respectable meeting of persons of color, residing in this place convened at the Bethel Church for the important object of taking into, consider into consideration the anti-Christian principles of the American Colonization Society. The Reverend Wiley Reynolds was called to the chair and George Carey appointed secretary after singing in prayer. Mr. P.T. B. Nickums, in some concise remarks, stated the object of the meeting. A committee of three was then appointed to frame an address and adopt some resolutions expressive of their views and determinations, and the following were unanimously, I said unanimously adopted, resolved that we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are born free and equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, resolved that we feel it is our duty to be true and loyal to the Constitution of the United States, our only legitimate country, and moreover, are bound in duty and reason to protect it against foreign invasion. 
resolved that we view the efforts made by the colonization society entirely gratuitous and unasked for by us. And when we as a free people feel an inclination to emigrate to Liberia, we'll apprise them of the same. Resolved that we object leaving the land of our birth as there is sufficient land in these United States on which a colony might be settled that would be far more consonant with the wishes and constitution of the colored people generally, nor would it be attended with half the expense incurred by, excuse me, sending them to a howling wilderness unknown to us in every respect, unless by geography, which few of us understand. Well, Resolve that we reject said, yeah. the inhumane and unchristian principles well, offered by the colonization right. society for the illumination of the colored All citizens of the United States, their people. appropriate home, in a land of sickness, affliction, and death, when they're not willing, with few exceptions, to give well, us a Christian education while among them? Resolve that we ask colonizationists, how in the name of common sense and reason do they expect to make us believe that they will do so much for us after we have crossed the Atlantic when they oppose every measure adopted by our white brethren and friends to improve our condition here. Uh, damn, Resolved cool, man. that we look <laughs> upon those ministers of the gospel who have mis what the hell excuse me, misled their respective congregations with the preposterous idea of the necessity of transporting the free people of color to Africa as highly deserving the just reprehensions directed to the false priests and prophets by the true prophets of the Most High. Resolved that we never will remove to Africa. But should any of our brethren wish to emigrate, we recommend Canada or Mexico as countries far more congenial to our constitutions and where our rights as free men are secured. Resolved that we view every free man of color that emigrates to Africa or advocates the cause of the American Colonization Society, an enemy to humanity, religion, and justice, and a traitor to his brethren. Resolved that we gratefully acknowledge the respect we entertain for those of our white friends who have defended our cause. Resolved that our sincere thanks be tendered to Mrs. Garrison and Knapp, the friendly excuse me, advocates of oppressed Africa, resolved that the proceedings of this meeting be signed by the chairman and secretary and forwarded to the editor of the Liberator for publication. I'll land my plan. Peace to the tribes. All right, all right. Um, let me get over here to the brother. Do brother, do what up, man? Unmute yourself. Oh, uh, what's going on? Y'all doing all right? Yeah, all right, brother. How you doing? All right, what's going on to the uh, to the elbows, man? Much love, man. I got love for everybody, but I do got a sincere question for you guys. Uh, I didn't catch the whole show, but uh, I saw, I don't know if you covered it. But my question, I don't know if you guys, like, how much of science do you guys follow? And that's kind of rhetorical, but so I'm just throw this out there. So what do you guys have to say about the mitochondrial Eve? And I'm, I may have mispronounced that, but are you guys familiar with that? Yeah, we yeah, definitely yeah. is. Are you familiar with Albert Perry that is actually older than the mitochondrial Eve and the Y chromosome, Adam? Uh, no, I'm not. God damn. A double O, go look it up. I mean, you can just you can just tell me. So I, I would like the response because I don't know what you know and the people don't know. And if you feel like you got oh, something, no, I want be I want being slick, but I was I was being honest. And shit. What's your opinion on that article that you just heard? What What is your opinion on your ancestors who think that anyone who advocates for us migrating to Africa is a traitor to their brethren and their race? What What is your say? Um. I, I don't know about what y'all talking about, but I did ask a question and I would like a, a valid answer. You know what oh, I mean? Well, like, that's probably why you have so many questions, brother. You need to listen a little bit respectfully. But yes. I think the brother answers your question, family. Um, um, so do you have another question? I mean, I asked y'all, he brought up somebody else, but he didn't say what it was about. So I'm not, uh, I'm not familiar okay, with the I'll, answer. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it, I'm gonna give it to you, brother. So, I'll follow, uh, I'll follow it's, it's not, you good, brother. I want to be in like, Smart enough, which I was being honest. Uh, A double O, which was found in Albert Perry inside of uh, South Carolina. 
is uh his DNA strain is much older than the Adam and the Eve so called uh DNA. Really? Really? You need yeah, to look yeah. it up. And uh, who who was this from? Like, who discovered this? Like, where can I find this? Said like, this is uh verified up, by geneticists. Yeah, geneticists. Mm -hmm. uh, they did research on people in geneticist. the Gullah area, of South Carolina, and uh, it's uh, two people uh, gave the sample of their great uncle, which was Albert Perry, and he had a strain that was unknown to geneticists at the time. That is much old. What the fuck? Uh, that was much older than the so-called mitochondrial uh, E. And also the Y chromosome as uh how much older? Yeah, uh, uh, you, it, it can be in the general sense. I think it was somewhere between like three to four hundred thousand years old, if I'm not mistaken. I, I could be I could be wrong, brother. Let me go back and look at it right now because I'm on my phone, I'm not on my laptop no more. But I'll get that date for you though. But it's definitely credit with being much older than that. Then uh, uh that, the typical Adam and Eve uh gene that you're talking about. I'll definitely take it in consideration, man. I, pre I appreciate you, fellas. So what about the Human Genome Project, brother? You familiar with that? I'm definitely familiar with that. Okay. Uh, do you know when it started? Uh, I want to say in 2000. No, it started in 1990. It was, they said they completed it in 2003. Uh, yeah, they, they completed it in 2003. Okay, You're so right. How long have you been into DNA? Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not really into DNA, but I'm familiar with it. I, I don't, I don't have, I'm like you guys. I know DNA is wishy-washy. I know uh, genetics come from eugenics. I know that uh, the science of genetics is, is fairly new. And whenever you deal with it with, in, in terms of identity and ethnicity, ethnicity is trash. I know that you can't do that. So, so what that's are, why. What do you, what's your nationality? What do you, what nation of people you come from? Um, well, you would. So I know you asked me and that's kind of a loaded question because I, I don't know my uh, my heritage. So I would identify as an African-American. I haven't done my D DNA and I haven't done my genealogy. So, I, I don't, so but, uh, but hold on, talk, let me say this. I'm not discrediting, discrediting you, brothers. I'm just asking questions. You feel me? And you no, asked me no, about no, me. No. And that's that's an honest response. No problem. Uh, let me ask you this here. Uh, have you ever asked your parents or have they ever told you? Have you ever had any yeah. conversation with your parents? Yeah, I, I'm working. I'm working on it. Uh, they, I'm definitely. Have you got anything? Um, did they tell you who they were? I mean, a little bit, but I don't want to go into it. Uh, right, it, it's speculation, but you know what I mean. Like, um, are you from Africa? I, 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 I told you I don't know, but that that is the narrative. But I haven't looked into it myself. Is it a narrative from your your parents, or is that a narrative from scholars? I mean, my parents believe what America has told the same thing as everybody. So they believe the majority. But I'm like you. I do believe that history has been, you know, tampered with. You know what I mean? But to what it is, I don't know if it's on your side or maybe other people's side. But I haven't done. I'm doing investigation right now. You know what I mean? But it's more t towards uh, genetics. I I'm right now I'm investigating genetics and identity. That's where I'm so at. Have you uh, done a DNA test? Absolutely not. Okay, so how are you um, studying genetics, brother? If you haven't done a DNA test, I'm you studying genetics. I'm studying genetics in terms of uh, identity, and I don't have nothing to do with uh, genealogy. I'm talking about I'm studying genetics in terms of identity because it's a uh, it's bogus. You can't correlate the two, and people try to so equate what you're those. You, you you use genealogy. You're trying to trace your family through records. No, I'm not saying that. You asked okay. me about my DNA. Well, that would be uh, a method because you don't do DNA, you don't do genealogy. Then what? Tell us your uh, definition of this genetic journey that you're on. I just, I just expounded on it. Okay, no problem. Maybe I didn't understand. All right, no further questions, brother. Um, but God bless you. Uh, but, but hold on, but hold on. No. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna get at you, but I'm gonna get at you uh, on a different, on, on a lighter note. Because, uh, you know, like, let me ask you this. Culturally, how do you identify, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, so what, because you you identify as well. Like, what what are you? You say you aboriginal, but what culture corresponds to that? And where can I find these group of people? And what kind of substantial culture do y'all have? I just seem like you just making up shit. Look around you, brother. For lack of better terms, we niggas. We black culture. American Negro culture is our culture, brother. There's no difference. What are you saying? You live in our you live in our culture. 
I was yeah, asking, I was, top, me, I was, asking, I was asking Top Cat right, because yeah, he questioned me. I just thought yeah, I, I just thought I asked him a few that's questions. That's the answer, though. That's the answer. That's fine. That's your answer. All right, I'll be brief with it then. Um, uh, well, who I'm I just asked you the same question. No problem, brother. Um, I identify as a Kasadi Indian. My family were chiefs of the tribe but during the Texas Revolution. They were cowboys. Okay, we had we tilled the land. We had. Uh, so they were white boys. Now, nah, brother, um, if I can share my screen, we got pictures. We want our white boys. Okay, I got pictures okay. of the Indian family yeah. Indian, in the Indian oh, world. Yeah. Also, when you say cowboys, you're talking about people that just rope cattle and stuff like that and ride horses. The Indians were the cowboys, the indigenous. So I say like this here, indigenous culture to America is country culture. So a lot of people laugh at people. Let her talk to this back up. You don't know your people, bro. You look like you're too old not to know nothing about your culture and your people, brother. And so let me let me let me say this here for us culture, the culture that we was raised in. I'm from Texas. The culture that we was raised in is the same culture that of the of the indigenous of America. The foods that we eat, when you look at food, that's one of the number one ways you can identify a culture or a people because you're gonna eat what grows off the land in your area. And so we we into seafood, crawfish, uh uh crab, shrimp, shit like that. We we seafood down here. Uh, seafood bars with potato. Hey, don't let the Hebrews hear you say that, bro. I can't hear you. Don't let the Hebrews hear you say that, man. <laughs> I ain't a Hebrew. That's why the Hebrew. <laughs> you know the Hebrew. <laughs> <they, laughs> <laughs> laughing at that shit right there. Watch this here. So I, and, he's from, and he down there in the Gullah, Gullah Island. He down there <laughs> the beaches and they culture, they eat fish or uh, blue crab. Yeah. yeah. My and, father is and from San Antonio, man. They'll make whole uh, yeah. food down there. Yeah, they eat pork. They eat hey, let me, down there. Uh, let me respond to that, Top Cat. You mind hey, if I respond Cat, to that? My father's from San Antonio, man. Okay, well, y'all I mean, can barbecue then. Yeah, yeah, yeah he can hey, the barbecue pit then. Hey. Hey, that was pseudo as hell because you really you didn't say no native no, culture. That's exactly. not necessarily uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you though. This is not this is not disrespectful because when I thought you was talking about you come from some type of culture, I'm talking I'm thinking you're talking about some kind of distinct culture from from uh European because what you just said was an assimilated culture because the culture that you're talking about is really European and uh black people mix mixed together. Yeah, okay, all that. Stuff. Say, because, yeah, hold on. Hold on, let you guys let me finish. I didn't, I didn't yeah, let, let him finish, Top Cat, and then I'm gonna move on. I gotta bring a possum back in, man. He's been patient. Hey, sir, so, uh, this incredible hawk, man. I want to know what you got to say. Right. Let that. me finish, know, brother. You old school. Hey, you didn't even uh, let me get my point out, so brother, I really don't feel Y'all like right. you can. You didn't even let me finish answering your question because a lot of other things start happening. People start jumping in the conversation. Okay, so in the southeast, we're synonymous with what soul food. Soul food comes from the indigenous people. That's what the tribes ate down here. Anybody can type in soul food you got, and see. You got to let me respond to some of your points, though, Pop Cat. You talk, bro. Hey, dude, dude, you got to let them talk. And so what I'm saying is the culture that we practice here in 1540, when the Spaniards got here, they saw the uh, 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 Chickasaw Indians uh, uh, barbecuing. Okay, so barbecue, that comes out of the, uh, the, the island. They call it barbecue out there in the island. They also are known as Indians. So when we look around, we've been practicing. We don't eat no European food. We eat food that grow that's indigenous, the crops that are indigenous to the Americas, brother. So yeah, that's our, our culture. We've been living in our culture, family. No Europe, we don't uh-huh. eat no European dishes. Europeans uh-huh. don't have, we had to give them through the Columbia Exchange. We imported goods to Europe and also into Africa, brother. That's how Europe get the potato. That's how Africa get all the uh, uh, our indigenous crops. That come cassava, cassava. That's where your fufu come from. Tomato, tomato. That's where your uh, jollof come from. As a matter of fact, six hundred and forty food crops grow. Hold on, uh, run it back for them, AP, because I don't think they heard you. Uh, six hundred and forty food crops grow in Africa, and out of those six hundred and forty, six hundred of them belong to America. They're indigenous to America, and that's important. And that's according to the pre-Columbian oceanic voyages, and that's a uh, Harvard studies. I can pull that up right now. Right. Mm-hmm. It's yes, one thing to say. In that we've been living in our culture, we only eat the foods from our culture here, and the ways of us are the ways of our ancestors because you are your ancestor, brother. 
Uh, okay, uh, moving on from you, brother Duke, the mm -hmm. brother that don't know who he is, and and I like I like a cotton picker. You got some nice hands to pick some cotton. Yeah, <laughs> you couldn't make me do nothing but get up off this channel with all that with all that mumbo jumbo because all you said was all you said was Creole. You know what I mean? You really said Creole because it's all because it's all mixed. And I'm and I'm in Oklahoma. You ain't said nothing, so I know what the culture is similar culture, and we have assimilated into American culture. You are a European with a white 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 mind with a motherfucking tomahawk with, with a uh, with a tomahawk on running around with a tomahawk. But you trying to you trying to say so fool? Hold, hold on, let me let me respond. Let, let, let me respond to you let me respond to some of the stuff that you said. Oklahoma have a lot of that's the home of the black Indians after the and I cannot respond to anything that you just said. Now you just want to talk Indians over went into, it. Went into Oklahoma. The civil war I don't need I don't need your narrative on Oklahoma. Troops. They were Indians in Oklahoma. They defeated right. the last general from the Confederate Stan Wade, right. was a, was, which was a mixed race. These right. were Indians that won the Civil War. The United States Colored Troops, Oklahoma, went up to Kansas, fought in the first and second infantry up there. That's the United know, States Colored Troops. Yeah. Indian history, bro. That's when you get your 1866 treaty where the Creeks down there got 140 acres, the same that the mixed races got. So you were in Oklahoma, which was Indian territory until 1807 when it came in the U.S. statehood. And you sitting here talking about ain't no black Indians. Well, nigga, your ass might be from Europe, nigga, but you walk around them people out there. Tulsa, Oklahoma is a creek word, meaning old town, come out of Muscogee language. What is you talking about? Ain't no black Indians in there. Who founded Tulsa, uh, Tom Cat? Say it again. Who, who founded Tulsa? Uh, the uh, Indians that came from the uh, uh, after the Indians. was they niggas? Was they niggas? Oh, 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 oh my oh, god, oh, 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 man, oh, oh, man oh, these people we the sick, ball. Right? <laughs> they gave him the name too, right? We sick, hey, ball. That's why the name we Tulsa sick. Mean, uh, old town in the in the Muscogee. We language. sick, man. So you can frame the facts however you want to. You know, I can frame them my way too. But you're gonna sit up right, here and right, say, hold, hold, on, on, brother, so hold cool. on, brother. Hold on, brother. We're gonna move right along. I want to get anonymous in here and let him speak because I'm gonna get ready to shut it down. I'm gonna let the brothers, the ab the the um the Indians close this thing out. Let me bring this brother in. My mine's yeah, gonna be quick. Yeah, yeah, honestly, as soon as they start talking about the genome, they killed themselves. Let the brother talk, don't cut them off. Go ahead, bro. Well, yeah. yeah, they killed themselves as soon as they start talking about the genome. Because for one, that haplo group they brought up, that's an African haplo group for, for Bantu speakers in West Africa. Man, and that know. coincides with the history of where they say we come from. So I don't know what their point was with that. They shot themselves in the foot. And based off of the genome that they bear witness to, because they said it, like I said, they shot themselves in the foot. The people that identify as African-American, hold on, let me get the exact numbers. The average African-American yeah, yeah, yeah. genome, for example, is 73.2% African, 24% European, and 0.8% Native American. So the stuff that they bear witness to, they ignoring what the genome actually says to try to cherry pick information that confirms their belief. And like I, I'm fond of saying that we as black people, we don't really want the truth. We just want whatever we can find to confirm our belief. And that's what it is, a belief like this Abos thing. That's like a new religion. Like you don't you don't have to have no facts. You can just say, well, I want to be it's like honestly. It's like the LBGT that 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 when they say I identify as a man, I identify as a woman, they pretty much saying I identify as an Indian. That's literally what they're doing because they're ignoring all of the science. What do you identify uh, as? That's huh? the same. Hold on, I'm, I'm, black, I'm a black, I'm a black man who was bro. raised in America, brother. Y'all ain't not even man. letting people talk. Do you know black men? Come Go ahead and finish, he brother. Finish. He didn't no, I didn't. I'm, I wasn't finished. Hey, but no, go ahead no, I'm not you rambling. I'm, I gave y'all the go percentage. Ahead finish, brother. No, no, no. Go ahead and finish, brother. And then I want to say I something. literally gave y'all the percentages, the data from the genome y'all was talking about. I told y'all when y'all tried to, when the other brother came on talking about DNA, y'all threw the AOO in his face. That's a haplo group from Africa, from West Africa, Bantu speaking people.
people, our ancestors. And then when y'all first started, y'all was talking about the Gullah and the Geechee. How do y'all explain all of the African culture that they have, all of the African yeah, words? Yeah. They brought, yeah. Now, see, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish talking. Goodness, y'all about y'all about to have it. I'm just about to drop my hey, Speak on what the uh, from what I heard, from what I heard, the people were saying that we hey, come on, man. Like y'all <laughs> see, y'all scared to death of actual facts. Y'all don't even let people get their points out. Come on, get it out, brother. Listen, listen, y'all don't even from what I heard in that article, they were saying that. They don't want to go back to Africa because we came from there, but we not like Where? that no more. That's what the article was saying. Came but y'all, again, y'all have a belief. Y'all, yo, come on, man. Y'all have a belief, and y'all trying they to cherry pick data. Yeah, said, one, they, another they thing, the, the the people in the John, y'all got to realize that the average person in the United States of America only reads at a sixth grade reading level. So these dudes you probably is barely illiterate because they're saying the complete opposite. They're saying the complete opposite of what all the data they're they're putting forth. They're literally saying the complete opposite of the conclusions of all of it. And I leave it at that. Like I said, the AOO, hold up, hold up. Let me summarize. The AOO, that's the African Haplo group. The DNA, the genome project, that has studied our DNA says we 74% African, we 24% mm -hmm. um, European, and there's a negligible amount mm -hmm. of uh, Native American DNA. And then you got the culture of the Gullah, the language, the culture. They brought rice mm -hmm. cultivation over here. They brought words from the African languages and everything. Oh, yeah. And y'all ignoring know. all of that. Y'all jumping ran. over, y'all jumping over being what you no. are and trying to Stop. claim an in And like I said, you I a bunch you of niggas that identify as being Indian. And I leave it at that because y'all sounding foolish to be honest. Peace out. Peace hey, to the God. Right. Peace to the earth. Hey, Peace to the pseudo killers, man. Get these yo, yo. fools out of here. Yo, 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 yo hold up. Everybody, everybody listen, man. Well, well, Sam, hey, you I didn't know what I said. I, I hold on, read it, hold on, hold on, I didn't know it was a group out there worse than the goddamn Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, yeah, we got it. If y'all standing on truth, y'all don't have to do all that. Let everybody come in and let them speak, and then crack their damn head if you got the information. Right, right. But right. the way it looks is like y'all running from everybody that's coming on. You got to have a little discipline, a little decorum. Let people speak, bro. Y'all ran from YK the truth. No, we didn't. No, yes, y'all did. did. The brother was saying, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. And I did. And I told you why I say get him out of here. Nah, but you got to let you got to let the brothers bring the questions, man. No, this the Aborigines, bro. We don't run from no all right, not all of y'all. I'm not saying all of y'all, but whoever was saying get him out of here. I said oh, that. that's not a good me look, and brother. That's me and Hanu. Yeah, that's Hanu. not a good look. You gotta let people yeah, come in. And then and then hold on, listen, man. And <laughs> then when the brother finished speaking, you gotta go ahead and you get the mic and you do what you do. But you got to let people come in and challenge your information. You know why? Because anybody could come up here and just say what they want. If you're not being challenged, you're comfortable. You you good. Right, you gotta let listen. people come in. Go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna let you respond to what I'm the brother was hold saying. Up, hold, really up, hold, up, hold, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm saying that these these him rock cast come on our platform all the time. We don't want to talk to them. We want to talk to Oak. We want to talk to Jabari. We want to talk to all of them individuals. We don't want to talk to these peons. These niggas come up here and get beat up daily. Why do we want to keep talking to them? So can I respond to what the brother just came on and said real quick? Go ahead, brother. Right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The brother just brought up some statistics from the human genome, and then he tried to utilize those statistics to say that the human genome doesn't say what we're saying. But he conveniently left out the fact that most genetic tests, including the human genome, are based off people reporting what they identify as, okay? So for you to use the term, oh, it says I'm African-American, it says I'm this, these are from the reports that people self-identify themselves as, okay? You're taking these data and statistics 
based off of what people are reporting themselves as and that and taking that as a definitive uh, a statement of your origins it's totally a fallacy okay people are reporting whether they are considered african american people are reporting whether they're nigerian people are reporting this themselves okay this is not a genetic code that is saying this means that these people are this there is no prototypical genetic code that is african there is no prototypical genetic code that is Nigerian. There is no prototypical prototypical code that is these different ethnic groups, okay? So these people hey, are reporting so who they are. And I would like anybody who has any information to debunk that to pull it up right. All right. If you're not turning on your camera, you're not coming on the panel. Hey, and uh, if you keep uh, coming on the panel, I'm going to just block it after that. If you're scared to turn on the camera, don't come on the panel. I already know the brothers that, that don't got their camera on. I know them already. But you got to let me see who you are. There's a lot of freaks out there. Y'all come in. There's a bunch of men up here. But you want to show men your penis. You want to porn bomb men. Like, y'all niggas are freaks. And I don't know what's up with y'all niggas, man. <laughs> you got to turn the camera on, man. Hey, hey hold on one second. Hey, uh, hold on one second. Hey, I, one. I just want to ask. I, have I got to see who you are. Said, well, he said, I just want to ask him one question. So and I'm going to ask you a question, too, all in the same, right? So the conclusion to what we see with DNA, will we say DNA is pseudoscience? I'll say it's definitely a lot of pseudo-narratives. You but feel me? The, uh, the, the science is not correct, so the yeah, way it's the narrative is, is wrong. Yeah, that's pseudo. So it's pseudo. So Okay. Yeah, definitely. So, like, um, to big piggyback off what Al was saying and shit, right? So, the brother said a lot of stuff, but jumped off. I wish he wouldn't have never left. I'm not a person that's above questioning. I, I actually invite it. You feel me? That's a, that's what keeps me on top of my game. You feel me? Let me say that first and foremost. Uh, so, as far as the A double O, right? All right. The people in Cameroon, they already had their samples, but they didn't find it. But it took until they found it in Albu Perry and the way that they 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 were jogging it was, you know, they were surprised. They were shocked. They never seen that before. So I'm questioning if when you got the Albu Perry DNA and you looking at something that you never seen before, but then the test to that, oh, you found it in the Cameroonians, those 14 people who was all family, not all of the Bantus, not all of the Cameroons, 14 people that was actually direct link families. You already... You already had the samples in the sample base. How did you not see it until you got Abel Perry? So when I look at some shit, when I look at something like that, that make me question it because for the simple fact is, if they had it already, they would have found it the same way how they found it when they got Abel Perry uh, DNA. Second thing is, right now, if DNA ancestry test is so accurate, right, why is it when you take one, if you go in and give one a sample out to 23andMe, and then you turn around and give another sample to Ancestry.com, then you turn around and get another one to African Ancestry, why are you getting three different results if it's so accurate? You should get the same results across every spectrum, no matter which one you take. The problem is, is that they databases is loaded up with particular tribes to automate, and that's what that thing that I brought up earlier about them stacking the deck. If I put 200 Fulanis in there and only put 10 Yorubas up in there, guess what most of these people are going to come out to be? Fulani. Why? Because they are the ones that is dominating the sample base. The fact of the matter is, everybody's sample base ain't the same, and if you took Every sample base across the spectrum from every DTC company and put it up against the individual, that article I bought up, which they actually did the testing, you're going to get 12 million right answers. Now, how do you get 12 million right answers? Well, the analogy that they gave with PCAs is, is it's like an oven. It's going to do its job regardless. You turn the oven on, what it's going to do? It's going to heat up. Why? Because it's an oven. You put anything in the PCAs, what it's going to do? It's going to do its job. But the fact of the matter is, if you put all the samples, sample bases up in that PCA and put it against the individual, you're going to get 12 million results. And the fact of the matter is, a lot of these people's sample, sample bases are stacked 
particularly lean into one groups more than another. That's why when I was talking to Ngozi that one time, but somebody fucked up our deal. Shout out to that brother. No person, I like no profanity, oh, no profanity. Sorry, sorry about that, sir. Shout out to that brother. You know, I mean, I like Ngozi, you feel me? Even if you disagree with me. But I asked him a question and somebody stopped him from asking. I said, if you put 200 Fulani's in the sample base, you put 200 Europeans in the sample base, then you put 200 black Americans in that sample base and then test that sample base up against a black American, who is he going to be closely related to? And they already knew what the answer was going to be. It wasn't going to be no Fulani or no European. They were gonna right. match up, they're going to match up with black Americans every time. So those sample bases are stacked. Let's keep it All a right. buck. All right, let me move on. Let me get the free will info. Come on, you got the floor, brother. <laughs> My man, I got straight sources, bro. So look, I just need five to eight minutes. I'm a clear. Nah, five nah, you can't get five to eight minutes, brother. I'm sorry about right, that. Man. Give me it's all sources. I don't have no yeah, it's, it's all, all good, sources. but not five to eight minutes, brother. Come on, man. All right, can I share my screen? Yes. I'm ready. All my links go. I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with the miles number one. So right here, all right. In Baton Rouge, I'm 30 minutes from Baton Rouge. I go meditate on these miles every damn near every weekend. All right, we got an update that a lot of mainstream doesn't push. And that's that, that's what these brothers are trying to uh teach. Number Dream. one, American we Indians, we don't run from day, shit. We, we don't run from nothing, so I'll speak my own curse. We don't run from nothing, bro. We got straight sources. So here we go. So you're an Indian, brother? You're an Indian? Yes, sir. I'm an American, okay. I'm an American Indian. Go ahead, from bro. Louisiana, Go ahead. Born, born and raised. I got you. My genealogy up to 1820. All my people from Louisiana, bro. All right, so here we go. So <clears throat> before we had these moms, these are, these are, if not the oldest, the second to oldest in the world. The only thing that matches up with this is not the playa. That's comparable. So at first, when they first did the archaeology, it was uh, at five. It was at 5,000. And then they, they upped it to six thousand. Then from six thousand, as you can see right they here, they went to like well, they went to eighty eighty eight or eighty two, pardon me. You know then they finally you know, stopped at eleven thousand three hundred. Well, it don't sound so like this, this carbon dating. So I'm not gonna argue it. I'm gonna just tell you that the so called white archaeologists, this is their research. So a lot of people don't know that these twin sister mounds it, it's part of the hero uh, twin uh, culture that a lot of people don't realize. From the Mississippian culture. All right, that's one. Now, AP said some about 640 crops that we gave to Africa, and it's right. He was at. He was right and exact. This is the book that it comes from: the American Past, Ninth Edition Survey of American History, Volume One to uh, 1877. It's right here. Of 640 crops grown in Africa today, almost 600 originated in the Americas. Y'all just said it, right? Manioc, tapioca, right? That's what Topcast said, right? All of American origin is today a staple for 200 million people in the tropics. The white Irish potato, a native of the Andes, provides basic sustenance for even greater numbers from Ireland to China. Many national cuisines today depend on foods of American origin or for their zest. All right, that's what y'all talking about, the tomato. Y'all brought that up. Notably, the tomato, an extraordinarily variety of chili peppers that have been developed from the Mexican forebears. I'm going to go back up real quick. American plant foods revolutionized European, African, and Asian diet. Maize. American Indian corn, or what they call maize, goes back to 9,000 years, sir. Huh? You can look that up. That's a simple Google search. An American native astonished Europeans by the height of his stalks. If you look up 1524 Verrazano Codex, when Verrazano came here from, uh, from France, he hit New York and he came down to South, uh, to South Carolina. He said he saw... <clears throat> 25 to 30. <clears throat> 20. <clears throat> shit. Sorry. Get some water. Get some water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <clears throat> Don DeMarco. All right. The brother coming yeah, with some. Said, sources. Yeah, yeah. He he some yeah, yeah. I, got sources. Sources. I got sources, fam. So, Verrazano, and I got that source, but I don't want to be long winded. I'm going to just verbally explain it. When Verrazano came here in 1524, like I said, he hit uh, New York, he hit Narragansett and all, all the way up there, and then he came down to, uh, to South Carolina. Not not only uh, did he see, he saw crop fields 25 to 30 miles long, but he said he had never seen anything that big or beautiful or 
<clears throat> able to supply so many food to so many people. So these brothers are accurate and, and correct. I just wanted to yeah, uh, man, add that real quick. Lived. Lived. So Maze, hey, at, yeah. at 9,000 years, you can look that up. An American lived. native astonished Europeans by the height of its stalks. That's what I'm talking about with Verrazano and the size of its grains. Cultivation of the crop spread to every continent, increasing the food supply and contributing to a runaway increase in population that characterizes the last 500 years of human history. The sweet potato became a staple in West Africa where it was introduced by slave traders. Yams, superficially similar to sweet potatoes, were already established there. Beans, squash, pumpkins, peppers, strawberries. There was a European strawberry, but it was inferior to the American. Vanilla and chocolate, wild rice and tomatoes are American natives unknown in Europe, Africa, and Asia before 1492. All right, I'm done with that one. I got two more links and I'm done. Now, now A, A, A1, all right, salute to A1. A1 was talking about free Negro slave owners. I got the document. I told you, I'm from Louisiana, bro. Free Negro slave owners of slaves in the United States in 1830. I'm going to get you this, uh, A1. If you need this, I'm going to get you this. What you do is <clears throat> you go right here and it tells you most of these people have been forgotten for persons supposedly well-informed in history are surprised to learn today that about half a million Almost one seventh of Negroes of this country were free, just like everybody said, like what A1 was saying, were free prior to the emancipation in 1865. These names will there, therefore serve as a link between the past and present and will therefore lessen the labor of research in this field. There were several reasons for selecting the census records of 1830. In the first place, the earlier reports do not give as much information as the census of 1830. At that time, moreover, the free Negroes had about reached their highest mark at a distinct class, right? That's what, uh, that's what, that's what everybody was talking about. I'm going to land my plane right here on, on this for the research on this part. The reaction which set in earlier century restricted their freedom, had many cases expelled them from the South. <clears throat> this census then evidently reports the names of a larger number of representatives, free Negroes, than any other census prior to their debasement to a lower status or their migration from the South. Now, so I'm going to tell you this. When you look up the 1900 and 1910 census, it'll tell you that black people, not only in the South, but we own 16 to 18 million acres, bro, across the country. All right. And this is coming out of reconstruction. Now, let me get back to my last link that I want to uh, bring up real quick. All right. I got I actually got two more. Because we debunked that uh, so-called out of Africa, too, with Rebecca L. Can and Alan C. Wilson. I almost forgot. Hold on. Let me get this. Give me one, one second. So these two people, they were pushing eugenics. All right. The program, everybody knows that broker, Gordon, all that. What happened, two people right here. You're breaking up, brother. You're breaking up. So it's here. Yeah, mic breaking up, brother. Okay, one second, one second. Mic check, mic check. Go ahead. You good? That's my Wi Fi. I'm good? All right, yeah. all right. That's my Wi Fi. My bad. So it says, <clears throat> I'm going to just, I'm going to get the meat and potatoes, huh? It did, it's talking about the out of Africa. It did begin in the early 90s. And the academics most responsible for cementing out of Africa theory are the complementary common ancestral African mother given the name of Eve. In the public arena in nearly every curriculum were professors Alan C. Wilson and Rebecca L. Can. In their defense, the authors of this paper were fully aware on, that, bro. look, right here, so genealogy is not in any way linked to geography. I think Truth said that, that earlier, so to my boy Truth, and that their placement of Eve in Africa was an assumption, never an assertion. In their seminal paper, The Recent African Genesis of Humans, they even stipulated that all humans today can be traced along maternal lines of descent to a woman who lived about 200,000 years ago, probably in Africa. Well, the problem is we have a Luthia over here in America that's older than Lucy, who y'all oh, uh, tell, but y'all found up. bones years apart all over Africa. How was that woman's body spread all over Africa and our uh, our oldest ancestor was completely whole and together? That's just somebody going to answer. So to continue in the to that part, so how is it that there probably has morphed into our collective? Definitely. Great question. Over time, 
even the two researchers came to discover that the research of original mitochondria DNA was fundamentally flawed. Both separately conducted further tests on mitochondria DNA and they debunked their shit. That's what it's about to say. They debunked their own research. <clears throat> Come on, brother. It says right here within the blood of the full descent, original people arriving at the same conclusion, <coughs> both recanted their previous assumptions by acknowledging that Homo sapien sapien originated in Australia. All right. The point is, you have a, a out of Africa theory, a out of uh, out of Australia theory. And out of Asia theory that nobody really talks about. And that's the problem with this eugenics program that these brothers are trying to get y'all to understand. These so-called eugenicists, these evolutionists are separating us as a people and having us with all these different creation stories. When last time I checked the Dogon, the Hopi, the Cherokee, the Choctaw, they all had star stories, meaning <laughs> the ancestors said that they came from the stars, the water, and the land. And all, all Aboriginal Melanated rich people say that. I got one more link, uh, Sa, and I'm done. <laughs> All right, a lot of people don't know him. He was the first black governor. First, nah, I'm done after this. I promise. Hey, I got sources, fam. It ain't my opinion. It's nah, sources. nah, you good. Right? You I good. I like what you're bringing out. You good, brother. I like what you're bringing out. You saucing it I up. I got you. I'm here to teach. I'm here to teach, fam. All right, because it was, it was drying up. These niggas were slowing up the energy. I'm here to pick that shit back up. So we got what? Oscar Dunn. You All right, insane, Oscar James Dunn, so he was a Mason, one of the greatest niggas to ever, uh, my, pardon me, one of the greatest men to ever live in Louisiana, bro. We're going to read about uh, O.J. Dunn. We're going to get straight to it. Man, All right, my and look, real bro. quick, there was a black caucus that a lot of people don't know about. Let me just Google that real quick, because a lot of people don't know about that. Let me just go back real quick. Let me go back and show y'all the uh, all black caucus. So if we slaves... All right, we slaves like y'all told us in, 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 in high school and all that. How we get an all black caucus in 1868, all black Congress? They gonna I'm, about tell to you <clears throat> I'm about to explain. I got you. One second, you get back. Yeah, man. And y'all gonna put respect on OJ Dunn because respectfully, the Indians, y'all be misteaching about the ancestor. He wasn't no coon. All right, y'all gonna stop had, teaching about shit that y'all know virus. about. His daddy was no Freemasonry. Dunn joined the Prince Hall Richmond Lodge number four, one of the number number of fraternal organizations that expanded to New Orleans out of the Prince Hall Ohio Lodge during the 19th century. In the latter half of the 1850s, he rose to master and grandmaster of the Eureka Grand Lodge, which became Louisiana Grand Lodge. Author and historian Joseph A. Walks. I'm gonna skip that. I don't go fuck with you. Got it. Pardon me. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to curse. I'm sorry. All right, reconstruction. So here we go. <clears throat> Dunn worked to achieve like a equality for millions of blacks free by passage of the 13th like Amendment. And that's what happened. We got hit with the 13th Amendment, so Not only did we have a black government in uh in Louisiana, we also had a black government in South Carolina. And you can look up the letter of uh Benjamin Tillman, who was saying that they had to sabotage the black government because they were tired of being under them. Yeah. That's why you have all the massacres of the late 1800s and 1900s. Yeah, these white boys tired of being under our governmental systems, and some of our ancestors did that's, trade up, but not this. One. Where, this one where, are, where, where were those same black congressmen 10 years prior to that? 10 years prior to what? To 18, 18, 1871. Well, look, in 18, well, still 18. No, 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 just tell I'm, me what I'm, I'm going to answer your question. I'm going to answer your question, bro. All right, you cut me off, but I'm going to answer your question. Who is that talking? Who is that? Big old Virginia. That's cool, Joe. Big Virginia. Let's go. So, look, in 1870, to answer the brother question, you have to act in 1870, which happened with that is they took our organic constitution that, yes, so called black people, American Indian wrote. All right, I got the, I got the script for that too, if you need it. 1870, or right, you have to act of 1870, which made it, it took uh DC and created DC a corporation and a government just for DC. All right, then in 1871, all right, you have some other sh you have some other stuff that's going on. That's I mean, but where, I said, where were the people you were talking about 10 years right prior? here? Where, where no, no, that, right that's here. not 10 years prior. Now, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on, everybody, hold on. Because that's the question I was going to ask him. I was going to ask him that when he finished. <clears throat> because he's bringing in, he's bringing in some fire information. He bringing he's bringing in. in. Like you learn so in I just wanted to ask him the question. Like, um, 
<laughs> how do you know that these are you? Like, this is your people that you're talking about. How do you know that? Yeah, yeah, but I want to move man. forward. I want to move forward, brother. Okay. And Because okay, I, I got to end the show, but I want to give no, these brothers a chance to say something. So let me bring on Atkins, Atkins Battle. You got the floor, brother. Yeah, let's salute to you, huh? Hey, Peace, big brother. Time, you, did, you did a great job, brother. Peace. Big, big up, Virginia. Big up, Virginia. All right, turn on your camera, brother. I mean, I'm at work, so I, so I turn on. Oh, all right, go ahead. Turn it off. You good? Go ahead. Well, just oh. like a missionary. Yo, you yeah, gotta yeah. speak, man. Like, um, top cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the dude, to the dude that was saying all of that. Um, when he read the stuff about the people not wanting to go to Liberia, that's just a population of people that wanted didn't want to go to Liberia. They are in no way, shape, or form saying that they weren't African. That's something that you're taking from them. They didn't mention that at all. They didn't mention that at all. And as far as, like like I said, as far as what the other dude was talking about, you're talking about reconstruction. A lot of things have been doing reconstruction. Where were those same black people at 10 years prior to that? They were, bro, they were working. They what were are you talking about? We're, 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 no, no, you gotta let them talk, brother. Let them talk. In Carolina, they were enslaved. Hey, let me ask that question. I, I, want, I want to specifically ask it, that it, question okay. when he gets done. Brother, brother, you got to let the man speak. We just let the brother speak without no interruptions. Let him speak, y'all. No, y'all. Yeah, not getting kind of, you know, no. over it. But uh, I'm saying, like, why is it that you all just totally ignore uh, the domestic slave trade that took place between 1808 and 1860? Like, that never happened. Prove it. Prove, prove it? Prove We're it not in the KKK. Prove it. You prove it with yourself. You prove it with the fact that... All right, I'm going to prove it for you right now, Pop. Okay. All right. Nah, nah, hold on, man. Y'all getting... Yo, bro, you got to let the brother finish, man. We just heard free um, free real info without no interruptions. Let the brother finish. He could have been finished and we could move on. When y'all do that, you make him start all over again. And that's crazy. I'm trying to end the show. But go ahead, brother. Finish up. They do it They're just used to doing it like that on their pages so they can run with, run away from it and make jokes and stuff. I'm saying, you are proof. If you're from Texas, you're proof. If you're from Mississippi, you're proof. Alabama, you are proof of the domestic slave trade. Because you, your family was sold down there from Maryland, Virginia, and North Carolina. And that's beyond a doubt. Tennessee and Kentucky as well. That's where you're from. These things actually happen. There's a great book on it called The Ledger in the Train. You should pick it up sometime. You got to get rid of some of that nonsense y'all talking about. Can I respond to that? I yes. Mean, since, he did, since he did yes, address When he finished, brother. When he finished, you can respond. Are you finished, bro? Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead, brother. You can respond now. Hey, I was trying to respond to that with something precisely what he was talking about with OJ Dunn. He said that OJ Dunn, Dunn 10 years prior that was a slave, right? Is that, that? No, I asked what, it, what he was doing. I know the ones in South Carolina were slaves. I'm not sure okay, about all right, what he was doing. Okay, all right. Can I just share my screen for one minute, um, son of the... Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get me a screen share too. I want to jump on this DNA shit. Hey, we got so far away from the conversation. All right, and Sai, before we close out, uh, let me share mine too. I got something quick to show too. All right, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Q brother speak after this. He been waiting. He ain't speak. Uh, are you gonna let me respond to this brother who had the nerve, the audacity to question my big other game? This nigga with that big up Virginia, but do yeah, big up Virginia. Right, I so agree. Look. Shout out to Virginia, goddamn trying to show you was this book right here, The Free Negro Owners of Slaves in the United States in 1830, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what he showed you from O.J. Dunn, right? Mm -hmm. So, what he showed you from O.J. Dunn is this. Look, check this out. You said Louisiana, right? Remember? No, that's what Ohio. you said. You said, you said ten, yeah. That's it. Well, yeah. You said Louis, he, what he gets showed you was from Louisiana. Yeah, go ahead. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. So, it's from Louisiana. So, Let's go to Louisiana in 1830. Let's go to Louisiana, right? So look, this one page. Now what you see, these are all the Negro slave owners, right? <coughs> in the different areas in Louisiana as you go down, right? So look. So that's the first page, right? 
Matter of fact, you know what? Hold up. Let me go back up. My bad. All right, so look, this is Louisiana, 1830. All right? Now, look, that's one page, right, of slave Negro slave owners, right? They go to the second page, right? This is in 1830, before the Emancipation Proclamation, where he gets showed you from OJ, where he gets showed you from OJ Dunn was 1868. Was yeah, but OJ. Wait, Brother, wait, 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 let wait, him finish. Wait. You got to let him finish, man. Y'all gonna learn discipline tonight, man. In 1868, three years after slavery, right? With the mess, I mean, with the um, the Louisiana Purchase story and all that. Why would white people pick a black lieutenant governor, bro? The government picked the uh, the people. Oh my the, god! The, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sure. No, hey, no, okay. Wait a minute. The Louisiana Purchase was in 1802. Okay, so let's get okay, this. Let's so, get this so, We're not talking. You're, you're conflating. Um, Oscar Dunn's father, no, Oscar Dunn's no father actually. was sold from Petersburg, Virginia to New Orleans, bro. His father's okay. name was James Dunn. He was okay. sold, like I said, during the domestic slave trade, like countless other people from Louisiana. Said, now, but wait, wait, fam, 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 fam. You said during domestic slave trade. I'm showing you in 1830 in Louisiana. Why, why were there so many free blacks in Louisiana? Listen. I can tell you why. Oh I'll my tell you what. God! So okay, so that was so. Because they were people. never slaves. They, that's right. <laughs> so all, <laughs> what? So all these Negroes. Look, look, so look, look, so all these Negroes, right? That own slaves in Louisiana, right? Mm -hmm. Said so now, just in, the, in in OJ Dunn case, he was he was sold there. We, we already see Negro slaves, but OJ Dunn was a slave. Though. I'm not talking man, about them. I said man, what was OJ man, Dunn? Man, I didn't man, say man. what was the OJ Dunn. The reason why OJ Dunn was a slave is because no legally they didn't accept his mother's paperwork for freedom in Louisiana. Okay, so we exactly. got to put that in context. His father was a slave sold from all right, all right, all right. Time out, time out. Let me go to Q Butter. Q Butter, you got the floor. It's up, it's up. It's up. 10 seconds, sir. 10 seconds. Yo, sir, I got the floor. Hey, well, hold on, hey, Q, hold on, Q. Hey, just 10 seconds, sir. Top go ahead, go ahead. 10 seconds. All right, just 10 seconds. If, if, if the father owned the family and the father didn't free the mother, then the children would be slaves, nigga. That's how that works. We could read it, but we ain't got time to read it. All right, Q, you got the floor. Q, you got the floor. Hey, what's good, Black family? Uh, let's go down. Let's. I'm gonna just. I'm just going up for the sources that they put up. So, first and foremost, uh -oh. in 1860, Louisiana was underneath French rule. You can share my screen, Sonetta. So, the Emancipation Proclamation did not apply to French colonies. This is a map of 1860 America. Oklahoma and Louisiana are French territories. And in these territories, black people were able to traverse freely for almost a hundred years because no, France no, was one of the first people to ban and stop slavery in the territories and our blacks in the ground. This is also why Chicago was established by a black man from Africa by way of Haiti. Brother, right? So that's, that's, that's that part there. Then they're going to go to the foods in Africa. So I want to bring up the book that he had. But first, we're going to go down to the cultural exchange between Africa, crops of African origin or African diffusion in the Americas. Mm -hmm. Now, so you have, of course, there's 600 food. But because Africa was so prolific in its varieties of food crops and animals during this period, many foods became known as Guinea or Angolian. Guineos was a nickname for bananas in parts of Central America. The heart of the Banana Republic region comes from Africa. Guinea squads, Guinea grass, Guinea hogs, Guinea pigs, Guinea hens, and golden chicken, Congo eels, you name it. Different species are attributed sometimes erroneously to Africa. No colors are not African, but they fill a bill in a diet much more loved than about well, um, Europeans. They'll go to that book he pulled up, right? Because in the book that they brought up, where is it? I got the link to it. One second. Where you at? Oh, let me go back to the French colony. I know I'm all over there. I got the slides all over there. I got some slides. 
This is the brother the encyclopedia of a Oklahoma history. Let's not forget Oklahoma was what in 1682. Rene Robert Cavalier, so yeah, well, it's born in Mississippi, yeah. claimed the French claim all of the lands drained by it. So everybody talking about 1800s. Let's go back to when France first got up in the Americas. So this 1830 stuff, 1880 stuff. Let's talk about what these white folks were saying in the 1600s. Were they calling these natives black? Were they, were they, well, how were they treating them? There's plenty of defamation. 1719, a black man from Haiti, Jean Baptiste Bernard. So this is when black people get confused about the freedoms that black people had in different territories. But most people don't understand that America that we're taught is the East Coast history. We're not taught, taught New France history. We're not taught the history from New Spain or New Amsterdam or New England. And so we hear it and think that we're learning it from across the perspective. And they're like, well, these black people owned um, slaves in this era, uh, territory, but they didn't own slaves in this territory. And that's a gravely way and gr wrong way of looking at it because of the colon colonization aspects. This is the book he brought up and he quoted the food. But in this same book, it describes Africans coming from Africa. In this same book, it describes the natives who come from Asia. Anything. They describe the original. This is the book he brought up to talk about the foods. So let's look at this same book's description of the past. Right? Indians. Does it say Indians in here come from Africa? Or does it say Indians come from Asia? Paleo Indians were no more were no more of agriculture than of the alphabet. You see this? This is what they thought. This book he quoted. <laughs> when they first when the first of them crossed, Banger, they were not a farmer on the planet. The first Americans lived by hunting, fishing, gathering, edible seeds, blah, 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 blah. They remained on the move because in all but the luscious surroundings, a mere hundred people very quickly kill off the game and exhaust the plant food near the camps. This is why they did not have major cities and major places in the Americas because they were following the food. They were still nomadic, according to this book. The mysteries of agriculture were first unlocked in the Middle East. See this? Europe and Asia, they're not it's saying not. any of this was agriculture was brought here. Paleo Indian life was diverse. The Americas were uncrowded, to say the least. Wandering communities split up when they grew too large for the rains they could exploit fruitfully. So Europeans, in this book, it says Europeans largely brought agriculture to the Americans. American language, for instance, this is in his book. This is my opinion. This is the book that he quoted. The, sources and right? the, source, the, the greater abundance of food that farming made possible resulted in population explosions. The food that they're talking about is the food that they brought from Africa in this book. Right? Some Indian peoples have mastered on primitive tool making. This is what you're in his book. So they're saying that they were primitive, nomadic, they were Asians. This is in the book. So the source that he's bringing up clearly states that they were Asians. The Aztecs, we go right here. Let me go to right there, boom, overhead of prophets. You see this? In this book, it describes the Africans coming here. The cast, this is Elmina de Present Ghana. And it talks about in the book he sourced, says Africans from Elmina were brought to the Americas. So how are they denying slavery? This is crazy. In their own source, like Unc says, pseudos dying his source. This is literally his source describing. Damn. You, yo, Q, you getting like you getting like Jabari. You pulling a source to get him. This is his source. I'm not going to use any other source. This is his source. You know what I'm saying? So they, now the last one they brought up, the person who wrote this article is a evolutionary biologist. Evolutionary biologist. That means he supports DNA, the concept of DNA, and all the things associated with it. So I'm lost how you could think that this person, what does an evolutionary biologist do? Look, I work with genomes. Genomes are the full set of DNA from a given organism. So you're quoting someone as if they're not using DNA to say that DNA is not used when that is their job. Mm -hmm. the, article, the article is talking about racism and the usage of scientific racism in history and how it is used in a political arena, and it shouldn't be. But he never stated that DNA is false. Please put us some more sources so we can go through them.
Oh, Q, let's go. I'm right here. All right, all right. hold right. on. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Lex Vortex, you got the floor. Yeah, we can't respond to what he said. Like, hey, peace, uh, Debbie. No, no, I want to go through the floor. Y'all going to respond when I come to you. Um, I just want to make some more comments on, on the sources that was pulled up. Um, the cherry picking, Q did a great job. They do this all the time. They use one part of the source. For instance, Hawk School put up a source to make it look like that black people were claiming that they were aboriginal to the land and didn't want to go back to Africa. I'd like him to pull up that same source because right in that source it said, you want us to go back after we crossed the Atlantic. What? How he missed Oh, it. man. How did he miss you? So you ain't to get good but I, I want him to pull that source. Like, man, don't look bad. <laughs> I want him to pull that source back up and explain sources. why it said after we crossed the Atlantic. And mind. then uh, I think they one brought up Arizona. They always pull these up, so I know they got they got them. So, yes, Arizona said that the Indians were dark skinned. He also said they had straight hair and looked like Orientals. In the same sentence, but all they point out is the fact that he said dark skin. Well, he's got range of different accounts besides Verzano. Also, Verzano, you got the Jesuit letter. Let him finish, let him finish, brother, let him finish. All right. So, in terms of the records, right, there was a sister, uh, her name was, she wrote a book. She would. She was doing this 25 years before for the, for them. Uh, her name is Ray. I forgot the name of the book, but she was doing this research her grandmother told her she was an Indian. I just want to say a reason why a lot of these people, some of them do have records to say that they were actually uh, members of a tribe and own land. What they don't know is after the Civil War, the freemen were given tribal membership and land. And some of their grandmothers don't even know that history. So when they say, oh, I got records of my family, well, you can look up the Freeman and look up the Choctaw and see that some of the Choctaw allowed their ex-slaves tribal membership and they were granted land after that. Another thing I like to ask is, why don't none of them speak the language? And they would say they're hiding some information from y'all. They claiming that English is Native American. And that's why they don't speak a language. They're saying English is a language that comes from America. They claim that Spanish is an Indian language and Latin is an Indian language. That's crazy. And that's just because I started pressing them about there's no way in hell that none of you could be speaking the languages that your grandmothers, none of them spoke the languages. Now they're saying English is a Native American language. That is preposterous. That's crazy. I you thought he's supposed to be saying? asking a question, and brother, so, not a rant. Again, I want to know how do structures prove your genetic DNA? Talking about pyramids, talking about food. Okay, fine. How, did, how, do you those, how do you connect to those? How do you connect that in terms you're of genealogy? And the last thing, uh, Truth Research 111, I call him the half research. He brought up Albert Perry, A double zero. Hold up, DNA is fake. How are you going? Why? Why is it convenient for you to listen to them about Albert Perry? Knock that out. You can't even use that. Even if it was true, you can't use it. Why that's I can't called, use it? That's called cherry picking. No, okay. it's called it's you called updating your research because when we Hold said on. we didn't I'm fuck with it, y'all said it's because we didn't know it. I'm landing my plane, so you can't use Albert Perry and, and no type of DNA evidence while saying DNA. Is fake. Again, the dude earlier was using birthmarks to say that um, Indians, <laughs> all these other people, have these uh, Mongol birthmarks, and African Americans have them also. And said, "Well, if they're indigenous, why we can't be?" Those same birthmarks are in Asia. It wasn't just talking about indigenous people to America. Uh, uh, it was like ninety percent of Asians. That was stated. Asia, Asia had them. So, and how do birthmarks make you? A, yo, those those are ridiculous. Can I, can I respond? 
Can Those I were ridiculous arguments. A birthmark does not, you know, has nothing to do with your Y chromosome, your X Are you chromosome, crazy? or nothing. And so, Lex you Vortex, know, is ridiculous. your birthmark a part of your is, Lex Vortex? Is your birthmark in results to your genetics? Is that hereditary, sir? Yeah. I mean, shut the fuck up, talking Lex. But how? But what does that got to do with your Y? That's that's hereditary. May be hereditary. <laughs> but it's not dealing with your Y and X chromosome. Okay, so let hold me on, hold on, hold on, bro. Let me explain hold on, no, hold on. You interrupted me, and I'm gonna answer but your you question. Asked the question about Yo, bro, hold on. No, no. Wait. See, this is what but they you don't do. Want to hear the hold on, brother. Your Y and X chromosome. First of all, when you're talking about DNA, your Y and X chromosome are called your sex chromosomes. This is only two percent of your DNA, but it's dealing with your lineage because it's going from mother to father. I mean, uh, father to son, mother to daughter. A birthmark, bro, you could be born with a goddamn mole on your knee. That ain't got nothing to do with your lineage. Can I respond, please? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, see, what you don't seem to understand is just like the genetics and those Hablo groups and those Y and X that you like to attach yourself back to Africa. Well, they happen in certain populations and frequencies, right? That is how you're coming up to whether you're Nigerian or African, because certain uh, mutations are found at a higher frequency for populations. So my hypothesis, sir, was that based off of the evidence that is present currently, right? People, uh, uh, African American people, not Africans, African American people have the highest recorded uh, condition prevalence in this condition. Okay, this is also found in several other indigenous populations around the earth, which is what I said. What I said is this is a definitive fact that African Americans do not descend from Africans because Africans do not have this condition, which can be observed at birth, which means that the babies, their genetics, right, at birth, they produce this at a certain level, okay? This, this is genetics, okay? That Africans do not have this genetic condition at birth in their children at the occurrence or the frequency as African Americans. Right. You do, you do uh, know that African Americans are just a small that, scale group. Damn, that, man. Can y'all let them finish like how he quick, lets y'all finish? Engage with them. Yeah, you can stop That would mean that like you're broad. saying that Africans Americans yeah, are just more. old country ass up, nigga. Is, uh, are yo, you, yo, yo, let, you gotta let the brother finish. Let him Hold finish. On. Are you saying that African Americans no, are more closely related? Let. I'm saying, oh, are you was, finished? Was, I'm going to go ahead and answer his question before. Okay, yeah, ask. Lex, ask him the question. Are you saying that Africans Americans, because of the birthmark on their ass, is more closely related to Asians than Africans? I'm saying that based upon the evidence. So just answer that question. I, I'm about to answer it, sir. That's based a yes upon, or no. Uh, can I answer it the way I want to answer it? Or are you going to tell me how to answer it? Okay. Because the scientists wouldn't just say yes or no. They would explain their explanation. Well, I mean, that's a pretty clear okay. cut. Lex, thing. Lex, Lex, Lex. You got Thank to you. let the brother answer the question, brother, the way based, he wants to. Based off the evidence by anthropologists and clinical physicians, okay, African Americans have this condition at a higher rate than mo than any other African people on the African continent. Now, the only people who have this condition at a similar rate is other indigenous people, a la Pacific Islanders, Micronesians, Polynesians, and Native Americans. So this is a smoking gun. The other what indigenous about? people, hold on, let me finish. The other, the other people who are named, who have been observed to have this genetic condition, observed at birth, okay, are all indigenous people, okay? Every one of them. Now, the people who have it the highest, okay, which is African Americans, y'all are saying they are not indigenous people. All right, I got you. Indigenous so, to hold what? On, so this is what Wait I'm saying. Those people, indigenous people, like that's hold on a, real a sec, thing. brother. Hold on, I'm gonna let. That's, what, that's not a noun, bro. Hold you, on, that's brother. Positive. Brother, hold on a sec. Those Polynesians and those people, y'all would say they're not even the indigenous people 
of the. Uh, uh, I never uh, said that. Sir. Now they do say they are. They do because they black. Okay, they but they're connected they to Asian. So, are African people not indigenous people? Yeah, I know. Okay. That's what I'm saying. He's this doing is it. What the evidence around. says. Hold on, sir. Hold on. Let me explain. Oh, mute this your mic, man. This is what the evidence in this. <laughs> no, I'm just asking. Would you consider African I'm people? It. I'm about, no, I'm not about. I'm not about to tell you what I'm going to consider. I'm going to tell you what the data says. The data says only certain populations in Africa have this at a high frequency. No, the I understand highest, that, hold brother. On, hold on, sir. Let me finish. The highest being which I showed in the earlier in the presentation, the Eli Ife people of Nigeria, who had it at a frequency of 75%. Now, once again, the African-American has this frequency at 96%. So even if you try to say that the Eli Ife people had a connection to African Americans, you damn sure can't say that ninety six percent came from seventy percent, seventy five. All right, bro. That's but I'm asking you. That means African Americans are closer to Asians than they are to Africans, right? Because according of the, to because according of the birth to the data and the statistics. And so to how back would you up, hold on, sir, hold on. Hold on, to back I mean, that up. No, bro. I mean, know, I just want... I'm about to give you somewhere to go. You can go and reference the populations in Southeast Asia. All like right, all right. Yo, time out, everybody. Oh, we got God. four. Hey, time out, time out, everybody. We got four hours in. If y'all willing to do a part two, we can do that. Um, damn. Hey, hold on. Let me see my screen. Hey, all right, hold on, hold on. Hey, son, hey, hey, son. Hey, Don't let him get away with that crossing hey, the Atlantic thing that yeah. Hawkeye brought hey, up. Hey, 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 it's one mic. Yo, it's one mic. Hold on. Rep, son. Three rep, will rep. info. Go ahead. So look, sir, I want to go back at everything that Q Butter said. Lex is a uh, cornball. And at the end of the day, ain't nobody, <laughs> ain't nobody beating American Indian talking points. Y'all couldn't say nothing. It was crickets when I was dropping them links. So I got... Sources, I yes, look, sources, I, I, I we were being polite because look, that's what we do. We spar. We I done polite. went back and forth with top cats, I done went back and forth with AP and A1. And we done got look, that's how hey, we hey, do. Will, free free will, free will, will information. Put your number in the back chat. I gotta holler at you. Put your number in the you. back chat. I got you, King. I got I'm you. I'm gonna put my number back there too. I want um I want all of y'all numbers. I already got top cat, but I want to get all of y'all numbers. I got Aboriginal Power. I got um put your numbers in the back chat. I'm going to drop my number, my info, and we're going to um, do a part two. So what I want to do right now is allow the Aboriginal brothers to close this thing out. Y'all got... Hey, so y'all let me close out with my little presentation. Y'all <laughs> got three minutes to close out, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, we're going to start off with... Screen. Let's share my screen real quick. Real quick. All right, let's go. I'm up. Yeah, you there. All right, so check it out. All right, y'all. So DNA and African-American genealogy. Where did this DNA conversation come from? Because one of the, the top arguments in, in the African or these, these Afrocentric people are coming from DNA. They're telling everybody to do their DNA. When did this even come to uh, to our attention? Well, pop uh, in October 1991 in New York, they had a federal building, okay? $275 million federal building was being built. They end up finding um, bones under it, so they had to stop it. So uh, in Lower Mahan, they discovered this cemetery. They said it was a 400 Africans. Now watch this here. Howard University in Washington, D.C. was awarded the right to identify the origins of the bones. So they gave this project to Howard, and they paid a couple million to do it. Guess who? Uh, now watch this shit here. Um, and and um, when Africans were enslaved in New York City, Rick Kittles, this the guy, the African DNA test they always talking about, a young genetist was put in charge to identifying the remains. So this project is going to be centered around him and also a guy at Howard by the, that led the project by the name of Michael Blakey. Now watch this shit here. So when we come over here for as the critics, the questions in poison DNA, Kittles pointed out after nine generations, 512 people were contributed to individual DNA. He also noted that 30 percent of African-American men have Y chromosome that trace back to Europe, not Africa. This is very important. And he his explanation of that was because African women in Europe was uh, in, uh was raped by uh European enslavers. All right. Now he said the Kittle said that the male DNA showed that he has common ancestors with Germans, some black European. Now, hold on, let me um how do I do this? 
Uh, hold on. Uh, all right, let me get off of here real quick. What? Yeah, talk, bro. You don't come with nothing, bro. Hold on, let me do this here. Because I ain't. He black. Yeah, yeah, man, 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 man. Man. Right, come on, come on. We got to move forward. Ancestry. We got to move forward. Black German ancestry. All right, we got to move forward. This is called the closeout. Right, that means oh, come on. All right, so look, he go to Human Genome Project. This was in 1990. And they all right, come on, come on, come on, uh, in, two, in 2003. Where did it say black? Now, he no. got a 275 million dollar project that they gave to them. This is how it was introduced to black people. They said genetics bounced back in 1990 with the launch of the Human Genome Project. How did they bring it out to the world through this African barrier ground that's in New York? The buzz of genetics came discovered around the African barrier ground. Now, watch this shit here. Now, they're saying it became clear that it works so the African barrier ground would evolve unclear certain research methods in creating new ones. Now, this is how this African conversation going to come. Now, they said when genetics results concluded that sets of the remains came from, well, Europe. Guess what they had to do? They said even though when they tested that these bones was Europeans, despite archaeological evidence of African ancestry, now they bring in the science, right? Guess what they said since they found the DNA say European, but one of them said they found Nigerian waste bees and the casket in bowls and Ghanaian features facing east towards Africa. Now watch this here. When we come down here to Michael Blake, and I'm going to close on this here. Now they talk about, they built it with the Sankofa on there, y'all. They paid a lot of money for this. And so in 2003, uh, I mean, they said, but now a peer review study this month leading history journey argues that the horse symbol is not a Sankofa and probably does not have African origins at all. So that take away y'all Sankofa right there, the Medinkras. It suggests that Sankofa probably did not exist as a symbol in Africa at the time. Okay. And now the National Park Service, very important, needs the people to put the money up, which managed the barrier ground, has since declared a national monument in 2006, itself stepping back from the original claim as such research scholars who prepared reports in 2006 to who the federal government. And uh, now they're saying that they can't even use that. And they paid uh, $5.2 million for this visitor center. So they created this African story around this African burial. Pro think tank. They can't, they, they create. All right, come on, we got to move. We got to move. This CIA funded. To bring All right, we got to move. We got to move. All right, thank okay. you, Brother Top Cat. Appreciate you. Could, it. Uh, I'm going to hit you. Get that you shot. Get out of here. Let, me, um, let me bring in the brother. He's been waiting for a minute. King, you got I've been the floor, King. For four hours, actually. You what? Who said so that? that is big. All right, y'all. Uh, hey, look, look, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop the pound. I'm gonna let y'all hop on. Uh, and y'all, um, since y'all still going, but somebody gonna have to run the pound of though. But it's down there. Let me see this here. Yeah, I, I had to get mine. I was too much going on. Moors, right? You put one and two, put two and two together, but you can't put two and two together. I'm stepping back from the, but I can't let everybody in. I got to let these brothers speak first. Is there is their platform today? So you you're dismissed right now for being rude and disrespectful, and I just let you in to speak. So uh, let me go to the next person, man. Let me get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get out of here, I just want to say peace and blessings for life. Who said so, that? Who's so, saying that? It's Aboriginal power, bro. All right, go ahead, brother. You can go ahead and close out. You got the floor. Appreciate, appreciate you, OG. Uh, shout out to everybody in the chat. Like I said, we issuing all smokes, man. Like I said, we, it was a calm day. I'm just sitting back relaxing. Tell your boy step outside. You know what I'm saying? Tell Unk Monkey, man, because I want him to explain how, you know what I'm saying, we come from apes with tails. Tell him come outside. Yeah, Uncle Monkey, man. Oh, man. Yeah, guess what? Man, Uncle just here, called man. me on the phone, too. He, he just knows, called me. He, <laughs> so he called him. <laughs> man, was, listen, man. Peace and blessings to everybody out of here, man. Peace and blessings to all the American Aborigines, all the Aborigines across the planet. Man, wake up. Shout out to everybody in the building. We out.
All right, y'all, man. I'm gonna go and hop off, man. Appreciate everybody pulling up, man. That's a, I think that's enough for the night, man. That's seven hours, goddamn. I'm gone, man.